you guys are watching me, watching me, watching me. Come on, refresh. Only an hour late. Well, technically not late, because I said it was going to be an hour late. But while I'm waiting for people to come in, let's go ahead and uh, turn on Do Not Destorb. Do Not Destorb. Oh, look at that. Do not destorb. Oh, look at that. Yay. Probably made everybody decide not to come in today just because I'm late. Oh, look at that. Some people are here. Say hello when you come in. I know I'm late, but, you know, life and shit. So, what's going on, Justin? Sorry, man. Um, had to wait for Daniel to show up. He was dropping me some stuff off for the shoot tomorrow, so I needed to make sure stuff was ready for it. Of course, ads. Look, I love you guys, but uh, the ads are what pays me enough money to buy one box of ammo every month. So, yay. What's up, Donald? How you doing today? Just kind of getting going late. Red drink. Hey, uh, Bert. What's up, Bert? Oh, I got fucking pack this thing up. How much is a box? A box of ammo? Oh, I'm just messing with you, Baca. I'm just saying that the ads are in there. It helps push the uh, videos as well as get customers or customers gets viewers in here because then it gets promoted and since youtube has me shadow banned it's the only way i can really get much interest going right now better late than ever yeah no we have our uh, faith and freedom shoot going on tomorrow and uh like i said i needed to get some stuff from him because we're taking my vehicle tomorrow so just one of those things had to be waiting for him and he had to get up here from uh, Harrisonburg, because that's where his store is, so he got it to me, we're good, just waiting for him to, uh, waiting for him, cost me an extra hour, which is fine, uh, what's up, how can you tell your shadow band, um, it's really easy, uh, TN, all you gotta do is look at your analytics, now if you're still consistently getting the same number of views, more than likely you aren't shadow banned, but if you're like me, I went from getting 5 million shorts views a month to getting 500,000. So that's a clear indication of a shadow ban. So it's the easiest way to tell. What's the gray piece on the bottom left? Well, technically it's not the on the bottom. But yeah, that is a T-Sauce Night Stalker Double Stack 1911, technically a 2011, with a Osprey 2.0 9mm. What's good? What's going on, Steve? How you doing? Are the guns on my wall real? Eh, sometimes. They might be real, they might be fake. Uh, easiest way to know which ones are, just go to my channel when you're done uh, with the live. Just go click on the main channel uh, and see what I do there. So, let's see. Roman, what's going on, son? Um, Martin, don't spam. I already answered your question. Uh, nice AUG, what do I think of them? They're interesting. That's going to the shoot tomorrow. Uh, the eye, the, the pick rail up on top is in a weird-ass spot because of the fixed length of the back of the gun. You're going to subscribe. Awesome. Good. Thank you, man. Bruce, what's going on, sir? How hard are su 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 uh, suppressors to obtain legally? As long as you're a law-abiding citizen with no felonies on your record, you can very easily get one. There are nine states that ban suppressors and Class 3 items outright, but as long as you have a clean record, you can go as quickly as one day now. Uh, what type of PC you have? It's custom build. This is the best Pentium money can buy. Uh, truly a stream start moment. Which one? Should I subscribe? No, you shouldn't, Martin. Uh, what's going on, diggity? Yeller! Uh, I am kind of yeller because I am half Korean. But yeah, I'm feeling a little bit off today because we're obviously getting such a late start today. Is it banned in New York? 100% you cannot have suppressors in New York. Can't have suppressors, SBRs, or full auto machine guns if I'm not mistaken. 
How do you prevent rust after polishing the 1911? You put a good coating of oil on it. Uh, you can use simple stuff. My Wilson stuff is at my office, so I just grabbed some, um, I don't know why it's got that on it, but some uh, Slip 2000 gun lube. It's a really good lube uh, if you don't have your Wilson Combat Extreme Lube stuff. Do, 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 do. Got your fingerprints done today for your CCW. Now you're definitely in the system uh, to own a firearm. While the, dot, the deputy says you're immortal now. Yeah, until the sheriff's office gets raided. Turns out they've been doing things illegally for years, and then everybody goes, oh, look at that. No records. Uh, smells like up, dog. All right, I'll bite. What's up, dog? Uh, what's your personal favorite short you've ever made? Uh, what video are you most proud of? Um, believe it or not, I don't really have one I'm most proud of. I think I'm, I'm very proud of the one that kind of made the channel start gaining subscribers. And that's the, your Glock can't do this, where I take apart a SIG 320 with one hand using just my couch. You finally bought the Miracle Lock. Awesome. Uh, no, I do not have anything that is a destructive device license requirement. Uh, grenades, rockets, grenade launchers, those all require destructive devices license. So if you got... Arrested six years ago for possession of marijuana less than an ounce, would you be ineligible to buy a gun? It all depends on what the charge was and whether you were convicted of it. So it says you got arrested six years ago for it, but were you officially charged for it and were you charged as a felon? Um, a lot of times if you're convicted on a drug charge, it can be a little bit dicey. You, you'll have to consult your lawyer and a lawyer will be able to tell you whether or not you're screwed. Uh, prevent corrosion. You got to lube that gallop real good. Keep her in good shape, pretty much. So if I want to have fun with guns, then Texas is the best place. Texas is decent, but there are actually some of the states where nobody lives, like Wyoming, uh, where gun laws are just as open. Uh, yeah, he said if they take too long, he'll just approve it. Nice. Uh, how about you, slaps knee? Oh, 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 oh. Hey, diggity. Um, you know, there's a uh, pie cost on your front porch. Yeah, everybody has a Glock 19. Except for Mauricio, who has a G2C. Uh, good luck. Talking to him or me? Uh, smallest gun in size that I own. Um, got a Colt Jr. in 25 ACP. Bought a Russian RPG-7 with a rocket. Cool, Andrew. Uh... <laughs> hey, bud. Great content. Consider me subbed. I'll take the Night Stalker off your hands, by the way. Clayton, man, I'm actually really enjoying that gun. So, unfortunately, she's not leaving anytime soon. Uh, Texas is chilly. Yes, it is. Uh, they said it was a felony misdemeanor. I don't even know if that's a thing. Um, you need to uh, call your local state police and just ask them or get your criminal history run by somebody. You bought a P90 for five grand. Class. A real P90? Like a real, like a P90? Uh, yeah, Wyoming, Dakotas, Montana is the less amount of folks is what you're looking for. Nice. Uh, do more compact 1911s have any weird difficulties on, like, the uh, usual standard size? Um, yeah. Uh, um, well, it all depends, because some of the, the 1911s, like, some of the officer size and commander size, they have what's called a, uh, bull, bu bull barrel, and so they don't have the typical bushing that 1911s only have, so they have a... Um, a spring and guide rod where you actually have to uh, use a paper clip or a tool that you can buy, but there's no reason to buy the tool in order to lock the spring onto the guide rod. But other than that, they're pretty much normal. Uh, just watch the video. Thanks for sharing. No problem, dude. Uh, California compliant P90. <laughs> so you got the full brrrt and you're worried about your brrrt. So uh, real quick, Here's something that came in today. It's from a company that gave me so much shit about signing a contract with them that I'm not actually doing a review for them. So um, it's a new unreleased light. So I'm just going to give the fucking thing away. So it's going to go to one of you guys. Um, actually, I think it's two of the knives. No, two, of the, two of the lights. So what do you say we open it up? Yeah. They tried putting in a contract that they uh, got the correct. They could change my video any way they wanted to, and they could tell me what to do. Uh, I'm not even going to say the name. It's something core, but I won't be plugging them. I don't recommend using them. But uh, hey, you know what? All they had to do was just be cool, like blacksmith was. Blacksmith did it right. These clowns, no. So, so let's see. Little box. Really 
cheap ass looking light and a secondary cheap ass looking light. I might keep this one though. Oh look, a moral patch. You guys want patches moral, which are ironic from a company that, that is just full of crap? Uh, you show them, man, you better be petty about it. Nice. Uh, you need one. Ha. Huh. Do I have any sur surpluses? I have a couple. TV, what, Tyre, what's going on, dude? A lot of questions about the past five years. The drug one has me nervous because my medical marijuana license only expired a year ago. Then I think it's just something about jail time for lying. Uh, here's the thing. If you were... it. That question, 21E, I believe it is, asks if you are a current user of illicit substances. Are you addicted to or currently using federally regulated um, items, stuff? Uh, open her up. All right. So this one looks like crap, to be honest with you. But I kind of want to give it to one of you guys so you guys can tell me if it's any good. It says it's 900 lumens, which would make it brighter than this one. So we'll have to see. Uh, good luck, diggity. Nice. Uh, doo -doo -doo. I, don't, I know those questions. I don't know the questions are weird. Yeah, basically the, the, the drug question asks if you've been convicted of it, and then if you haven't been convicted of it, are you currently using? Uh, hope we get less restriction with the guns in Poland. Greeting from the Orzies. Nice. Uh, you like uh, you like Legos? What's going on? Uh, what's up, chat? Would you miss nothing, dude? Because I started only 11 minutes ago. Uh, evening, Charlie. Is that your AUG up there or a friend's? It actually belongs to Liberty Arms. It's actually sold. It's going to the shoot tomorrow. I had to uh, throw a red dot on it for it tomorrow and also try to get the muzzle break off, but we think they used rock set on it. Uh, no, the paper today you signed different. Yeah, but uh, Roman, it does the same. It's an enhanced background check. Same thing that you do if you're purchasing a class three. Uh, is there any place that you can get updated on the important gun laws on your state? Uh, U.S. Law Shield does it on uslawshield.com. Um, there's plenty of places you can just Google uh, gun laws by state. And a lot of times you can go to your state's .gov website. Lots of folks showing up, eh? Yeah, a lot of folks. Uh, I think we sold like 40 tickets, and then we always had people show up. So it's actually not as many people as, as we thought there was going to be, mainly because a couple of the suppliers, one of them dead air, the dude got COVID, so we can't fault him for that. That's why my gun's going. My, my Night Stalker with the suppressor is going to be there. Um, I'm probably taking the TS Orange, too, just for people to shoot. Um, so the guns are not for sale, Soviet. That wasn't a question. Uh, it was just a paper side. Yeah, that's different. Uh, cannot hold guns on lives. Uh, let's start asking important questions. What are my top three Adam Sandler movies? Um, top three Adam Sandler movies would have to be Happy Gilmore. Would probably be my favorite. Um, then it would probably be The Wedding Singer. And then probably The Do-Over. Although the scene with the threesome. Uh, Colton, have a nice night. Uh, your buddy got pulled over yesterday with weed and three pistols. He only got a paraphernalia ticket. Guns given back. Well, that just means the guns were clean. Um, cops don't just seize all that shit. It all depends on what the situation is. If I get pulled over and I'm carrying my gun, I let them know that I have a gun on me, and they usually don't give a crap. Uh, let's see. What did I think about the new SIG? Which new SIG? Uh, different guns today. Uh, no, they're just a little reorganized. A lot of them are the same. This is basically the wall is just going to be for like 2024 stuff. Stuff I pick up this year, it'll be in live streams. I just moved the Winchester into a vertical position for the live stream. But yeah, like the TSO Orange has been up there. The Smith & Wesson's been up there. The Kimber. Most of those guns have been up there for the last few streams. Uh, 2024 guns will be cycling in and out. I don't really go into the safe to get guns out. Um, they just took your 380. Well, there you go. Uh, do, 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 do. What's up? Uh, what's up, jo Joshua? What's going on, dude? Uh, did I hear it too? Not unless you farted. Bro got the Noxes. What the Noxes? I don't know what the Noxes. Apparently somebody's going to tell me I just said I was retarded or something. Apparently I might be. Uh, you thought Adam Sandler's new movie Spaceman was good. I haven't seen that one. Um, I kind of like him when he can mix some more serious moments into his roles. So stuff like um, The Wedding Singer where he had a few moments of being serious, I kind of liked. Uh... 
Love me for real. Hey, man, Jelly. Appreciate that, son. So, anyways, yeah, so, um, got on late. Probably going to get off a little bit early. Oh, guns. Gotcha. Thank you, Josh. Thank you. So, you're, sorry, dude. I'm almost 45. I don't understand that lingo shit. What is that at the top? That is a Steyr Aug, uh, chambered in 556. Um, yeah, I just threw a Romeo 7 on it just because it'll be at the range. It'll be short range stuff. We were going to try to suppress it, but I can't get the break off because it has, um, like I said, it's got something called Rock Set. So, yeah, it doesn't work. Does a silencer really sound different? Yes, S from England. If you go, you can, if you're on a computer, open up another tab with my name uh, and search my loudest gun versus my quietest gun. And I shoot a Desert Eagle 50 cal and my uh, Rock Island STK 100 with that suppressor. And you just hear the action and then you hit the round hitting downrange. Ty, I like your content. Thank you. Ammo, do I have kids? No, I don't. Uh, did, did, uh, oh, hell no. Okay. Do-over was awesome. Kind of believe that it's happening in real life. Nice. Uh, did, 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 I'm still trying to figure out how a 308 fits in an AR-15 magwell. It doesn't. It fits in an AR-10 magwell. Um, if you look at the magwell for, like, the SFAR, you'll see that it's actually stretched. Even though it's an AR-15 body, the magwell is cut up higher, and then they stretch the length of the magwell. Uh, 5.56 five, or 7.62 by 39. I prefer 5.56 five, uh, over 7.62 mainly for cost, but um, 7.62 is a pretty good one. Is it like in the films? No, S, it never gets that quiet. Um, with 147 grain, it's very quiet, extremely hearing safe. You can shoot all day and you'll get more ringing from the steel if you're shooting steel than you will from shooting the guns. Uh, guns are weapons. No, Briggs, they are not. Guns are tools. The person wielding that tool determines what the gun does. With no kids, we need baby Jiminy. No, that's okay. So Ruger's lower is different. Yes, it is low. It, the diff lower is different. Um, like I said, it's the, if you look at one compared to, like, bring it up on, like, your Google and set them side by side, you'll see that the mag well is higher and it's also cut. Uh, 762 or 76251 R. Um, yeah, nice. Uh, I'm gonna go with regular 762 because 762 by 51 R is expensive too. If you're looking at Springfield Emperor for contour, is that a good one or no? Um, the Emperor 4. I'll look that one. Give me a second. You're eager to try eager to try the new Bear Creek Arsenal Grizzly Glock clone. The aluminum frame was a flop, though. Yeah, it's hard to do an aluminum flame, frame for a Glock setup. Rock Island with their STK 100 kind of flubbed it. Uh, if you can build customized shit, hits a fan zombie apocalypse vehicle. What are you making? Probably gonna start with something that's going to be that you know can take the hits and stuff. So it's probably gonna be like a Tundra or a Tacoma possibly something in a diesel but getting diesel and keeping diesel stable is really hard if you need another suppress you can lend the 300 black uh no charlie i appreciate that we got 12 suppressors so we're good we got everything coming six hour m17 tomb of the unknown soldiers uh ceremonial pistol uh yeah those are beautiful randy i've seen those uh gotcha bolt should match 308 uh yeah because it's 30 cal Lingo shite. Huh, I hate to be that guy, but it's 762 by 54 R. Excuse me. Yeah. 51, 54, 52. It's all that stuff. Always feel free to correct people, dude, if we're wrong. Uh, hey, I'm Canadian. Did you know they banned guns here? Yeah, Jelly. Unfortunately, they did, and it sucks, bro. I think it's stupid, but, you know, at least Trudeau's hiding it under his carbon tax bullshit. Um... Forerunner, yeah, Forerunner would be good, but I want something with the body on frame construction so that you can modify it a little bit more. The Forerunner is, uh, the new ones anyways, you'd have to get an old one. The newer ones are body, um, or unibody. Sorry, I had an ingrown hair. I finally got it. Uh, ultimate gun, if you had to have it as a handgun. Uh, there is no ultimate gun that I really want. Um, I've had every gun that I've really wanted outside of probably like a Kunan 357 or a Hudson H9, but I have not really been looking for something you're helping your buddy build a c7 with way too much horsepower why all the all the guns just a question well i'm a gun review channel so i do reviews on firearms but also they are beautiful to me they are ballistic tools i shoot for sport i don't go out and 
hunt people, if that makes any sense. I'm not worried about weapons. I use them as ballistic tools. You're looking for an alien for under 2K. Good luck, Ashley. Uh, why all the Andrews? It's because it's funny. Best pistol for concealed carry. Whatever you can comfortably carry, Jacob. And I'm not saying that to be a douche or anything like that. I don't know you. I don't know your capabilities. Uh, for some people, a Glock 48 works. For some people like me, I can still carry a 1911. So it it's all just depends on what you're looking for. The framers poured cow crap on the Capitol bill. Yeah, that would make sense. This guy knows his stuff. Impressive. Thank you, sir. Uh, Monique says, okay. Yeah, like I said, you asked an honest question. That's my best answer for it. There are some dudes that are like doomsday preppers and they think the world's going to end, so they're hiding all their guns and shit. No, I buy them. I buy them for aesthetic reasons. I like every gun that I have. I like the way it looks. Uh, a lot of the guns I buy because I want to have them for the future, or I buy them so cheap that I can make money off them if I need to. Uh, if Trudeau wins, somebody cheated. Lol. Have I ever had to use one? No, I have not. Uh, Joe doesn't need kids. He's got his guns. I don't want kids. Kids are too much of a responsibility for me, and I'm not willing to take it on. Uh, I was just asking what you would recommend for a first-timer. Um, Glock is always the go-to for a first-timer just because, honestly, why aren't you guys liking these video this thing, by the way? Like the video if you want me to keep talking. I'm just fucking with you. I want Google's money. I need you to like it to make that happen. But, um... Everybody's going to recommend Glock for one reason. It's going to run. It's going to save your life. It's going to get you home. It's going to go bang every time you pull the trigger. Unfortunately, they're boring as hell. They don't look good. They have crap They have crap feeling triggers to me as a race gun guy, but they are going to save your life. So go to a store, grab a Glock 48, a Glock 19, a Glock 26. See what you're comfortable with, and you'll find something that you really like. Uh, Jelly. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Thanks for coming and having some fun. You actually just became a subscriber. Thank you. Uh, you carry a 1911 with a full barrel and slide accessory. It can be a little uncomfortable in the car concealed, but not very much. They probably make better holsters. Um, when I carry, I usually, uh, when I'm in the vehicle, I have a holster that clips into my door so I can just reach down and pull up. You really like the pair of Warthog 45. Yeah, that was a good gun. Or they have commander versions that are more compact. That is true. Uh, good call. Light. Nice. In England, I love good tools. Leatherman is what we can have here and love the best of the best. Would you carry if you had to, Glock or HK? I'm going to go with the HK, again, for the reason as it, I have variety with HK. They have hammer fired. They have striker fired. They have steel frame guns. They have all kinds of options uh, for you as a buyer, whereas Glock, you have one thing. It's a Glock. You either want a big one, you want a small one. It's a Glock. Uh, you got a Glock in your Rari. Oh, walls. Sig! Yeah, I have a few, but they're not here right now. And the 1911s are great triggers. Nice. Uh, I'm glad you know, uh, you know I'm a guy. No worries. Uh, yeah, that's a very good idea. I've thought of as well for one in the car for quick access. Yep. Uh, oh, is Brody here? Um, thanks for the blacksmith win. Do you know which one they're sending me? Yes, it's going to be this. It's the exact same model that I have. So, for those of you that don't know, I teamed up with Blacksmith. You know, the company that isn't full of shit. And uh, they gave me one of these to give away to you guys. This is the one I've had for over a year, so it's the same thing. But it's a fingerprint access. It's big enough to hold like two 1911s. I put my SIG, or I put my uh, double stack and my TS Orange in one of these, so plenty of room. So yeah, really good deal. Well, 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 uh, American man. I'm actually Korean. I'm American, but I'm an Asian American. Your mother, uh, a Gen Z SS is still a boy caughting. Polymer pistols and revolvers are a superior carry. Okay, Redneck. You own a GAU 8 for home defense. Nice. Uh, what's your favorite grip for your 1911? Just a good VZ grip. So that's got G10s on it. Uh, VZ grips made by... Um, th that's from a company called Stoner. Um, but they're really good grips. They're very comfortable in the hand. Sorry, I had to like a comment. Steve. Steve, man. I love you guys. The guys that love to come in here and just spike the... Uh, Spike the uh, the chat with uh, some donations. That's awesome, dude. Thank you so much. You're an you're an amazing man. You won't ask for any beeps. Oh yeah, hold on a second. Uh, how cheap can I get a 1911 for? You can buy 1911s as low as four or five hundred bucks from T Sauce, and they're actually going to run okay for you. Uh, if you're doing this again, and I'm going to listen again. Yep, I am. 
Uh, Carolina Plinker, what's up? How you doing today, man? Uh, how do we credit you like this but new to this? Um, there's a dollar sign. Also, if you want to like the video, if you're on a phone, there's three dots on your screen somewhere. You just click on that and it'll allow you to like. Sorry, uh, Redneck likes to hear the beep. That's what the safe sounds like if you don't actually put your fingerprint in right. Uh, thoughts on Walter PPK. They're a little bit expensive for what they are, the new version. So I did a version a long time ago that was $800. That same gun is now $900 for some reason. What silencer is that? That is the Silencer Co. Osprey 9 2.0. How can I send you $150? Uh, there's a dollar sign somewhere on your screen. Click on it and then you can donate it. I have an old school 38 revolver. Uh, short, but it was from my uncle who passed away that gave it to you. Well, uh, sorry that they passed away, but I'm happy you have a gun. And if you treat it well, it should work for you very well. Ooh, being really generous today. Yeah, got to smash the heart button during the beeps. Yep. You identify as an attack helicopter. You get along with Redneck. Redneck identifies as an AH-64 Apache attack helicopter, which is cool. Um, also, for um, last stream, somebody asked if they still made Hydroshocks, and they do. Uh, Daniel brought me a box of this. I was running low on self-defense stuff, so I told him to grab me a box of it. Uh, they were out of my Hornady Critical Duty. Stop beeping. You're making me want to repeat my duty duty duty. Uh, but uh, they do HST and Hydroshock, and you grab me Hydroshock, so they do make Hydroshock. Uh, how do you like the Osprey? You've got the Obsidian 9. I like the Osprey. I wish it was rated for a um, um, bigger cali or a bigger round, though, or a faster round. It's only rated to 35,000 PS PSI, where 5.56, which obviously is a smaller round, but 5.56 is 58,000 PSI, and 5.7 is 51, so I can't shoot it out of it. I think you can out of the obsidian because of the design, the square body and the offset bore, uh, the gas is trapping underneath and then follow the round out. So it uh, can't handle the pressure and it only has two because uh, it doesn't have a twist on caps or anything. It has two long screws that hold the whole assembly together. Your ex girlfriend brother was a, and he used a Walter PPK as an ankle holdout, a very expensive holdout. No shit. You have a Blackhawk helicopter. You know, I know you get a Barrett, but I, I'm gonna I'm gonna call uh, no. Still beeping? No, I just stopped, Justin. Uh, welcome, helicopter brother. Ha, have I ever shot at Tavor? No, uh, can't see it because I'm in the UK. No, you might have to check. It's also I'm I'm on Android, so you might be on a different platform. I'm not 100% sure, um, but yeah. So this is Hydroshock. If you've never seen Hydroshock, you see how it's got that little stuff right there, uh, right in the middle. So these things, when they go into you, holy shit, super cut uh, hollow point, and then that, that thing in the middle. CRF, your information is valuable to us. Holy shit, 10 bucks. Thank you, dude. And it's your first time sending a super. You are an amazing person. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate that. You are an amazing guy. So that's Ammo Inc. I'm trying to look through my different ammo I got laying around. Uh, apparently, I've been carrying some Ammo Inc., so that's Ammo Inc.'s hollow point. You can see the difference in the rounds. Uh, you'd like the light. Yeah, like I said, I'll have to decide whether I want to give away a light from a company I won't work with. So, yeah, I like their stuff. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much, CRF. Everything you guys do, anytime you guys help, helps out uh, subscribers and members. Um, because when you guys help me grow the channel and I can get more money from like uh, sponsors and Google and stuff, then I can afford to do better stuff for giveaways. Uh, you love your Android screw and iPhone. I used to use the iPhone. Ba way back in the day when I first started with my body shop, I used all iPhones. The no Nate should be next to the chat bar, at least on your screen. Nice. Victor, what's going on? Uh, do I find the post in the Hydroshock helps with deformation expansion more than ones without the post? I honestly don't know, man. I've only shot Hydroshock a little bit. But if you look at how they have the picture, they're showing that the uh, the post actually stays in place. So I would almost assume that it would help because it's going to drill whatever you're going into and force it into the hollow point, which should force it open. Uh, just saw a short explaining why tanks have the bulge in the barrels. It's to help clear the gases. Did not know that, Zaxxon. Very nice. Uh, they had to be at me with the $5. <laughs> Nah, man. People are here and they're just having fun. Uh, I appreciate anybody that donate, donates, donates. If you donates, uh, you're in here. What's up? What's going on, Rafa? What's better, a ray gun or a thunder gun? Um, 
I actually prefer a Patricia gun. I like my guns to identify as ladies. Uh, click the watch live banner at the bottom of the screen. Find three dots on the top and donate. Nice. Where's the red drink at? Oh, my guy. I got you covered 100%. It's just I wanted to kind of get the AUG and stuff in, in screen. Um, so I didn't have it sitting right next to me. But I tell you what, you, anybody that knows guns will know that's an AUG. So we'll, we'll kind of keep it like that. Uh, do you know why the 365 XL grip needs to be filed down in order for it to fit on the 365 California correctly? Uh, I would have to assume it has something to do with the trigger bar. I have never actually looked at a 365 California compliant uh, torn apart. Uh, it has to do something with the safeties, I would bet. Joseph says, uh, hey, Jiminy, I hope you have a good day. Well, my name's also Joe, and I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Yeah, it seems almost like it would corkscrew through your body. They make it all copper round, not separate into separate pedals, but it does expand past that. Yeah, just looking at the expansion on it, yeah, it stays together really well. So you got the lead core with the copper jacket on it. Um, they use the rule of thumb thingy. Oh, yeah, where you for the mushroom cloud? Yeah, uh, I go by if you can see the mushroom cloud, it's too late. You have a tax stamp for the can. Yes, I do. Awesomeness. Um, I did mine April of last year of 2023. So yeah, unfortunately, I was did it when they were still printing them all off and running them by hand. So it took me 162 162 days to get my can back. Now I could probably go in and get one in a day. Uh, if guns are girls, does that make a sky a Karen? Um, it would almost make Glocks Karens because everybody that has a Glock that is only a Glock fanatic, like Overton Windex and people like him, they scream at you when you say any other gun is good. Uh, Sky, Sky is, um, I guess, in the gun world, it's the equivalent of uh, when you when you go to the bar with your buddies and you go home with a moped. If any of you know what I'm talking about. <sighs> Do I have AK? Yes. Mark Lynn, what's going on, sir? Are you having a good day? Engine extras. Oh, dude, me and my buddies have been talking about, um, I've been watching a lot of Scrap Life Garage. I didn't realize he's just up in Baltimore from me. I want to go check him out. And I'm thinking I might want to do like a, um, a specialty car uh, thing here in Virginia. I might actually talk to him about it. It was weird. Basically, the blocks, the mag ejection mechanism, unless you file the XL grip down. Okay, so that has something to do with, with magazine compatibility. Gotcha. Man, that's a really nice Spencer carbine on your wall. Yeah, isn't it, though? It's a nice Spencer carbine. Tried to buy that TT30 with 5 grams of gold, but he wouldn't accept. <laughs> uh, devilish, yes, they are real guns. Sky versus Jennings. I'll take a Sky because they have better warranties. Uh, you call up Sky and say, hey, look, I took it out, and the barrel cracked. They just send you a barrel. They don't give a shit. Um... Good luck getting Jennings parts replaced for free. Well, your wife filed for a divorce. Oh, that's too bad. Um, I am willing to be a heterosexual life partner if I get to play with your guns. You can play with my guns. I play with your guns. And guns is not a euphemism. Firearms. Uh, you got a Tommy gun? No. What's the best movie about guns that you've seen? My favorite movie about guns was Bruce Willis and Last Man Standing. Totally inaccurate. When he dual wields 1911s and a guy gets shot and rolls out of a bar, that doesn't happen. What's my favorite 1911-2011? My favorite 1911 is probably Nighthawk Customs builds. And then my favorite 2011 is the old STI Edge and STI Eagles. You never left with the moped. Always had to meet 10 minutes later. Ah, sometimes you got to lay down on that grenade. Christian, what is going on? Thank you for the donation, son. Appreciate that. You're such a nice feller. Um... All you have to do is like the streams, find out if those guns are real. Nice. All you have to do is break into my house to find out if the guns are real. Just bought a Sky CPX2 spring kit for 30 bucks. Hopefully it's worth it. Yeah, let me know how that works out, Roman. I'd be interested to hear if that helps out a lot. What's my favorite, five favorite barbecue dinner entrees? Good question. I love a really good barbecue chicken. Uh, follow it up with tri-tip, um, barbecue tri-tips, um, a good rack of ribs, probably would say a good steak and then burgers would be last because burgers are common everything else needs to be uh everything else needs to actually be cooked you know what i mean any recommendations for someone looking to purchase for the first time yeah find yes mopeds can be freaks find a good ffl in your area that will allow you to handle firearms because guns are not like tic tacs and shit you can't just take them back if you don't like them 
you have to actually find one that fits your hand that you think that you'll be comfortable shooting. Because if you pick up a gun and you don't like the way it feels in your hand, you're not going to want to shoot it. And then you just wasted your time, your money, your training, and you're going to be a target. Uh, dudes, what's going on? Hello, just joined. Awesome. Thank you for coming in. Uh, no problem. I'll send more. That's what you had laying around. Been your experience. Every bit adds up. Absolutely, Christian. Like I said, you guys don't have to give me a single penny. Likes are all I ever really ask for. But those of you that like to go above and beyond, thank you guys so much. Uh, Christian is also a member, so it's one of those things where I have a member helping out the chat, but he also gets in on both giveaways, so that's awesome. Uh, World War III happens, you got 300 bucks. What pre-1996 pistol are you going for? Uh, pre-1996 pistol, I'm going to go for a Beretta. Any kind of Beretta. If I only have 300 bucks, I'm going to go for an old heel release Italian Beretta. You can still find those for used in pawn shops for three-ish. I will definitely let you know. Thank you, Roman. I appreciate that. I, I'd be interested. I might even do a video if it actually helps out a lot. Uh, if you invite me to break into your house, it's not illegal. If I invite you to break into my house and I shoot you with a beanbag round, then it was just a security test. Cato says, hello. How do I like my beef cooked? Um, I like medium rare for steak uh, when it comes to... Uh, burgers, I like the medium because a lot of guys don't know how to cook a burger right and they wind up really bloody. I don't like a bloody burger. I like a, a, a steak that's got some blood in it because it's still kind of together. But when you got ground beef that's bloody, that's, no, I'm good. Uh, the movie Equilibrium has some cool gun kata action. Yes, I have seen that one. And, of course, our good buddy Sean Bean dies. Uh, you have a 21A for your CCW. There you go. Hey, man, I'm just happy to be here and drink from your fountain of milk. <laughs> if I don't already know it, you might very well. And if not, we find out together, Christian. Uh, you're a medium well kind of guy. Eh, you can get by with medium well. I'm fine with that. Uh, my old man likes to turn them into briquettes. Korean barbecue or Chinese? I've never had, like, an authentic Chinese barbecue. I have had good Korean barbecue. Where I live here, I'm about an hour away from, like, a little Korea kind of thing. In Alexandria, Virginia, very heavy Korean population. And then there's a place called Honey Pig, and it's a really good place to go. Or Happy Pig? Honey Pig. It's, I always get it wrong. I was drunk the first time I ever said the name, and I can't remember. What do I think about the American Tactical Imports GSG 922? I don't think anything about American Tactical. I don't like their company. They use a lot of cheap-ass parts, and it's questionable. What's my top three war movies, if I like war movies? I don't really like war movies, dude. Um, not really my style. Uh, I kind of like more modern stuff, but I don't consider anything that's been produced now war style. Um, but I liked Gettysburg. You recently bought a CZ Shadow 2 Compact. Love it, but the safety is a different story. Oh, that sucks. Sorry about that. Medium rare is damn good. Yes, it is. James says, hi. Yep, you're a medium kind of guy. No problem. How do I like my chicken cooked? Um, usually with fire. Uh, no, but I, I like to actually, I make like a barbecue infused chicken uh, where I actually inject barbecue sauce into it while it's cooking and it really comes out really nice. Um, but yeah, just a nice char on the skin and then, a, you know, that nice crunch and then you have the flavor in it. It's got to be charcoal for for chicken. You're a uh, barbecue, you're a rare blue rare for steak, me, rare medium rare for burgers. Mm. Get an AR or an AK. Uh, yes, do. Uh, Asian barbecue is underrated, but I don't know if I can put it over barbecue. American. No, Asian barbecue is totally different. Asian barbecue is is way different from American barbecue. Barbecue, 100%. Um, you got to be in the right mood for Asian barbecue. Pretty much any day you walk up to like your buddy's house and they're doing a barbecue in the backyard and it's like burger, steak, chicken, all that shit. You know, you can just jump in and have a good time. But to get into Korean barbecue, you got to wait for them to cook it, and then you got to do, you got to serve it the right way. Yeah, no, American barbecue. Uh, you don't like anything about American tactical. Yeah, I'm just not a big fan at all. I uh, came home to North Carolina, did three to four more years, and the judge told him in VA if he got so much as a speeding ticket, he'd be going to the full 20. Holy shit, what happened? What did I miss? Uh, hey, man, I'm just happy to be here. Gotcha. Holy shit, dude. Um, Filipino barbecue is good. Never had it. What's my thoughts on T-Ass? If you mean T-Sauce, that's T-Sauce right there. I like a lot of their stuff. What's my favorite gun belt? I wear a core belt. I don't have, like, a battle belt or anything like that, but I just wear... Uh, um, core. Even though I don't like them as a company, I like their product. 
Uh, the reason I asked about your Sky versus Jenny is because you collect Saturday Night Specials but never handle the Sky. Um, the Sky is a little too expensive for what I would call a Saturday Night Special, but it's definitely in the category. I think a Jennings shoots better than a Sky because the trigger is actually better, believe it or not. Uh, pick one up and shoot one, double action only. You'll you'll know what you uh, you'll know what I'm talking about. You're only 300 miles from me, Christian. APX A1 carry people shoot on because it's only single stack A plus one thoughts. Uh, if you're a good shot, it doesn't matter how many rounds a thing has. Carry it with eight rounds and outshoot people. I carry a 1911, which is eight plus one, and I've never had a problem. Hey, pistolas! Yes, Jorge. Uh, fake. Okay, yeah. Go go look at my channel if you think it's fake. Uh, you only got one <clears throat> huge gun. It's okay. Your boyfriend will treat you well with it. How do you cook your Thanksgiving turkey? You smoked mine in the trigger for the first time, and we'll never make it again a different way. Uh, I've never had a smoked turkey, but uh, usually family cooks that. Uh, Dale, what's going on, dude? Because skipped you. I didn't skip you. There's just a lot of people talking, son. Uh, you're channeling your inner agent 47 with the silence pistol. No, I just have it ready because we're doing a shoot for the store that I help out at, and they need an extra 9mm suppressed pistol, and since that's a brand new gun, might as well have one out there. Uh, when you're at the shop, do you open carry or stay concealed? I kind of go half in, half out, Joshua. I pocket carry a 1911, so I have an urban carry that clips into my pocket, and I can pull from that. You smoked your last turkey with a 308. Your sky makes you shoot to the right and good at about 20 yards. Yeah, pretty much. Your buddy got caught up in a theft ring, apparently breaking into homes and got caught then on probation. Ah, I gotcha. Bro <laughs> when they threw him out of jail, he broke into the police station. That's not a, that guy's got some, uh, some, some uh, commitment. Um, uh, there, if he's going to keep doing it, uh, having your first baby soon, what age should I get the little one on the range? Um, if you're able, if your child is able to learn the difference between right and wrong. So if you're teaching them not to stick forks in the light sockets, things like that, you should start introducing them to the concept of firearms, but most like ranges, uh, demand that you are, are have a requirement for like seven or eight years old before you can really take them. If you own like your own land, as soon as they are, they have fine motor controls and they understand the danger of shooting. Then you can do stuff like that. Ray, not much, dude. I got on late. Uh, Supai, what's up? Uh, iron sights on EDC or red dot? Uh, whatever your gun takes. I carry with iron sights, but I've also carried with red dots. Uh, just whatever you like shooting, like using. Uh, bot Prowny, nice. Uh, second time on the live. Awesome, dude. Uh, can I see one of your guns? I swear I'll subscribe. No, I can't pick up guns on, on live streams. As a rule of thumb, what I believe is the best number of rounds to keep in the safe, I like to stay at 1,000 per gun. Um, I like to say 1,000 per caliber. There are guys that do 1,000 per gun, and that's a good way to make sure you never run out. But for, like, the average shooter and stuff, like with my self-defense stuff, I just have them pick up stuff whenever I remember to ask them to. But I probably have about 1,000 rounds per caliber right now. Um, no, oh, was he? Mike was. Mike was talking. Mm. Joe, could I bring a Barrett T9 to the thing you're talking about for the gun shop? Uh, no, unfortunately, you cannot bring anything. Uh, we already have an M82A1 at the shoot, though. Do I have a flint lock? Nope. Uh, he's never done anything since, believe it or not. That many years at once, he works a full-time job, completed rehab, and lives a happy life in Kernsville. Nice. Well, that's good, Christian. I'm glad your buddy's doing better. The fact that Sky's worse than Taurus's budget pistols is crazy. No, it's kind of funny. Uh, what kind of scope is that on the rifle? It looks sweet. It's actually just, I needed, we needed a quick red dot for it. So that's just a Romeo 7T, or Romeo 7S. So it's the shorter Romeo 7, uh, and it's a green dot. Am I a gun seller? No, Swaggy. I work at a gun store, though. Uh, do I have an M4A1? I have AR-15s. I don't have anything that's dedicated as an A1. I don't like the look of the A1. Uh, agreed with his lifestyle, took them time to learn, but he he uh, he kismeted. Um, green versus red MRD. Um, I see green really well in daylight. Uh, I don't see red as well. Uh, you have a CS, CZ tactical sport. It's literally that right there. Uh, 10,000 rounds each caliber. Good for you, Justin. I wish I could. Um, I know that if I had that many rounds, I'd shoot that many rounds every, every year. Um, so if I had 10,000 rounds of each caliber or 10,000 rounds for each safe, I'd still be out a lot of money. Is the gun up top chambered in 5.56 five, or 223? It's 5.56, five, five, so it'll shoot both. Sky or Diamondback 9? Um, I've seen a lot of failures with the slide on Diamondback 9s, but I've also seen a lot of failures with chambers firing pins 
and barrels on the skies. Um, I would rather just take my chances fist fighting. Um, are those guns real? One of them is. You got a Glock? Of course I do. Uh, what is your two, two, go-to Taco Bell order? Honestly, I'll just buy a party pack of soft tacos and eat them over a few days. I uh, have... Bum, bum. I don't know what that is, Swaggy. Uh, do I have any HKs? Yeah, I got a couple. I have a new personal best for longest shot. It was 950 yards with your 338 Lapua Magnum. Good shot, dude. That's a long distance. Uh, that's minimum I'm afraid of the world. <laughs> uh, 300 blackout or 556? Uh, depending on the use case, three, 300 blackout if you're not going to run a 16-inch barrel. Davin, I don't have a dream gun, to be honest with you, bro. I've gotten low on my ammo supply lately with zeroing and everything. Yeah, it can get, you can use a lot of ammo, especially if you uh, mess yourself up and you think stupid and you forget how to zero an optic. What do I get on my pizza? Meat, meat, and extra meat. Meaty meat with extra meat. Uh, pepperoni, sausage, bacon, any kind of meat. Thoughts on the PSA dagger? They're okay. Ray's got to go. I'm sorry. Come back soon. Um, this act of generosity is hollow as AF. I just want to fit in. Are you cool yet? Uh, crypto? No, you're not. But you are my homie. So that makes us both uncool. But we're uncool together. You can come over and play PlayStation. <laughs> Fuck, I don't know why I said that. But, dude, thank you for the donation, dude. That was huge. You didn't have to do that. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. And it's your first Super on a live stream. Uh, you're the steak quesadilla taco bell guy with extra cheesy jalapeno sauce i don't know i don't like to think when i do an order so and then since i don't like to eat a lot of carbs i'll actually just eat the inside of the tacos with a spoon you got an hk 416 you highly recommend it. i've shot one i've never owned one i like them you had about 12 of your buddies subscribe to you they love your content i speak highly of you you're a good dude thank you joshua i appreciate that you're a good dude for doing that um best bare handgun uh 454 casual or a 10 millimeter like a gp 100 and 10 millimeter next you're going 1050 with a 408 shy tack if you can find one dude i bet if you uh if you hold really still you can probably hit over a 1050 with your barrett can i play your playstation you bet you can it's a, it's an emulator so you can just download it i use pcao whatever that emulator is are those real guns one of them is Best home defense, 870, yes or no? Best, no, but it's a really good really good one. Any shotgun is best. Glock or dagger? Dagger. Do you have an MA-40 assault rifle in your closet? No. Uh, you have $500 cash. What can I sell you? I can sell you $501 bills. Uh, why is every person who works at a gun store a D-head? Uh, I got something to tell you, Jugs, and you might not want to hear this, but if you go to every gun store and everybody in every gun store is a dickhead, maybe you should turn that shit around and look at yourself. Can I see your PC? I don't know why. It's just a Pentium. Nice guns. Thank you. Got the AUG out today. Looking spiffy. Yeah, well, it's not mine. It's actually sold, but uh, we're taking it to the shoot tomorrow. I got to try to get the muzzle break off, but it's set up with a uh, rock set. My brother just got a 416 upper, but it's 10.5 inch, uh, but can't SBR it. So what is he going to do? Put like a five, a five and a half inch moderator on it and pin it? 22 mag or long rifle? I prefer 22 mag, but long rifle is fun to shoot all day. You hate your DB9. It's way too snappy. Yep. What's my bed gun? Uh, 930 tactical shotgun and a 1911. Uh, you're going to go and get a charge of phone for a bit. You mentioned closing stream early. You know how much longer? Yeah, until like midnight. So you got a few hours, bro. If you want to come back, diggity, I'd appreciate it. If not, you have a wonderful night. But yeah, I'm going to be on for a while. Uh, way cheaper than 22, too. Yep. Uh, would you put your life behind a PSA rifle? Um, only if I'm standing behind somebody else. Is it water-cooled? Yes, it is. Do I have a 1911? You serious, bro? You went through the effort to type that and you didn't look. Uh, do I have an Oculus? No, but I've got the MetaQuest 2. Uh, sounds like something only a person who works at a gun store would say. No, it actually applies to everything in your life, Jugs. If everybody you meet is an asshole, chances are you're the asshole. And I'm not saying that to you personally. I'm just giving you a little bit of friendly advice. If everybody you meet in a gun store is a dickhead, you're obviously doing something to cause them to be a dickhead. Because not everybody that works at a gun store is a dickhead. I love working at gun stores and hanging out. 
how you're seeing me right now is how I am in the gun store. So, you know, coming into my stream and asking me why people that work at gun stores is a dickhead on my stream when, you know, when I work at a gun store makes me the dickhead, which then gives you the idea that I'm a dickhead. So you see where this is going? Grab that mirror, look in it really hard and go, hmm, maybe it's me. Just saying. Uh, what happened to the Glock 1911 build you were working on? I finished it and sold it. I turned it into a Glock 45. Is that an AUG assault rifle? It's not an assault rifle. It is an AUG, though. <clears throat> Can I recommend a mid-price first 1911? Yeah, something from TSOS. They make good stuff. Um, not everyone, but almost everyone seems to like they're aggravated to be there. You just have some bad stores you're going to, man. But yeah, I do get that sometimes. You go to some stores and people are just doing it to make a paycheck. They're the wrong guys. You got to find people in a store that you can actually get along with. But you got to take it from the you got to take it from the side of we deal with assholes all day long. So you might be coming in at the wrong time. They might have just dealt with assholes, or they could very well be dickheads. But if you come to me, I'm not a dickhead. I'm like this. I like your guns. Thank you. Uh, what about 44 Magnum? Sure. Do Andrew? Holy shit! Pool's closed. Ah oh, shite! I was gonna go swimming. Damn it! It's your fifth super though. Good for you. Hey, guns. Yep. Do I have a BR-75 battle rifle? No, I do not. Thoughts on bedside gun? It's a Ruger P95DC with norms, normal hollow points. Uh, that's a good one to keep, dude. 95 is a good gun, and the DC with the decocker, you can keep it rocked and uh, locked and ready to go. Not locked, but you know what I mean. Uh, loaded. Your stores are friendly as can be. They love your cash. Nice. Then you get the person that's cool as hell. Yeah, you, when you find one at a store that's cool as hell, just try to hang with them. What's the largest gun you have? Uh, I've got a 4570 lever. <clears throat> Do I have an AK-74U? No, I don't. Springfield 1911 Ronin. Uh, they're okay. I've had them. Um, they're fun. Can I grab the green gun? No. Can't pick up guns on live streams. Uh, catch more flies with honey. Assume everyone's having a rough day until advised otherwise. Pretty much. Do I have an M4-1 lock rocket launcher? No. Let's get active. What is up, sir? Welcome back. People sleep on the Ruger P-Series. Yeah, I've had a, a few of the P-Series. I like them. They got another P-89 sitting at the store I might pick up. only reason I didn't buy it is because it's in 40. Um, can I see all your guns? Uh, you can see the guns that are up on the wall. He's going to wait until he's 21 in SBR. The gun store said he has to wait until he's 21. Yeah, Class 3, Form 1s, Form 4s, they all have. You have to wait. Uh, you pick it up tomorrow with two boxes of 10 rounds. Nice. Is that a Night Stalker back there with the suppressor? Good eye. Yes, it is. That is the Night Stalker double stack. That's going to the shoot tomorrow. Uh, who said you can't pick up guns on live stream? This is America. The uh, corporation that makes money off of my live streams. By the way, you guys should be liking these. Uh, P89s never die. Nope, they're pretty good. Do I have an M4A1 for sale? I don't sell guns uh, outside of the store, so contact the store. Have I ever run a Mini 14? Uh, your mom's ex-husband always used to say the 14s were much more reliable and accurate than the original M16. He was in non with combat shotgun. I never messed with the 14. They're fun. You need to get the 5.56 Mini 14s if you want accuracy. The original 223s are not that fun. Do I have an S7 sniper rifle? Nope. Best first suppressor? That's personal. You got to decide what you're going to use it for. Are you going for rifle or pistol? I went with the pistol one. You got to decide what you're going to do with it. Uh, do, do, do. He said they were easier to clean and service and hold the zero better. Nice. Uh, what about the Night Stalker? What's your favorite gun you've ever had? The Night Stalker is going to the shoot tomorrow. Yes. Uh, we, we needed an extra pistol caliber suppressor. And um, since that's a new gun, then I figured I said I'd bring that too. Uh, hit the like. Nice. What's my EDC? That guy. Um, Auto Ordnance 1911 chambered in 45 ACP. It's just it's what I like carrying right now. I like a full size. Some say putting a lighter weight firing pin spring in your Canik MC9 won't help if you get failure to battery. Would help. That is possible, but it's striker fired, so I would think the disconnector had more to do with it than the firing pin. Because the spring on the firing pin locks it back, or, or shoots it forward, not locks it back. Uh, Glock 23. No thanks. Like in the live stream, it's a little hidden, but if you click the top right corner, you'll see the option to like everyone. Yeah, that's right. Um, if you see three dots, click on that. It allows you to then open up a menu that allows you to click on like. Thoughts on PSA rifle? PSA is okay. Their quality control still has to come up a bit. They send out guns, missing pins, parts, things like that. Um, once they do, 
uh, get their quality control under control, they'll definitely shoot way up in terms of ranking. Do I have a 9mm diamond? Uh, you mean like a DBR or the DB9? No, I don't. I don't carry anything Diamondback Pistol makes because their metallurgy isn't that good. We've had, I've seen four personally where the recoil spring retainer on the front of the slide, if you look at a Glock, most striker fire guns, they all have the same thing. The metal actually snaps at as little as 100 rounds. <clears throat> Do I have an MK50 sidekick pistol? Nope. Uh, do I have a Draco? No, I had one, sold it. Everybody wants a Draco. Dracos are stupid. There's no point to owning one. Some carry with an open chamber because they're scared of an ND. You carry with an number, an open chamber because your gun is open bolt. We are not the same. <laughs> Lols. Uh, thought about SIG pistols. I actually am in a bit of a SIG kick, but I only want Legions and X5s. Um, but yeah, I like them. I've got a few. Boom, 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 boom. Go to, go to bed. No, thank you. I'm good. Have you heard anything about the Sentry Arms BFT-47? No, I can't say I have. Any thoughts on Spike's Tactical in uh, Opopk, uh, Florida? Um, Spike's is cool. They make all the custom lowers and stuff. Uh, they're a little gimmicky, but they seem to have decent stuff. Is Daniel Defense the best AR-15? Not even close. I'd go with the Q Sugar Weasel or even just a frickin' um, Stag Arms before I went to Daniel Defense. They just have the best marketing. Whose blood you drink in the Glock Owner? No, I only drink uh, Glock Owner's Tears. Pool water tastes nasty. You shouldn't be drinking pool water. I probably peed in it. Uh, do you think the improvement will likely see increase in price or hold where they're at? Price has to go up a little bit if they need to hire more people. If they can get it done with training, then it shouldn't increase the price too much, and the dude really likes being what he is. I think the Canadian Army switched to the P320. Nice. Roman comes back. Screw it. Can't do anything else with these Google credits. Here you go. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Roman came in with another donation. And thank you, because you made Google gave you money, and then you gave me Google's money. That's awesome. You bought the M200 Intervention. Cool. The only thing bad about SIG pistols is if you drop them the wrong way, they will go off. It's, no, they don't. If you look at all the new ones, the ones that they can still get to go off, they're hitting them with 8-pound sledgehammers. Do you know how much force is behind an 8-pound sledgehammer? You can't do it without a hammer. Uh, that's a Glock with the fun switch. Nice. Uh, Draco's without a brace suck. Yep, pretty much. Um, yeah, no doubt. No. Oh. Roman, Roman, Roman. Thank you, son. Holy crap. We reached like a dead second there because my brain just stopped. Holy shit. Sorry, dudes. Um, yeah, when I start late, I kind of lose my own train of thought. Plus, I have to, I'm still thinking about stuff we got going on tomorrow. Um, all right, let's get back into this real quick, though. I uh, wonder if High Point will ever make something in 22 long rifle. God, I hope not. They are so heavy, they might not work. Where am I from? Virginia. And all those poor uh, SBRs, people taking off stocks, they don't care. You have SBRs, they just don't want you to be able to aim them. Isn't that funny? Yeah, that is true. Um, what's a suppressor? It looks clean. That is the Silencer Co. Osprey 9. So, 9mm pistol dedicated. You know, I kind of like the shape of this one. Like I said, they're not getting a shout-out. I'm not telling you the name of it, but... Uh, there's a fucking switch. Oh, battery's dead, but... That's kind of cool. Looks like a vape. Got a couple of LEDs on it. I'm going to have to get that charged up. Hey, Jiminy. Love the videos. Thinking of getting rid of your 43X for a CZP-01. Thoughts? Good choice, Taylor. Definitely do it. Chi-Chi! Welcome. Welcome back again. Uh, haven't seen you since the last time. Do I talk about in infrared and thermals? Not really, just because I don't hunt. I've never used thermals or infrared. Um, so, I mean, you're more welcome to talk about it. I say things. Tell me things. I'm always willing to learn. Is supposed to have a bulge front trunnion in 1.5 millimeters, so it's supposed to be better than older models. Well, I certainly hope they do better. Oh, look at that. It's a USB-C. And it comes with a lanyard. I'm going to plug this thing in. I want to see how bright it gets. Uh, needs batteries. No, it comes with batteries. It's rechargeable. It just came dead. Uh, what's my most powerful gun? I've got a 4570 lever. I, I don't go for powerful. I go for fun. So... Um, I'm not a rifle or shotgun guy by most standards, so. 
Watch, I'm going to plug it in and the flashlight's going to give my computer a virus. Uh, you mean to tell me you've never taken out a Predator with an IR scope? Yeah, I can tell you that the last time that a Predator came after me, I shit my pants. Alright. Hey, so let's see what happens. Oh, yeah, that's that's got some brightness to it. Let's let that charge for a little bit and see what happens. Right into the fan. That's how we do things here on the Jiminy Show. See what happens. Uh, you will always watch my lives. Thank you, Chi Chi. I appreciate that. Talk to me how you got that job uh, in a store and the interview process. Well, it's kind of different for me, Rafa. Um, my buddy opened the gun store, so he just asked me if I wanted to work for him. And then the other store, I've just known him for years. And then one day I'm in there and he's like, hey, do you want some help? You want me to help? Or do you want to work here a little bit? And I said, yeah. You mean tell me you've never taken out Predator? Nope. Picked up a Sears Roebuck single shot 20 through two long rifle at the flea market a little while back. I miss being able to buy guns at the flea market. Uh, I bought a Winchester 3030 at a Pennsylvania flea market for 300 bucks a couple of years ago. Do I have a 44 Magnum pistol? No, I sold my last one. You have all the powerful caliber. Jesus, Andrew, you're starting to sound like a, a supervillain. I bought a cheap, uh, you bought a cheap ML140 for your rifle uh, for 33 bucks. It was a great flashlight. Well, this, this was free for me because, like you said, the company started giving me all these stupid fucking demands about how they wanted me to do their, uh, their um, video. And I basically told them to send me a shipping label. And they said, no, just use them. So I said, okay, sure. It says 3,000 lumens, and I believe it. Loops, what's going on, dude? Uh, do I play on PC? A little bit. Um, not a lot. I just do casual gaming. I don't do, like, competitive or anything. Uh, well, thanks for serving, Roman. Do you do anything with digital interment? Oh, so Roman does that. It's a hell of a light. Just look like you gave yourself a DUI stop. Yeah, it says it's 3,000 lumens, so... Um, Impact resistant and IP54 rated. I don't think that's very good, honestly. Uh, they got a Lever Martin Marlin for 500 at the same market. Oh, that's not a bad price. Last 336 I sold was like 900. Have you seen those post arrest interviews on shorts lately? Florida be wild. No. Do I have an AK? Yes. I love that question. I get it every time. Uh, Loops, how are you doing today? That's the most important part. Loops, scoops. Scoops, loops. All you guys should be liking the video. Uh, while it's crazy with the overlays, they seem dangerous to lie about something being IR or thermal and it just being an overlay. Yep, pretty much. What's the quietest gun? That would be the B&T. Uh, they make a new version of it. It was basically a um, suppressed, integrally suppressed single shot 9mm. Uh, real thermal show the color spectrum. Oh, awesome. Uh, I'm doing okay, Loops. Thank you. Do I have an AUG? Are you watching this live, or are you just listening to it? Well, what do I think of the PSA crank? I really haven't put my hands on one, so I have no idea. Do I have an online store? Uh, Liberty Arms does, libertyarms.biz. You can go on there. Uh, that just accesses the gear fired, so it doesn't show used. You're doing amazing. Awesome, Loops. I'm happy. What's the next gun I'm going to buy? Uh, I'm buying from my buddy's pawn shop a 1918 Colt 1911. It's been reblued, but it makes it a shooter. So it's a 1918 U.S. government stamped. So it says U.S. property, actual 1918, 1911. Uh, what's the worst gun I bought? Kiapa M922 long rifle. It was a piece of crap. Got eight rounds out of it before it decided to stop working. And I wound up shooting it with my Winchester 3030. Um, bum, bum, bum. yeah, I'll never buy another one. Uh, but yeah, it, my buddy bought a, my buddy at his pawn shop. They bought a collection from an older guy, and it was in there. Um, yes, BFL. That's an AUG. It's not mine. I do uh, plan on getting a different one. That one is sold to a friend of mine. Uh, what would you take if you were shooting 200 yards accurate target practice? Any AR, any AR should do 200 yards, no problem. Any Western guns, I'm not really into revolvers that much. I've got, you know, that one up on the wall, the 65.3, but when it comes to guns, I'm not a revolver guy. Uh, you're going to dip for a bit, going to pick up the intervention. All right, Andrew, at 9 o'clock at night, you're going to pick up a gun. I love you, dude. Uh, what's your biggest gun you've ever used or shot? Barrett M82A1. Uh, shot one, and tomorrow I'm going to shoot another one. You found an airsoft place near you. That's awesome, dude. 
Sorry, can't let you see the label. I have no idea which end is going to open. You ever do that? You connect your, your pill bottles together and then they you don't know which one's open. Am I out of Tazwell? No. Uh, 22, 22 long rifle at 200 yards? Yeah, absolutely. Why wouldn't you? We might be kindred. Yours is a 1917. Awesome. Yeah, no, like I said, it, it came up and it, it looks too good not to pick up. Great, it's actually pissing me off that they're almost look like night vision. Oh. What makes me like the 1911? Uh, the triggers for one, Rafa, they have, 1911s have the best single action triggers for a semi-auto, period. Even an old Colt will outshoot a Glock any day of the week. Um, I like the feel of 45 ACP. I like the weight of the gun. I shoot the gun very well because it's heavy. Um, I just like them. My thoughts on the Smith & Wesson SDVE 2.0. I like it. Seems like a nice gun, especially for 300 bucks. Yeah, fuck Glock. Get one of those. Next, Andrew is going to come out, somehow inherit a 1970s AKM from his grandpa. I'm going up to his house to just see what he actually has. Uh, Mark Lynn, head out. Have a good night, brother. Earned a new sub. Thank you, brother. I appreciate that. Thank you for coming in. Just like the video on your way out. What about scopes for ARs and a good price to look for? Uh, you can get scopes really cheap. You can buy three to nine by forties for a hundred and twenty bucks that are going to be decent. They like uh, Athlon is a Chinese brand, but they really they have a big U.S. support system, and like a hundred and twenty bucks you can get a three to nine by forty, and it should actually shoot really well. What name brand twenty eleven should you get? Wavy. You can only buy a Staccato because the only brand that actually owns the name twenty eleven is Staccato. If you mean which twenty eleven should you buy, uh, the ones I would go with would be the T Sauce. If you want to spend some big money, go with an Atlas or a Hayes Custom, uh, or find a used um, STI from back in the day. Those would be my options. If I do, it might be one to two hours away. Just make sure you can spend the whole day. Then loops. That's what I would do. All original except for new recoil spring, new slide stop release, didn't have one and replaced the GI short blade extractor with a new longer but kept the original. Nice. The original finish is the best part on yours, Christian. Like I said, this one's been re-blued, but that just means I'll be able to take it out and shoot it. Glock with the switch is better. Oh, yay. One of those. Uh, it's still a fucking Glock. Red drink. How do I highlight someone in your messages to chat? Um... I, I honestly don't know, to be honest with you. Uh, Walmart Special, just kidding. You like the NC Stars. They aren't bad for the price. Uh, NC Stars will do the job, too. Like I said, you can definitely get in under 200 bucks and get going for a 200-yard gun, no problem. Uh, you have an NC Star 4x40, and it's accurate and holds zero. There you go. What about the 1911s? Um... TSOS is a great entry point. They make the all forged, like that's got no MIM parts. It does have plastic because it's got the 2011 style grip on it. Um, Springfield with their garrison is always a good choice. Fusion Firearms is a good choice. Um, Rock Island is a good choice for budget budget. Uh, they all need tuning. Honestly, any budget one does, but they're pretty good. What's up, James? How you doing tonight? What do I think about World War III? Will it happen, and what will you do? Cruz, I'll be dead when World, Thro World War III actually happens. Um, it's not going to happen. We'll just have continual skirmishes like we do now, so I don't see a full-blown World War II-style World War III happening. Uh, we'll just nuke the shit out of each other. What do I think about SIG versus Beretta? Two totally different uses. Um, the way they're built, the type of guns they build. Um, I prefer the SIGs over the Berettas personally, but I'll take a 92 over like a um, shitty SP-2022. Not shitty, but you know what I mean. I have one original Mag-2 they believe has always been with it. It looks similar to others of the period where the bluing is worn off on the top half with the mag down to white metal. Actually, that's the way they were made. They were, for some reason, the way they were dipped, they didn't care about half of the mag. What's my favorite Glock? A broken one. Uh, Nighthawk for starters, 1911. Yep, that's right. Drop a few stacks and you'll be good to go. I just don't like taking them apart. Plus, I'm an idiot, so I'm going to scratch, scratch it. Uh, yeah, that's always an issue that you can run into, the idiot mark. Runs like brand, brand new every time. Kept it uh, till it was one thousand. Kept at it till it was 1,000%. Nice. What's the best police gun? Well, they use Smith & Wesson M&Ps. They use Glocks. Uh, Pennsylvania State Patrol just switched to the Walter PDP. How do you overclock your monitors? Uh, you need your graphics card um, will usually have 
a uh, setting if you use NVIDIA or AMD that will allow you to go in and use software to overclock your monitors. They've been saying World War III was going to happen since the Cuban Missile Crisis. Yeah, pretty much. Did I learn a lot about guns working in the shop or growing up? Actually, I really didn't learn guns until about 2017. I liked them, but I really didn't learn about them until after 17. In fact, the first time we went to the range and we had my 1911 in that Browning, I thought the Browning was a 1911. That's how far I've come in eight years. I see many civil wars and little wars, but no actual world war, pretty much. Yep. Like, well, you loops, you just got to decide if you want to take that time to drive out there. Maybe go if they're going to have like a full day, uh, like like um, Milsim or something, and just kind of jump in, dude. Am I a 1911 guy? Yep, pretty much. Uh, get some 24K engraved 1911s. Uh, we have them every now and then at the store. They're available. They're just too expensive for what they are because they're usually built on GI models, which suck. You miss the hell out of your MMP. You can always get another one down the road. What do you do if someone breaks into your house? Well, um, if they break into my house, then um, there's going to be a big red truck with the cross on it that carries them out. Did not know that. Guess it makes sense. Mine already had an idiot mark. Yeah, never understood why it was so hard to properly install it, but apparently it's awful hard. Well, what happens is a lot of guys, like if you watch the videos where I take apart in 1911, you'll see me slide the slide lock in, push up and push down while pushing it up. A lot of guys will just shove it up, thinking that it's going to push in the detent. You could also take a flat, like, tweezer blade and put it in there and push the detent in in order to get it in there a little bit better. But it's just because people are forcing it too hard. Are they real guns? One of them is. Springfield Prodigy, yay or nay? It's okay, JC, but since they came out with that gun, which is $500 cheaper, I have no intentions on getting a Prodigy. Thinking about putting a dot on your Glock 17, what do you use on your handguns? I actually use all kinds of different stuff, Dave. Uh, that one has a Holosun 407K. I've used the C. Uh, my SIG 320s. I have a Leupold Delta Point Pro and a Romeo 1 Pro. Do I like to bread a PX4 Storm? Yes, I do, but not enough to buy one for some reason. I keep thinking about it, but I never do. Uh, what kind of ammunition does law enforcement use? Is it wise to carry the same? It doesn't matter as much nowadays because a lot of them carry like federal HST or Hornady critical duty, critical defense kind of stuff. Some of them will carry like spear gold dot. I think it's whatever they can get the best value price on. So, but they carry hollow points. You're looking to be a concealed carrier. What would I suggest as a first gun to train with? Whatever is comfortable in your hands, Cap. I can't tell you what gun is going to work best for you. I carry a 1911. You may like a Glock 43. You got to go and put your hands on a bunch of guns. Uh, wait, did you say what? What did you say? I was doing something. Loops, like I said, if you want, you said that the field is an hour or two away. Just see if they do any like mill sims or like urban environment simulation, things like that. And then determine whether or not you want to spend a whole day there. If you want to go and spend a whole day there, just cranking around, just firing off tons of six millimeter at your buddies. Hell yeah, dude, make a whole day out of it. It'll be fun. What's a better bullet? 300 black, 556, or 308. All depends on what you're using it for. 308 reaches out in touch with more power than 556. 556 will reach out in touch. 300 blackouts better for short barrel and suppression. Jonathan, what's going on, dude? Nerds is back. Nice. What did I have for dinner? I had a can of soup. Is 40 Smith & Wesson dead or will it live on? It's always going to live on. Um, it's never going to go away. It's just not popular anymore. Uh, just watch your acorn shooting drill. Yeah, thanks, nerds. I appreciate that you liked it. Can you show us one of your guns in the background? I can't pick up guns on live stream. YouTube will lose their shit. Thoughts on the 1911 GI mil spec? Uh, for the money, it's not bad. Honestly, I think the auto ordinance is a little bit more faithful. Um, but either one is a good choice. Is 38 Special good enough stopping power gun for self-defense? Yeah, if you have target placement. 38 is not an unpowered round. Um, it's better than 380 for sure. Your 1970s, 1917s, once you have it lined up with the takedown notch, slide stop just pops right in with no real resistance. I guess that must have broken like everything else on it. Yeah, over time, the, the spring that goes into there, um, it can just lose some of its springiness, being that it's over 100 years old if it's one of the original ones. Um, you see that USPS, USP? Uh, there's no USP behind me, bro. Um 1911 Browning High Power and 2011 style gun tactical sport orange in 1911. Uh, do do do. Yeah, and that is an AUG. Can I 
I can tell you a 1911 in your hand fits like a glove. It does. It's a natural grip angle. Nice. I was thinking about an RMR, but you just swayed me to the Delta Point. Yeah, I like the Delta Point. Um, it seems to work really well. I was told by a police officer who did your CCW to use only hollow points because they stop in the target. But then I heard you can be charged worse for using hollow points in self-defense. That's not 100% true, Roman. Um, actually, hollow points are more widely accepted. Like if you decide to get uh, concealed carry insurance through like lawyers on retainer, U.S. Law Shield, wherever, uh, they'll tell you hollow points are better and they will prove definitively in court that you are more concerned with stopping the target or stopping the threat than you were with over penetration and hitting somebody behind. So carry hollow points unless your state bans it. You had broccoli and cheddar soup for dinner. Nice. Soup is a good option. I just had some, uh, it was chicken and wild rice. So it looks pretty good. Uh, it looks like a USB. Eh, that's fine. Also the black, I got to paint those rails. I'm going to paint them that way the guns don't blend in. Uh, I think once I get a proper recoil spring, I think the short blade will work fine. But with the longer extractor, it kicks them out just fine. I still do run it. It was made to run. Yeah, also this the, the 17 and the 18s before, I believe the 17, like the 18 I'm getting, I believe they have the shorter um, ejection port too, which could also be a problem. It looks like the one from CS. Yes, well, you know, that's where people, you got lawyers on retainer. Yeah, so talk to them. I mean, honestly, they, they should be able to tell you the same thing. Carry hollow points unless they're banned in your state. What's my favorite caliber? Don't really have one, Xavier. I'll shoot every caliber. Whatever I'm shooting is is always going to be a good time. Um, there's never been a caliber that I've shot, and I'm like, man, this sucks. Um, but typically when I carry, I carry a 45 or a 9. Michael, what's going on, sir? Uh, late to the party again. Not as late as you would have been had I started on time. Uh, yeah, Roman, Absolutely. Uh, you own an AK? Yeah, I got a couple. Just paint the guns the color of the wall. <laughs> I like your I like your style, kid. I like the cut of your jib. But if you think I'm going to paint a three thousand uh, dollar carbine, you are out of your mind. Uh, okay, I have to get my own guns though, and my own gear. Did I say that right? Yes, you do have to get your own gear, but it's not too hard to do, and you can get like a good budget setup for under a few hundred bucks, including like CO2 if you're going to run that, green gas or whatever, plus the BBs and the the the, the, the guns, you can get like an AAP-01 or a Glock clone, and for like 110 bucks you can get a vest and a mask for probably 60 70 bucks and then you can get extra mags and stuff pretty cheap. Uh, but, uh, what about a bow and arrow? Um, I haven't shot one of those since I was in elementary school. How well does the suppressor work? Well, it's a Silencer Co. Osprey 9. It works really well. The thing is, it's designed different from your standard round suppressor in that the air coming out, so the gases following the round actually swirl underneath the, the, the baffle. So instead of having a full round baffle that the gases swirl in, because it's an offset barrel, the gases actually tumble underneath the barrel. So it, it's a little bit more finicky on like Glocks and stuff. Glocks are notorious for not running suppressed. What's my favorite gun? 1911s. Uh, did they pass through the house a mandatory gun insurance? No, they didn't. But if you live in an area where you might have to use it or if you're worried you might have to use it, it's not a bad idea to have it. It's like having life insurance. We People pay for it and you, they never use it. Uh, no problem, Loops. Yeah, it was a strange moment when I went through the process of setting it up with the LOR. I watched the entire hour-long video. Yeah, like I said, I got U.S. Law Shield, but uh, Lawyers on Retainer sounds like a pretty good organization. If I had a wall like this in the U.K., I would have half the country's special forces outside the door with a raid squad. Oi! Are those real guns? Excuse me, would you mind stepping outside real quick? I'm going to hit you with my baton! Eh! This is a better light than that, by the way. So, sure, Fire Scout. Uh, they seem super legit, though. Yeah, like I said, from everything, I have did a little bit of uh, video watching after people were mentioning them, and they seem pretty good. Bro, I'm Indian. I pulled up to my friend's house with your bow and arrow, and let me say, worst decision. <laughs> you like the bullpup. Yeah, it's pretty good. You choose chose them, you've heard bad things. Yes, absolutely, and I'll be the first one. Anybody ever asks me, I tell them to. Don't get USCCA. They, uh, they're just money-grubbing motherfuckers. Uh, they got a hell of an injectors. Uh, 1911 and SKS both nice bro your guns are awesome thank you sir uh, do I own an AR pistol yes do I have an arm brace yes is it still banned without a tax stamp nope they are legal again the US government told the ATF to get fucked 
Uh, what handgun is that above your head with the suppressor? That is the TSOS Night Stalker Double Stack. I have it set up because it's going to a uh, gun shoot tomorrow. We're doing a thing for the store. Dang, man, you know your guns. I love it. Thank you, sir. I try to. I don't always, but I try to. The AUG on the top shelf is what the police will pull up on your house with if you missed your TV license. But <laughs> Yeah, no, fuck. Why, do they still do that to you guys? It, you have to pay a TV license? Still, that sucks. Can you overclock a TV for more hertz? Uh, I believe you actually can. Actually, when you go with, like, um, image smoothing, and then you can increase, like, I have my big screens all set to 60 hertz. Um, a lot of them are 120, 140 hertz. I don't like the way movies look at 140 hertz. What's that gun hiding behind my head? That is my daily carry auto ordinance 1911. It's just a plain GI with a couple of add-ons. How many subs do I have? Somewhere around 171,000. Um, the green guy, hello, do you remember me? Honestly, I don't. I do apologize, though. To be honest, though, I didn't say this, but almost nobody does anymore. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Can I see it up close? Nope, can't pick up a gun. Uh, what gun is your favorite? 1911 Platform's my favorite gun. All you guys, start liking the video. Come on. There's a bunch of new guys. I want you guys to like the video. I'm trying to steal Google's money. I want them to pay a gun tuber for, for doing videos. Wish I could get an airsoft as you're not allowed pistols in New Zealand, but most good airsoft guns are really expensive. Uh, USD is two times in New Zealand dollars. Wow. Yeah, I know Australia is like a 1.4, 1.5 conversion. Be awesome if I can click on the guns, guns up there and they get shipped to you. That would be interesting. I'd be angry because then I'd be out of my guns, though. Unpopular opinion, AK is better than AR. It's not unpopular. I get a lot of people in the comments that, that say the same thing. I mean, you're all insane, but that's cool. Uh, what are the PC specs? PC is actually pretty plain. It's just a, it's an i9-12900K and an RTX 3090 um, on two separate water loops. Just a basic setup. Thanks for your suggestion, sir. You ordered the Steven 320 Security Traditional with no pistol grip. Should be a couple days before you get your hands on it. Ready, really psyched. Uh, no problem, Lewis. I'm glad that you went with the 320. That's going to be an awesome choice for you. Definitely going to do all everything you wanted to. Uh, use 2011-101, what to look for. Uh, run the slide back and look for excess wear on, especially if it's got like a bull barrel, make sure that it's not wearing weird on top of the barrel. Some guns with bull barrels, they'll drag on top of the barrel and that could be indicative of like spring issues um, and lockup issues. But basically just look at it and see if it looks like it's been, you know, hold on. I'm not going to touch the guns, but I can show you. Uh, best AK is Century Arms Vichka. They got a lot better, but you know, if you go to a gun shop and somebody hands you a gun that looks like my TS Orange, which I threw down the range, um, don't know if you really should be dropping 2K on a gun like that, but uh, when it's refinished, you'll never be able to tell, but yeah, so just look for unnatural wear. Natural wear is fine, but uh, unnatural wear you should be aware of. Like, that gun will never leave my possession. That's why I threw it. Uh, you got an Airsoft AK and Glock, which I've done a few things to that I'm 100% totally illegally allowed, legally allowed to do. <laughs> Isn't it actually harder to get 6mm Airsoft in the UK? You guys can get 177 caliber or uh, air BB guns, but Airsoft is actually harder. I watch uh, Andy's, uh, Andy's Andy on Air or Andy's Air Guns on Air. Yes. Hey, they don't allow guns in Trinidad, Trinidad or Tobago, but the Army and police sells the guns and ammunition to criminals. Oh, so they're like the U.S. I admit I'm knucking futs. Nice. Do I have any shotguns? Yeah, I got a few. South Africa's conversion rate is 19 to 1. I know this because of all the South Africans working in the farms around me. They can also buy ARs, which I found wild. Nice. That is weird. What's the difference between a Glock Gen 3 and uh, Glock 45 Gen 5? All right, so a 19... Number one is smaller. It's a 19 is a 15 round capacity. A 45 has a Glock 17 style grip with 17 rounds. Gen 3 has finger groups. Gen 5 does not. Gen 5 is ambidextrous controls. Gen 3 is not. Gen 5 supposedly has a better trigger. They don't. Um, Gen 3 is also on the California roster. Gen 5 is not. Uh, are you going to start streaming? Nice Augie you got there. What do you mean am I going to start streaming? I've been streaming for a couple of months now, three times a week, so. Uh, yo, you should suppress a Mossberg shotgun. Don't think I haven't thought about it. I can get the uh, Silencer Coast 12-gauge shotgun suppressor. 
Uh, I've been thinking about it. You got a sword collection and Glock is gas powered. The AK-47 is uh, AEG. Okay. What video games do I play? Mostly first person games like I've been playing Ready or Not, Half-Life Alex on VR. Um, I do a lot of racing games. I like cars. I've always loved cars, so I love playing racing games. I even have like PS2 emulators so I can play the old Gran Turismo 4. But right now I've been playing a lot of Forza Horizon 5. What's up, Cassie? How you doing? Uh, I guess they can buy guns off their farmer's visa and they have to get U.S. driver's license, so I guess that's why it's legal. Uh, as long as you have a visa showing that you can be in the United States legally, you can own a gun. Do I have any World War II era guns? Not right now, but I'm picking up a 1918 um, Colt 1911 here in the next couple of weeks. I'm waiting for one of my cars to sell. As soon as I sell it, then I can afford it. Uh, what are the other days I stream? I stream Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays starting at 7 p.m. Eastern, and I go until I'm usually tired. Because of the number of people like you that keep coming into the streams, I've been going for like six hours every time. Uh, what are the other... Da, 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 what state am I from? I am from Virginia. Or am I going to start streaming games? Oh, good question. Uh, no. Uh, games are harder to stream, especially on the YouTube platform, because if there's like copyrighted music and stuff, you got to pay for licenses and shit. So I'm not too interested in streaming. Also, I'm not a good like online gamer. And single player to me, I don't think anybody wants to sit and watch me opening freaking crates all night. Like, you know, I'm playing like CSR, which is Android based, but I have an emulator on my computer. And, you know, I've got it hacked, so I have, like, two billion gold. And I just sit in open crates to try to get all the cars. Nobody wants to see that shiz. Uh, what do I do for work? I'm actually disabled. I help out at my buddy's gun store, and I have some hustles on the side that I do, but I don't do a whole lot. Uh, do, do I use a wheel? I play Gran Turismo 7 a lot. No, I'm actually a controller guy. Um, I shift with down here, um, look back, and then gas, brake. Gas, brake. You break, reverse, uh, because that's the way the original um, Gran Turismo was. Uh, what gun is on the top? That is a Steyr Aug, chambered in 556. Uh, God damn, the price of a dead soldier's Colt is equal to a used car. No, 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 no. It's like 2K. Um, I'm just saying I'm waiting for the car to sell. I used my cat, my available cash to buy the car, so I don't want to spend. I don't like to spend money that doesn't need to be spent. You know what I mean? I'm just waiting for the title for the car so I can sell it. Uh, just for one, eating the Taco Bell, let the stomach exorcism begin. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Sometimes it feels like you ate a small badger and the mother father's trying to get out. Might not want to be streaming with the suppressor in the background. Nah, it's fine, Vince. It's a display. How much money have I spent on guns? Can you use guns if you have an intruder on your property? Yes, I can use a gun to defend my home property if I feel my life is in danger or somebody breaks into my home. How much have I spent on guns? I don't even think about it, man. It's gotten to the point where you don't even think about it. Am I ex-military? No, I was not able to serve. I have too many health issues. I was not able to serve in the U.S. military. I wish I could have. Uh, are they real guns? Yep. Looking to get into a green dot. Any recommendations? Um, depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking for a pistol, Holosun 507, 407, that's a 5407K. Uh, that is a Romeo 7S, and those are both green. What happens if your gun gets stolen? Number one, you report it right away. Number two, uh, don't leave your gun somewhere where they can get stolen. When I leave my house, all my guns get locked up in safes. They do not sit out. Crypto, thank you for the donation, and thank you. I hope your jujitsu goes well. Make sure that you think it's your does when you're knocking uh, some dude's head off. Are uh, you looking to getting a green? Do we already answered that one. Loop said, oh, okay, no problem. Uh, what do I do instead of streaming the entire game? Just record it and upload the highlights. I've tried that. I did that with Fallout 4 for a while, like building settlements and stuff. I've been thinking about it, but I don't have the patience to edit, and I already do two full-length videos a week, three live streams, and I try to do a short basically every day. I usually miss a lot of them just because uh, uh, YouTube shadow banning. To avoid the copyright and stuff, yeah. Uh, what are my tattoos of? They're just random like technology stuff. Uh, I just told my tattoo guy to just go nuts. I do have a skull on this arm that's going to be actually, it's going to be this sleeve. It's going to be uh, torn skin with like servos and gears and stuff. So that's going to be the whole sleeve. And then I still have to go in uh, probably the end of this month. I'm going to go in and get all of this kind of penciled out. We're going to do all the outlining and then we need to do a shit ton more, more of uh, shading and stuff. 
Uh, Dane, I wish I could... Oh, actually, I do remember the name. Nice. Um, you write down all your serial numbers. Yeah, I have all my serial numbers recorded. Absolutely. All us on SES Carry. That's a good choice. They're cool guns. Thank you, Cody. Are you worried about the government taking away your guns? I've been hearing a lot about that over here. I don't know if it's true. Uh, unfortunately, the news you hear is only given to you by other news sources, so you're not getting the real story, and YouTube is full of people that like to explosively exaggerate shit. They keep trying, but it keeps on getting reversed. There are hundreds of millions of guns in the United States. They can continue to try to restrict them as much as they are, but they're eventually going to get to a breaking point if they continue to do that. Can I carry a gun with myself in all 50 states? Nope. Uh, my concealed carry is only re reciprocity in like 26 states. There are some that can go like 32 states, but nobody has a 50 state reciprocity. Um, yeah, it, if they push too far, eventually they're going to hit a wall and we're going to push back hard. Good evening, monster. What's going on? How can you describe the pain of the tattoo? If you've ever stepped on a tack, imagine doing that 800,000 times. But the fun thing about a tattoo, the interesting thing about a tattoo, as soon as the needle leaves your skin, it doesn't hurt anymore. And then it winds up feeling like a sunburn. Uh, how much money do I need to do to donate to you to tap your profile pic on your chest? Oh, uh, you ain't got enough money, diggity. Sorry, son. Uh, are the 15 round mags for the 1911s reliable? Not really. Uh, number one, there aren't any really good manufacturers. Chip McCormick makes the 10 rounds, so does Wilson Combat. But when you get to the 15s, that's a long stick for heavy ammo. Uh, this is 20 rounds of 45. So imagine almost all of this. 20 rounds, this is damn near half a pound. I don't trust that on the spring. Do I sleep upside down? What's my favorite tinfoil hat design? Uh, I line the inside of my ball cap with tinfoil. It works really well, and I also uh, encase myself in a Faraday cage. Change of mind, I got a different suppressor from the one that you originally applied for. I didn't submit my Form 4 on the old one. Will my tax stamp be moved to the new one? Nope, it starts over as a new one because if you, um, if you haven't submitted your Form 4, you don't have a tax stamp yet. Your tax stamp, your Form 4, needs the serial number of the item you're buying. So if you haven't submitted it yet, there is no tax stamp. You just need to send in the new one. Itching, burning, annoying feeling tattoo explained. Um, itching, yes. Burning, not so much. Uh, it likes it sun burning. Where's the Desert Eagle? Sold it. Uh, your true home. Freedom. Can you fire your guns at your backyard? No, I don't have enough land. But there are many places where if you own enough land, you're more than welcome to. What's the best caliber? Uh, if you're just getting into shooting, you've never done any shooting, start small. Go 22 caliber, shoot a revolver or a lever gun, whatever, and work your way up. 9mm is a good compromise between all of the calibers because, number one, it's the most popular ca carry caliber, and it's one of the most readily available. Uh, w guns, bro. Thank you, little Lydia. Excuse me. In terms of those military-grade rifles, are there any states where you can just walk around with it like a regular concealed carry gun? Uh, obviously, it won't be really concealed. Many states have open carry. Like, if I want to put that AUG on my back and walk around with it, I can. But because I have a concealed carry, if I want to put my jacket over it, I can. But many, many states have open carry. You just carry it, and it's open and visible. You're 100% legal. Shiny side in or out? Good question. I prefer to have it shiny side in. That way I get kind of like that... Um, what do they call that? The uh, the convection effect. Your arm is still sore after tattoos are finished. It's sore. Like I said, it feels like a sunburn, Michael. That's what mine feel like anyways. It feels like an intense sunburn. But I also have a problem where I'm allergic to antibiotics. And a lot of the stuff like in um, Aquaphor and stuff, I'm allergic to the hydrobenzone bullshit that's in them. So the last time I used it, my arm basically turned red and half the tattoo came off. So my doctor actually sent me for an AIDS test because she thought that I had gotten AIDS from my tattoo guy. Personally, I put spikes on my tinfoil hat. Uh, just uh, be careful if you forget and they're pointing in. That's always a problem with. Have I ever gotten so angry that you wanted to use your gun? Sure, but that's the difference between me and a criminal in that I would never do it. Auto ordinance, double stack, 1911. Um, I've never had any much experience with one of theirs. I'd check it out. Drop a shirt that says smooth brain and has a silhouette of you chucking the CZ. That would be kind of funny. If you haven't liked the stream, give me Google's money. That's what he's saying. Just click the like button. 
and gives me Google's money. You submitted it, I mean, the silencer shop told me since I canceled the old suppressor and got a new one that it would move over, so should I get another one? Um, if, if, uh, that's an interesting question, Gunfighter. Um, you canceled the old suppressor and got a new one. See, the thing is, we don't submit until after you pay for your suppressor, so I don't know how they're doing it, so you're going to have to talk to them. Um, if they're able to cancel it and cancel a serialized tax stamp submission or they haven't finalized it, then you should be able to just move it over. You can take the rank kids to range. Yeah, you can take them as young as eight in the state of Virginia, but we like to have at least 12. What's the difference between a suppressor and a silencer? There really isn't one dimes. Uh, the original patent for the suppressor was says silencer. It's just a silencer is an interchangeable name. Unlike clips and magazines, silencer and suppressor are interchangeable. Clip and magazines are not. Would I rather have a CMMG Banshee or a Scorp Scorpion Gen 3 Plus? I actually prefer the Banshee just because I like the heavier weight. Scorpion is nice, but I prefer the heavier weight of the Banshee. Wait a minute, you're Asian? Yep, I'm half Korean. I think they passed a law, law in some state where people 18 can carry concealed with no CCL. It's like nine states that have that now. Uh, there were kids shooting a 22 with their dad at the last range I went to. It's a good way to learn. Uh, 300 KD subs to shoot the, the Y, uh, no, uh, I'm not shooting my YouTube plaque. I'll buy a fake one and shoot it though. You drop something with smooth brain Overton going to see and send, send, cease and desist. Oh no, he won't even think about it. If I do it and I put a 1911, he won't even blink twice. If I'm an outsider, can I buy a gun in the USA? If I can, what's the limit? If you are not a U.S. citizen and you don't have a visa, then you will not be able to buy a firearm in the United States. Uh, YouTube pays money for going live? Not really. They pay some money, um, but like right now, this video is monetized, but um, I wish it was. Because if they paid me based on the number of views I get, I'd actually make okay money doing it. Um, the donations and stuff help but the like what the liking do, does and you guys subscribing does is it pushes more attention to my long form videos and that's where you actually make money on youtube shorts videos don't make shit shorts videos on 5 million views i'd make like 200 bucks on the long form videos i'd make like 600 off of like 40,000 so hello from russia michael michael the archangel what's going on dude do i have a played hell divers no i have not um I don't want to get into a game that's very addictive, and those seem like addictive games to me because I don't have that kind of time in my life. Do I like the Springfield Hellcat? It's fine. I don't like small frame guns. That's why every gun up there is a full size. Have I ever called the cops on somebody that failed the background check? No, because when they get denied, the cops call us. Nice tats. Thanks. They're all natural. Uh, what are your top three Marvel and top three DC villains? Ooh, villains. Um, I think that uh, Fing Fan Foom. The Dragon and the Mandarin back when the old Iron Man, not the bullshit from the movies. Um, Kingpin is probably one of my favorite villains. And then probably Paste Pot Pete. He was an Iron Man villain. Uh, kind of funny. DC villains, I don't really have any. I don't, I'm not a big DC fan. Do I agree with the new 18 law? If you're old enough to serve, you're old enough to carry. Am I wearing two layers of t-shirts? No, this is an Under Armour style shirt. And I didn't realize that the neck was higher than this shirt, so I am wearing two shirts, but one is an under style, under, under armor style. Uh, you don't have hepatitis and the level is not high enough to even get tested. I guess where I get a lot of tattoos, I must have been a drug addicted criminal with communicable diseases. No, um, I don't have pictures of it. I wish I had taken pictures. But my whole arm turned bright red and literally the tattoos were falling off my skin and my arm was super hot. So my doctor freaked out. I'll make sure to go watch your other videos. Thank you, Fix It. Are those real guns? Yes. What about Escape from Tarkov? That's another one of those ones that it's addicting and I don't want to. Uh, T-Sauce over the Rock Island. Um, only because if we're going to get pedantic, Rock Island doesn't make a 2011. They only make double stack 1911s. T-Sauce makes the uh, grip module that's removable. Rock Island doesn't. Um, but honestly, I think the TAC-2 Ultra 1911 double stack from Rock Island probably is a little bit nicer to shoot than this one. But this one is optics cut with a threaded barrel out of the box for about the same money. Have I ever fired a 50 BMG? Yes, I have. Uh, Barrett M82. 
uh, 235, you're off. Great meeting me. Thanks for report, uh, replying to everyone just sub. Thank you, you boy. Thank you, Alex. I appreciate that one. New Hampshire, Montana, Idaho, South Dakota, Texas, and Maine are all the CC at 18-year-old states. There you go. Thank you, Redneck. Do you have to report how many bullets you used or anything like that? No, but it's a good idea to keep track of how many rounds you're firing. That way you can know, um, like, for your training purposes, how many rounds you fired. Um, you can also just keep track of how many rounds you're putting through each individual gun. But most modern firearms, like Glocks, you can run 30,000, 40,000 rounds through one. Take the head off. No, thanks. Uh, I don't know a whole lot about guns, but I do like the silencer on that firearm behind me. What's the significance difference of a rectangular silencer versus a rounded one? Uh, you probably want to bring it up on your computer, but the Osprey, the square body design, um, I'll move you in close, but I'm not going to touch it. So the Silencer Co. Osprey design, if you look at it, you'll see that the barrel for the suppressor is actually offset. It's higher in the body. What that does is it allows you to use a lower height sight on the gun. Uh, you can't really do that with a round body because it would look really retarded. It would look like an egg. Uh, that's the reason for the rectangular body. But there are a lot of guns with lower sights. Like those are raised sights, but I wouldn't really call them suppressor height sights. But they actually work on that gun without having them. Um, it's a different gas recirculation system than a round can, but it works really well. What do I play on PC? Mostly uh, uh, car games, uh, some ready or not, and some VR. Uh, your cat's also enjoying the stream. Nice, my buddy's dog is watching the stream. Uh, question for you, do you think there's a company out there that'll update and customize your 227? Uh, yeah, CZ Custom Shop, dude. CZ, uh, CZ um, Cajun Gunworks uh, would probably, not CZ, excuse me. Um, fuck. Uh, there's a couple of custom shops out there. I can't think of the name all of a sudden. I'm thinking of CZs all day long. Uh, would I recommend the Holosun 507K? Absolutely, I would. That's a 407K on mine. Uh, it's crazy. My mom's friend and I believe my cousin has tattoos do that, but I believe it was because of the ink. Now, I'm allergic to the Aquaphor. 590 or 870? Um, I'm going to go with the 590, uh, personally. Do I like whiskey? No, I don't drink. Keep track of rounds per firearms. Just know when to replace barrels, uh, springs, things like that. Yeah, it's not, again, it's not a bad thing to do. Okay, fit and finish worth the extra money for a Prodigy over the T-Sauce. I think the T-Sauce has better fit and finish over the Prodigy, and it's $500 cheaper. Um, so far, like the, uh, slide, the way the slide feels, the slide to fit, frame fit and the way it does, it runs. I think the, the, um, plus you don't have to lose your rear sight. You don't have to buy a sight plate for that one. So I actually think that the Prodigy is below the T-Sauce in my opinion. Also, that has no MIM parts. The Prodigy does. Okay. Thank you for clearing that one. Gained yourself a sub. Thank you, Alex. I appreciate that one. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. Uh, got a VR, yes. Uh, what's a good close combat weapon? Whatever's at hand, brother. Be it a pistol, a shotgun, or an AR-15. Uh, but shotgun will do a lot. Can my dog carry my gun for me? No. Guns cannot be put onto an animal because the animal could get stolen or run away. How old do you have to be to get a gun range? To go to a gun range? That depends on the state you live in. Uh, here in Virginia, you have to be at least 8, but for Middletown, we ask that you be at least 12. Is your AUG chamber with 5.56 or something larger? Uh, it's a 5.56. Yes, Brian, I have a VR. Stop spamming. Damn, Joe, last week you were at 160K. You got 10 say. No, Redneck, you just didn't read that right. It was probably cut off. I was at 169 last week. Uh do, 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 you are right. It's an hour and 29 minutes away. That's not too bad. Just stop and uh, get yourself a nice burger or something on the way. Do I ball? Uh, I don't have feet, but I did when I was younger. You ever heard of Hacksmith Industries? Crazy engineering team making crazy Hollywood stuff. I have not, diggity, but I'll have to check them out. Uh, which optic would you put on the Canik TP9SC? Since it's a small gun, the subcompact, I would run something like what I have on there. I have the 407K on that one. Have you ever had to point your gun at someone? Yes, I've had people pull their guns out at the store without telling me what they're doing, and I'm not going to give somebody a chance to shoot me for no reason. Uh, I like your silencer. Where did you get it? I got it through Middletown Firearms, and I did it by doing a Form 4, and it's a silencer co. Uh, Lavesh, what's going on, man? Uh, sorry about my feet. No, it's fine. 100 viewers, and you should take the hat off. Thinning hair, man. There's no reason to. 
Have I ever experienced a squib load? Absolutely, I have. You can usually tell, you can usually hear the difference. Um, but yes, I have had a squib load where the round just stops in the barrel. And, uh, oh, it only shows by the tens. I mean, still 1K in a week. I used to get uh, 30,000 a month. Um, so yeah, I wish I could get back up there, Redneck. I hope to. Why don't I have feet and ND? No. Uh, infections, and I'm allergic to antibiotics. Uh, yep, maybe something else, probably. Hmm. Please like and sub. Yep. Just hit the like button, kids. Doesn't cost you a dime, and Google shows my stuff to more people. Uh, so you guys will be helping me out. Uh, what do I think about the CZ75 Shadow? I like the Shadow. I've had just about every version of the Shadow, and currently up on the wall is the TS Orange, which is like the granddaddy competition version of the Shadow. How much was your suppressor? And I thought suppressors are illegal. Suppressors are not illegal, but they do require a enhanced background check and a federal tax stamp. Um, that one is currently on sale for $1,000 plus a $200 tax stamp, so you're going to spend about $1,200 to get one. How do you zero your red dot? If you're on a rifle, then you're going to want to start anywhere from 25 to 50 yards uh, and just start, you know, shooting, and then you can find it. You're up, down, go opposite of the way it's going, and you'll find it. They make Iron Man suits, John Wick's armored suits, the robot thing from Aliens, lightsabers, Captain America shield. Hold on a second. You said Hacksmith industry? Helps if I type in the search bar. Hold on. Industries. All right. I've got it pulled up, Diggity. I'll check them out after the stream. First time watching only because you said thinning hair. Oh, that's a weird reason to come and check out a live stream, but yes, what I meant down there. Most people aren't actually allergic to antibiotics, only in early childhood. Yeah, most people aren't, but I am. I The last time I got Zosin and Vancomycin, I threw up for a week straight and lost 30 pounds, so I am allergic to antibiotics. Are they real? Yes, they are. Nice PC. Thank you, Lego man. Uh, thank you for answering all the questions. Really appreciate it. No problem, Recursion. I try to answer as many as I can. With more people staying longer and asking more questions, it gets harder. But I, I try to get as many as I can. Uh, G-Bus, same deal for pistols. Uh, pistols, you want to start closer. I mean, you could start as close as five yards with a pistol red dot. Um, now, obviously, I'm talking red dot, not magnified shit. Um, but yeah, start at five to seven yards and put five rounds down range. And then you'll see. So what you want to do, and this is important, put the red dot in the bullseye. Don't try to make it walk to the bullseye. Put the red dot on the bullseye, and then you'll see where it's going. And then you need to then know how to walk it down. Put the dot where the bullets are going, and then walk it down. Or up, whichever one it's doing. Four sights get close. Yeah, that's true. Can you put a suppressor on a revolver? Absolutely you can, but you have a big problem with the revolver and the fact that you have a cylinder, not a slide, so you have the back end of the cylinder, you need a revolver that is flush fit with the fit of the cone to the barrel. Otherwise you're going to get a lot of noise out of the side. Uh, is it true you're limited only to buy 50 rounds for a day? No, that's not true at all. I can buy 100,000 rounds right now if I wanted to. Uh, I think I know, I think Joe knows what Joe is allergic to, but who knows? No, that's fine. Uh, you only ask because you're having major issues yourself. Hmm. Uh, bro, I like your AUG. Thanks. Yeah, barges sound good, really. Barges? What's a barges? Would you rather a 1911 or a Glock? I would shoot the Glock in a heartbeat with a 1911. Screw Glock. Uh, sweet, thanks. No problem, dude. You buy 2,000 rounds at a time. Yeah. I work at the gun store, so typically if I need to buy ammo now, I'm buying cases. So, buy cases. Even if you only shoot 500 yard rounds, buy 1,000 or 2,000 and you have extra. Is G4 stuff okay? It's budget, so but it does the job. It all just depends. You know, don't go working in country with it. I don't think it would hold up for that. But in terms of just a less expensive thing to start with... Ooh, that's bright. That is bright. I might have to carry this in my truck because it's so small I can put it up on the visor. Like I said, fuck the company, but uh, thanks for the free light. 
Uh, why dost thou hate the Glock? Because the Glock is boring. It's boring. If everybody did everything that was boring, we wouldn't have supermodels. We wouldn't have sexy people. We wouldn't have supercars. We'd all be driving Toyota fucking Camrys and eating unflavored hummus. Yeah, I know what you meant, Loops. I got you. Burgers, pizza. It took me a second, but yeah. When I was six, a family member was stealing a rifle. I forget what kind of gun it was, but it knocked the wind out of me. And they even put you behind a big gun. They should have put you behind a twenty two. What's the largest gun I've shot? Uh, Barrett M82A1 shoots 58, uh, 50 BMG is probably the largest I've shot personally. Uh, 2016 Audi R8 V10. Forsooth, the 9 is divine. The caliber's fine, but blocks are boring as shit. Ever tried an Uzi? What do I think of those? No, I've never tried an Uzi. Um, they're an interesting gun, but we can't have them here without a tax stamp and a lot of money. Uh, $11,000 or so. Uh, so I'm not interested in one. Uh, you got a Taurus G3C for EDC. What's a good home defense pistol? Your G3C will run it. Uh, G3C is basically a Glock 26 clone, so just treat it good and put a light on it. You're bad at gaming. Your first experience with shooting is a 7.62. Lol, should I lower the caliber or just go higher? Just practice with what you can use, man. If that's all you got, use it. But Glocks are very reliable. Is there any better choice? Well, I tune and work on all my guns, so every gun I own is as reliable as a Glock, or I don't keep it. So, all right. If you like the Glock, great. Like, like I tell everybody in every stream, you go through all, all the streams I've done, and I will tell everybody the same thing. A Glock will run. A Glock will probably save your life. It'll get you home. It's going to be reliable. They're boring as shit, and if you're just looking for something to save your life, do that. If you become a gun enthusiast, Glock will become nothing but a tool in a toolbox. I have them. I don't care for them. What are my thoughts on weapons lights, or would you rather have a pocket carry or both? I'm fine with weapon lights. Um, I personally don't have an opinion. Carry both if you want to, I guess. What's up, X-Ray? Have I tried a binary trigger yet? Yeah, my AR-15 runs a Franklin Armory binary trigger. What's my favorite gun? 1911s. Uzi's a fun way to waste money and ammo. Yes, sir. Have you heard about the 1986 Miami Dade shooting? Yes, I actually watched it because I'm old. Uh, what brand is the hat? Uh, FlexFit. It's on Amazon. They're like 11 bucks. Uh, they're a fitted cap, which is why I like them. What's the smallest gun I own? I have a Colt Jr. 25 ACP. Uh, do, 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 do. Have I washed my behind today? I know you're trying to be a smartass, but I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, yes, because why would you want to be a stank-ass hoe? If you like being a stank-ass hoe, you do you. What's a good snubby? Uh, Colt makes them. Um, Levi, because he's proven how small his PP is, so he's got a snubby. But uh, that's not bad. It's a three-incher. How do I have a Glock? Uh, because I live in America, and I just went to an FFL and bought one. Local redneck. All right, man, I'm going to go grub, have a real tasty double Angus burger for dinner tonight. Going to devour that shite Dimitri should be in later. All right, redneck, thanks for coming and hanging out, dude. It's been fun. 22 Hornet versus a bear. If you put it in the right spot, dude, there's stories and pictures online of women, you know, ladies, old ladies in the, the backwoods taking out bears with a 22 long rifle. You hit them in the eye, it'll do the job. Beretta versus Glock. Any recommendation for a guy who just wants to use it for safety? Get the Glock. Berettas require a little bit more maintenance, especially if you get a Beretta 92, their takedowns, um, they're open top, so they get dirty or easy. Uh, do I have a Glock? Yes, I do. I have several. Cosmot, what's up? Is that a Luger? No, that is a, a Ruger clone with a polymer frame. Um, your favorite was Beretta M9 before CZ75 Shadow, and it's never failed you, but you should always find your right ammo for your handgun. Yeah, you you can usually find something. Nine millimeters easier to find reliable guns, but yes, twenty two especially can be picky. Uh, do I like the Ruger Security Six? I've only shot one once and it was fine. Do I hunt? Nope. Do not hunt. Nobody's ever taken me. Uh, I'm disabled and I can't shut my fucking mouth. Thy words strike true. Yes. What are some good trusty gun sites to use? Uh, not sure. Uh, if you go to libertyarms.biz, though, that uses GearFire, and, uh, that will show you anything that's available in your state. Uh, Pitbull, German Shepherd, Rottweiler, or Kengal, which would you rather have as a personal protection dog? Uh, probably the German Shepherd. I've had one. Also have an AR-15. What is a good suppressor for it? Um, 
suppressors are not gun, gun specific. They're not caliber specific. They're pressure specific. So your best bet is to find one that does anything for whatever you have. If you only have a 5.56, five, then you could get like a 30 cal can with a 22 cal uh, end plate on it. Or you can get a dedicated, like a switchback is rated for 5.56. Five, but um, you got to get one that's rated for your pressure. So you need to search by pressure, not by caliber. Best surplus pistol in your opinion. Uh, when the Brownings became surplus, the Jericho steel frames when they became surplus, and then the Berettas, of course. Uh, what are some good trustworthy gun sites to use? Yeah, no, nope. almost 2 p.m. here. You're going to get lunch. Might be able to join later. Pilot 2, who, where are you that it's 2 p.m.? What's my favorite food? Um, I don't really have a favorite food, but I grew up on Korean. I like them. Sky versus Ruger, Ruger. 380 auto, decent for self-defense. Anything's good for self-defense if you can put it in the right spot. That's the important thing. Uh, any guns that I was looking forward to but was disappointed after shooting or owning? Not really. Well, the Sky, just because it was cheap, and it wound up shooting like crap. Oh, uh, you got your, your gun for 10.5. Nice. What Virg I'm up in Northern Virginia. Uh, M200. Yep. Do you have an AK-47? Yep. Have four bull, bull Mastiff security trained. They work together like they have the same brain. Uh, bull Mastiffs are nice, but way too big for me. Sky versus Ruger for home protection. Well, Sky only makes two types of guns. They make a 380 and a 9. Ruger makes a shit ton of differences, so I'm going to go with Ruger. Uh, do I have Fortnite? I have it. I don't play it. 545 or 556? Five, five, I'm going 556 five, just because I'm more familiar with it. Oh, you're in New Zealand. Gotcha. King, what's going on, dude? Do I shoot Magnums? And if you do, what's your favorite? Uh, Trojan. Your most disappointing gun purchase is a 17 HMR semi-auto that I don't remember the manufacturer. You hated it. Oh, that's too bad, Lobster. I'm sorry to hear that. Zombie Apocalypse, what rifle and sidearm am I carrying? Your sidearm can be a pistol-length rifle caliber or a shorty shotgun or pistol. Uh, my sidearm is going to be probably a 1911, although if I really want to put rounds down range, I'm going to take the TS Orange um, on, a, on, the, on the Zombies 20 rounds, very quick, two-pound sugar uh, trigger. Um, long gun, I'm going to take my custom AR. Do I have a shot-off shotgun? No. Uh, UNVS gun laws may your country hard to get them here, but you've tried in a different countries in gun range. Nice. Uh, loops, I've played it. I just don't want to get addicted to it, man. What gun is best for hunting? Whatever you like, man. Depends on your state, your country, whatever. There's always regulations you have to follow. Um, can you have a silencer in Indiana? I'm not sure you'd have to look up Indiana law. Um, maybe. Can you own grenades or smoke bombs in the U.S.? Yes, but they require a destructive device license for each, or permit uh, for each one that you own, so it gets expensive. Loops, either you're spamming or something, but Justin keeps timing you out, so whatever you did, don't do it again. I know it's boring, but one for the Glock 17 because you're in the academy and are trading on what the department uses. Yeah, that's perfectly fine, Dave. The way I put it and the, the way I've said it, I've, I've kind of changed the way I say it because a lot of people get offended when I say fuck Glock. But if you want to live and you want something reliable and something that's easy to maintain and something that's going to get you home, get the Glock. Once you start getting into other guns, why would you own a Glock when you can have this stuff? That's what I always say. Glock is boring as hell. Do I have a Draco? No. 420 tomorrow. Oh, yeah, we're doing the shoot on 420. Sold my Draco. Dracos are shit. Uh, worst state in your opinion? Uh, California. They're barely even, they're only connected to America. The only reason I would ever go to California is because it's on the way to Hawaii. Are the guns real? Yes. Tur Taurus versus Ruger 9. Again, you're, uh, I'm going to go with the Rugers. They're going to be more reliable. Opinion on DB15 series or Diamondback in general. They're decent. Believe it or not, they make the bodies, the lowers and the upper bodies for for Daniel Defense. So they obviously know what they're doing. Do I have a 1911? Use the eyes in your head. I owned a 1911 Kongsbird for he's made in World War II. Miss it still sold it many. Oh, sorry, old Bjorn. Um, you ever heard of a Pindad SS2? Basically a battle rifle from your country, but it's got the same mag with AR-15. No, I haven't. What company makes the most reliable weapons? Um, well, they're not weapons unless you use them to do something with, but if you're talking about firearms, um, Glock, because they only make one gun. 
Uh, what's my opinion on the conflict? I don't have an opinion. I don't have a, a, a dog in the fight. Uh, and I just hope everybody just stops fucking fighting and eats pie. Is it truly possible to curl over a bullet? Nope. Uh, why is the 2011 4.25 barrel better, but you prefer a 5-inch? Um, it depends on caliber, Jonathan. It's actually not better, in my opinion. But a 4.25-inch barrel is ideal for cycling 9mm, because 9mm is lighter, and it doesn't knock the slide as hard. So 4.25 is the preferred length. 5-inch um, is just better, in my opinion. Um, I wouldn't even lay over too much risk. Don't want to get stuck in California. That's funny. Uh, I remember someone on here commented on the last live, said you guys are lucky in America, said lived in California. Yep. Uh, that would be Jess, who has a bunch of cool-ass guns. Uh, Fortnite flavor, favorite flavor of pie. Um, just a good apple pie. Wow, nice guns. Thank you. Uh, you can't take anything there. Yeah, Hawaii sucks. Any issues with the hollow sun reticle lining up on the Night Stalker? Your EPS MRS I've mounted on your Night Stalker slightly to the left of the front sight when I line the irons up. What do I think? Uh, when I first put that one on, I actually had to just take a uh, emery board and just kind of knock a little bit of material off because when I thought it was locked down, it was actually lifted a little bit. Um, it is possible. Plus the pins or on the direct mount, it's not using pins. It's using two angled things that allow for shifting. So I don't, I think it's a problem with the gun, but once you get locked in and locked down, you'll be fine. Uh, do you only have airsoft or are they metal? Um, no, they're all fake, dude. It, this is green screen. I'm actually sitting in a studio. Uh, they're worse than Cali. Nice. Uh, those are some cool guns. Thanks, man. The only reason I would want to go to California is to see the USS Midway. I would go to the Midway, not to California. Oh, I thought you were still talking about pie. I love pie. I live in the Philippines anyways, Rock Island Armory for the win. Yeah, they make good stuff. They make more 1911s than any company even now. No, it is not airsoft. Do I check my walls for gremlins? No, um, although I had rats in here one year. It was insane. Do I have a recommendation for 5.56 defensive ammo? Uh, not really. Get some X-Tac green tip. Just fire it off, dude. If you're using an uh, AR-15 for defense, you're going to risk um, over-penetration in anything, but soft pour, I was going to say soft porn, soft core would be like my recommended, but 5.56 is going so fast. Steve, $1.99 with the five likes. We love you, Steve. Thank you so much, son. I like your collection. Is it AUG? Yes, that is an AUG. Do I have a Draco? Nope. Sold my Draco. Dracos are overrated. Do threaded barrels make your Glock jam? Uh, Glocks are notorious for being difficult to run suppressors on. They require just the right load. Uh, what's better, 300 Blackout or 308 for inside the house? Well, 300 Blackout was designed to be suppressed, so I'm going to say 300 Blackout will be better. Can I name all the guns? Yep, that's Danny. That one is Sarah. That's Emmanuel. That's Dewan. That's the Ottawan. And uh, that one is Reggie. What's your truck gun? Uh, AR-9. Are they real guns? Yes. I thought you were still talking about pie. Kind of. We are. Are they real? Gee, I wonder where all these counties are coming in from. Would I go to Mexico? No, thanks. I go to Taco Bell every month. Nice guns. Thanks. Uh, no, I just, I have no reason to go to Mexico. I don't want to see anything they have, and it's too hot. Do I have a plate carrier? Nope, I don't. You can if you want, but I practice self-defense in an urban environment, um, and I don't plan on being in a situation where I have time to get a plate carrier on, and I don't wear a plate carrier 24-7, so no. Why aren't you people liking the, the stream, dudes? Three buttons. The three dots... Hit that, and then just uh, hit the like button. You'll help it grow. Google gives me money, and they also recommend my shit to other people. So if you found me on accident and you think it's fun, hit the like button. It doesn't cost you anything. It literally is one tap. Like the fucking video, kids. I want pie. I hate you guys sometimes. Get some pie. Do I own any Glocks? Yeah, I got a few. Dan the Man the Legend. How many are going to ask if those guns are real? Everybody. And if you notice, there are all people that probably don't know how to use guns. My pie all mine. No, I want your pie. Funny dude, you have a quick response to everything. I'm a bit of a smart ass, my guy. It gets me in trouble sometimes. Almost at 69 likes. Nice. 
Bro has a gun. Shit, where? Those aren't guns. Those are potatoes. Uh, where am I at? Striker versus hammer. Uh, I carry a 1911, so I'm a hammer guy. Is that an Osprey 45? Nope. It is a Osprey 9. I should have got the 45, but I got the 9. Uh, Mexico is brilliant. You once traveled there in 1640. Ooh, nice. Uh, how many guns do I have? Don't know, don't count. Hurts my brain. My wallet likes it because it knows that if I ever have to sell them all, then I'll be all right. Here's a like. Don't spend it all in all, all in one. Shit, I was going to buy some, like, potato chips. How many Turkish guns do I own? I own a few. A couple of shotguns, a couple of pistols. Uh, not as many as I used to. Uh, what would you ever do? Would I ever do an open mic night? I'm actually pretty funny. I have stories from when I was a kid, stuff that would be funny for stand-up, but I, I just don't know if I'd want to. Uh, what's my dream gun? Don't really have one recursion. Um, I have pretty much all the guns I've ever wanted, and then um, there are no guns currently made that I can't get, if that makes sense. Oink. I can't even have time to fucking look. Uh, why do you hate us sometimes? Oh, I don't hate you. I'm just disappointed in you and your choices you've made as an individual. The Van Wert Goat. What's up? What's going on, dude? Uh, Kyber Pass Guns got you tweaking. That's funny. Uh, I have the wallet for firearms, but you live in the wrong country. Emigrate. Become a U.S. citizen. It's fun. Only takes a few years. Uh, not much. What's going on with you, brother goat? Thoughts on 20 gauge for rural home protection? 20 gauge will do the job. You get some buckshot. I mean, yeah, you don't get as many pellets, but shit. Double up buck out of 20 is going to do the job just like double up buck out of a 12. How much are augs going for nowadays? That one was 16 without the optic. Uh, so you donate. Awesome. Do I drink alcohol? Uh, I try not to. I get really fucking stupid when I drink. The last time I did it, I drank a 750 in about 20 minutes of uh, absolute vodka, and then I passed out for five hours. Apparently, it was an interesting time. I kept drunk dialing people because for some reason we had reception on the fucking lake, but not on the way to it. And I had a 20-minute conversation where I ranked my friends. Hey, Aiden, thank you very much. I love guns, so I donated. Appreciate that. Thank you very much, sir. We appreciate that one. Chi Chi's back. Hey, what's going on? Uh, 410 single shot pistol. Uh, yeah, why not? I like those. Uh, highly recommend the new SDS Mac 1911 double stack. Your runs of uh, one's great. Mitchell, I have to check one out because there are a myriad number of differences. Even though they're owned by SDS, who makes T sauce, those have the bull barrel and a few other things I'm interested in checking out. Uh, single shot pistol 410. Uh, it could definitely do some hurting. Do I like hunting? I've never been hunting. People won't take me. I'm disabled and I have a mouth that goes... <laughs> How is my day so far? It's doing pretty good. How's your day, goat? Are you doing pretty good? Aiden gave us a donation of two bucks, so fuck yeah. We're doing great. Um, but, bum, 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 bum. Doo -doo -doo. but anyways, yeah, like I said, uh, bad things happen when I drink. Uh, you like hunting too, Aiden. Good. Um, like I said, if I ever had a chance to go, I'd probably go like fox hunting or coyote hunting. Um, have I ever got gifted a gun for your birthday? Yeah, my buddy Daniel uh, gifted me an AR-15 one year for my birthday. It was awesome. What's the most expensive gun in your store? Um, in the store right now, there are... I'm trying to think what we have. We don't have anything that's like super expensive. We got a couple of like four or $5,000 old school rifles, but nothing really new. Uh, Tech 9 not trying to jam after a single round in the 1980s. Yeah, good luck with that one. What's my disability? I have degenerative nerve disorders and uh, cluster headaches, arthritis, uh, no feet. It's extensive. Uh, you get headaches when you drink too much. Yeah, that's a big problem. Alcohol, um, can, it's both a respiratory depressant, but it's also a... Um, uh, a dehydrant, basically. It, it actually takes water out of your system. I'm going to sight in the 200 tomorrow and go for a 1050, 1150 Sunday. Ooh, you got to do it cold bore and film a video, dude. You will watch UFC and am I into cars? I'm very into cars. I don't watch UFC. Um, you're in Northeast North Carolina. Yeah, a little bit too far for me. Sub 2000 or the high point carbine? Uh, I'll take the sub 2K just because it's lighter, but the high point carbine's on point. It actually runs pretty reliably. What's your gun at the top of your background? That is a Steyr Aug read. Not meaning to be pushy, I'm asking, so I am as well. I was hurt overseas in the, uh, 
in the warp is what I think you're saying. Bolt or pistol carbines? Yep. Still going to take the sub 2K. You still work at a gun store? Uh, yeah, I help out at my buddies at Liberty Arms once a week every now and then. What's the gun at the top? It's a Reed. It's a Steyr Aug. Don't spam. Having a 1700s uh, gun. Eh, well, I mean, you can get Beretta stuff. Beretta has been the longest running gun manufacturer in the world since the 1600s, I believe. So, uh, many a time have I slept in a tavern on your travels once you drink a potion of all three parts whiskey, one part mercury, and you remember nothing. <laughs> you woke up with the wizard. I don't know what to do tomorrow. You should go and have some fun. Your blunderbuss is your EDC. Ithaca or Mossberg? Uh, I'm going to take the Mossberg just because they have more modern stuff in them. Um, but I do like an old Ithaca. You have a really nice collection going. Oh, that's just the wall guns, my guy. Go look at my channel. You'll see a lot of other guns. Uh, well, my lunch is in the oven, so I'll just patch you in and watch you in the meantime. Oh, what's your favorite World War II rifle? World War II rifle would probably be like a um, Thompson machine gun. Because they used them. Although that's kind of a PCC, but... Uh, you were in the 3rd Armored Cavalry Division. Thank you for your service, sir. Nikocado Avocado fired an M2 Browning machine gun and some 22 revolver. Yeah, and he probably screamed like a little moron. What an overactive. Uh, you think he held an AAC honey badger. Nice. I don't really care for Nikocado. He's a little bit of an idiot. Uh, did I shoot today? Nope, but I'm shooting tomorrow for sure. Uh, do I do airsoft? I have airsoft. I've never done like uh, like field ops or anything like that because of my disabilities and stuff, but I have, like, uh, I've got a gun locker that's dedicated just for airsoft. First time I saw an AUG was the, le le the Legend movie Die Hard. That was, like, the most famous uh, appearance of it, and it was right around when they were adopted, so yeah. What's my most viewed video? That is a short called The Man with the Stainless Gun. It's where I just kind of show a PPK, uh, an actual Walter stainless, and I take it apart and put it back together. It's got like 9.2 million views. Those names are crazy. Did I serve? No, I did not. Interesting name. But no, I did not serve. Uh, too many physical problems. That gaming rig, though. I don't know what you're talking about, Mitchell. That's just a Pentium. What's your favorite gun? 1911 platform. Glock switch on a Glock 20. Man, you're going to run through a lot of 10 mil with that Glock switch, dude. What's my thoughts on the Walther 1911? You mean the 22 caliber one? Uh, it's actually made uh, in co coordination with Hammerly, Walther, and Colt. Uh, it's fine. Your mom did you dirty. Oh, God, that's going to go bad. Andrew, keep an eye on uh, Mr. Hitler. If I do the videos, will you give me a shout-out in your next video? Fuck yeah, I will. I'll even react to it. But you got to cold bore it. What do I think of 40 cal Glock 22s? I think all Glocks are shit, but, you know, if you like your Glocks, you like your Glocks. Glocks are the most boring gun ever created. If I wanted to, uh... If I wanted to have, like, oatmeal for a gun, that would be a Glock. Oh, with your name. Gotcha. Any experience with Springfield 1911s? Looking to get your first 1911, but you're in California with limited options. Yeah, Springfield makes a decent one. You just got to make sure that they run right. We had to send one back because it was a little tight. Um, but yeah, I've had the Garrison. I had an operator that was rebuilt by Wilson Combat. I've had a few. Uh, if Andrew does a video, you got to react to it eating a pie. Oh, yeah. I'm going to eat a pie that says, Hi, Alex, on it. Uh, hello, do I support LGBT? I don't care what you are. I care about who you are. If you're a lesbian, if you're gay, you're bisexual, you're trans, you're non-binary, you're non-gender, I don't give a shit. Just don't be a dick. And I don't mean that in a gender form. I mean, don't be a dick of a person. Uh, sorry about my name and my and any confusion. No, no, no. It's just when somebody says a sentence like, my mom did me dirty without following it up right away, sometimes a lot of people think they're funny and they'll throw something stupid in there. I don't give a, care, I don't give a shit about your name. Your screen name is what it is. It's called free speech. Just don't be a dick. I do not play Roblox. I want to set up, have a gun set up badly. Um, you should get one, dude. Sounds like you know what you're doing, so go out there and do it, Loops. 
Oh, shit. How different do you think the world would be if the STG was mass-produced? Uh, there would be a lot more YouTube videos. That's about it. I don't think it would work. Uh, it would really mess with a lot of people. No, I'm in Virginia. Uh, you shouldn't be advertising guns. I'm not advertising guns. I own guns. You shouldn't be on a gun channel telling somebody not to advertise guns. Why don't you go at the ocean and yell at it for coming in and making shit wet? Do I have a license? Yeah, I do. Any thoughts on Dickinson shotguns? Not really. Uh, we must be excellent to each other. Absolutely. SR 1911, any good? Yes, I had the 9mm and I really enjoyed it. It was a really good shooting gun. The only reason I got rid of it is because I bought it used and somebody had put their own safety on it and it didn't click. It, you know, when you click an external safety in a place, it would just fall off safe on its own. So I sold it because I didn't trust it. How many dragons have I slain? Ah, forsooth, but one have I ever slain, and only to get to the princess. And forsooth, I forsaketh myself, because she was a talky bitch. You think it'd be different in the sense of changing the war in Germany's favor? Not really, because even with superior firearms, they had a real problem with uh, thinking for themselves in terms of squads and shit. They were given a, a task, and they, if they didn't do it right, they were shot by their own people kind of sensibilities. So I don't think it really would have changed it in Germany's favor. It would have made it look, take longer to defeat them, but I don't think it would have swung it all the way into their favor. I think it would, we, it would have just made us come up with something bigger. That's why we have the nuke for Hiroshima and stuff. We would have come up with something for Germany for sure. Where's my double barrel 1911? Where's my eight grand so I can buy one? If I had the money, I would definitely buy one. Uh, he's playing I Spy. Yeah, he's just watching stuff. Have I tried the footlong Subway cookie? I didn't know they did one, Master Shifu. Uh, you're in VA also. Cool. Uh, yeah, I know 22 long rifle. I want something for my littles to learn on. Well, start with 9mm if 22 is too small. Go to 9mm. Most kids can handle 9mm if it's a decent sized one. Oh... I am not going to ignore you, but you get to go away, Archer. Uh, why do people talk so much about food on firearms channels? I don't know. Uh, if you look at a lot of other reviewers, and I'm not calling anybody specifically out, but a lot of them are calorie enhanced and they like their food, so it brings a lot of foodies in. I spy with my little eye, a member named Tim. Oh, hey, Tim. What's going on, dude? Um, yeah, uh, Algahim. Good night. You ha it was fun having you in here, sir. I, I hope I pronounced that. I had Algahim. I hope I pronounced that right. I don't think I did, but uh, you have a great night, my man. Uh, thoughts on the crank? I want to get my hands on one before I really give my opinion. Uh, I've heard some good things. I've heard some bad things. Hungry mother father. 10 millimeter or 40 millimeter? I'll go with the 40 millimeter, but if you're talking about 40 cal, 40 cal is just to cut down 10, so it's basically the same round. It's the same problem you have with Glocks. It's just at 10 mil short. Virtual high five. Fuck, I missed. We had a five-minute conversation about mayonnaise one day. Yep, and why you shouldn't microwave it unless it's in tuna form. Mine runs great zero mail functions. See, I got to get my hands on one before I really make that. Hello, Tim. How are you today, sir? Uh, you have a great night. Thank you, sir, Iyad. A uh, lot of funny response every time. I try. Uh, I'm either going to buy the 545 or 300 blackout version. Well, let me know what you go with. If you come back to another stream, just let me know. Uh, Bill and Ted started a religion. Facts. Oh, yeah. Dude, cool. I thought you didn't have a Shaytac. What's up, Tim? What's up, Tim? Everybody loves Tim. You change your mind. Your content is so good, you're just going to keep watching. Thank you, sir. I really do appreciate that one. Don't miss this time. All right. Uh, how much more expensive do I think PSA will be if they put more time and research into quality control? Do you think down the line, if they get really reliable, they'll stay at the same price? I think they'll be forced to step up in terms of price, but I think they'll stay reasonable. Like Taurus hasn't, they've improved their quality control a lot, and they really haven't raised their price. I think PSA can pull it off. Uh, did, did, did you get that Barrett shipped to Jiminy yet? No, he won't send it to me. He just keeps buying more and more better, better guns. I'll be very tempted to sell your 5.56 when the 300 blackout comes out. Yeah, that'd be interesting, right? Uh, favorite round in Judge. Uh, 45 Long Colt. 
Why did you slap yourself? Somebody said virtual high five. I went to give him a high five and I missed. It happens. Thank you, Mr. Hitler. Uh, you love shotguns. I love guns that get shot. I have a couple in a shadow box. Zaxxon, no, and I bought another big-ass round. Yep. All my guns are owned by the Jiminy Show. That's right. All you people that have been here regularly, routinely, make sure that you put down that your guns belong to me. That way, when the AFT comes after you guys, I'll cut your butt. Did I see the MP7 clone update? No. What did they say, Peter? Changed my mind. Thank you. Thank you for staying around, Ayad. They have the Saber line, which is more expensive, but better quality parts, such as micro best bolt carrier groups, NFN barrels. Yeah, but their prices are still reasonable on a lot of their stuff. Favorite revolver and movie? What music do I listen to? I listen to every kind of music. It's more weather dependent for the music I listen to. If I'm stuck inside, I listen to country. If I go outside, it's usually, you know, hip hop or country still because I like country. Uh, favorite revolver, uh, the GP100 from Ruger. And my favorite movie is uh, The Sure Thing starring John Cusack. You shipped your pants. Oh man, I love to ship my pants. Are those guns behind you? Yes. They are guns. What's my EDC? Auto Ordnance, 1911, 45 ACP. Are there any guns for around $200? There are, but none that I would really recommend. Step up to about $250 to $300. You can get the Taurus. You can get the Smith & Wesson SD9 V2. Um, but at $200, it's, it's a little bit shaky. Step it up a little bit. Buy once, cry once. Uh, sniffle twice, uh, poke yourself in the nose, whatever you got to do, but come up with a little bit more money. Buck or slug? Um, you know what they say, uh, the difference is between beer nuts and deer nuts, right? Uh, I, I, I have double lot buck in my shotgun, so buck. Uh, favorite country artist? Tim McGraw right now, still. 250 for a dagger? Yeah, I still would step up a little bit. I wouldn't trust my life to a dagger. I would trust my life to the Smith & Wesson SD V2 before I would to a dagger. Hey, Jiminy, I just started a channel. Any advice on getting sun, subs? Yeah, RP, you got to be consistent, as consistent as humanly possible. Uh, you got to find what works for you. Don't just copy everybody. Uh, in fact, I've seen... Oh, sorry, my, my the feed just quit. I've seen a lot of people actually copying me, and that's the stupidest thing you can do. You can't copy me and expect it to work for you. I found a guy that was filming off the exact same couch that I have, and I called him out. Um, don't copy other people. Try to find a way to be original. Don't just be a stick in the mud. Don't be a, 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 um, a fucking, like, just copycat. That won't work. Dan, the man, the legend, just became a bronze level member for two bucks. Thank you so much, dude. I appreciate that. And you get entered into two giveaways every month instead of just one. A squirrel or a raccoon? Yes, please. Are all new guns in 5.7 in the last... Why? Uh, because the patent ran out on the 5.7 from um, FN. So the guns, the mechanisms that they use, uh, the patent ran out. So they can't sue anybody for making one. That's a crazy-ass gun with the silencer. It's just a 2011-style gun. Do I own your Mancurian a holy moly? Yep. I own every one of your guns, my dude. Do, do, do best shotgun for home defense. Uh, whatever you have, basically, but uh, get like a Maverick 88, a Stevens 320, whatever. I use a, 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 a Mossberg 930 Tactical. What's the best defensive loan for home defense? Low velocity buck or just regular old buckshot? Any brand you recommend? Uh, federal stuff. Get like the Hydroshock, the stuff for hunting, but get like um, number seven or number eight. That'll definitely stop a dude, no problem. Uh, is a $160 AR-15 BB gun any gun? Yeah, they should be. At $160, you should be able to get at least entry level. You should be able to get like a Lancer Tactical or something in that range, and they'll run for you. How do you feel about Canik 9mm subcompact? I'm not a subcompact guy, but if you're going to go with one, Canik is one of the best ways to do it because it's going to give you the best best triggers. Uh, thank you, brother. Wish you all the best. Thank you, RP. Like I said, you never know what's going to happen. I did a stupid video. If you go back in 2022, I had 8,000 subscribers. I did a video where I said, your Glock can't do this, and I disassembled the 320 with one hand, started, and it freaking skyrocketed. Um, that looked wrong. It, it went up. What do I think about a 43X? It's a perfectly fine gun. It has a slightly better grip angle than a regular Glock, but it's a Glock. A Glock is a Glock is a Glock. It's going to save your life if it's all you want. 
is just a carry gun, great. If you want to actually enjoy your firearms, get something else. Did you copy him or did he copy you? How do you know? I know because you can look and see when they start their channel and stuff, and you can look at the release dates of their videos, and I've been putting out uh, couch content for a year at that point, and he had just put out like 10 that month. And I didn't tell him he had to stop. I was like, dude, we have the same couch. And, you know, because he was doing it exactly the same as me. He was filming on his couch. He wasn't showing himself and he was trying to be funny. He stopped it because it wasn't working for him because he wasn't funny. Um, PSA said quarter one, 2025 for your MP5 clone. You call bull. If they said quarter one, it's going to be quarter three. How are a... How are the AR pistols in 5.56 or 300 Blackout? The 5.56, you don't get as much velocity. Uh, 300 Blackout was designed for a 10.5 inch barrel, so you're much better off getting a 300 Blackout. How much for a CG75 Shadow Tactical in my place? Never been in Carolina. Well, I'm in Virginia, um, but close. You're very close. Um, but the Shadow, it depends. Like the Tactical Sports, they run anywhere for the new one, the TS2s. They run anywhere from 1850 to 2100 for the oranges, um, but used ones you can usually get them in the 15 to 1800 dollar range. <coughs> Loop says okay. Yep. Um, I don't know why you deleted that one. He was actually making a good point there, Justin. You should clean your mags. Uh, Dark Voyager. That's what I call my butthole. Glock won't shoot you in the nuts either. Mm, yeah, they will. Go back to the 80s and look up the number of lawsuits from when the Glock Gen 2 first came out. In the ten years, first 10 years of the Glock Gen 2, there were 220 lawsuits filed against Glock for accidental discharges. In the same 10-year span for the SIG 320, there's been less than 40. And SIG has produced almost five times as many guns as that first 10 years of Glock because Glocks weren't popular. Glocks were the shit company back in the 80s. So, yeah, they will shoot you in the nuts. They just have better PR. Is 200 good? Yeah, again, it all depends on what you want to run. If you're going to run an AEG, $200 will definitely get you going. If you want to run CO2 or green gas, it's it's getting there. Uh, a lot of guys will run guns that are in the three to five hundred dollar range if you're like going to the field and stuff with those. Um, like I said, Matthew, the uh, patent ran out. How long do magazines last? Depending on the gun. 1911s, I don't trust a mag more than two years. Um, Glocks, they'll run a lot longer because of their build. A lot of the mech guard double stack, like a, a, a TS Orange, you can probably run those for a thousands of rounds but 1911s they're not designed for it because it's single stack single feed and it'll spread the feed lips over time but a lot of these double the single stacks they're a lot more reliable how long would it take you to strip and clean a 1911 um i could take down that kimber in probably 10 seconds your sig is in every caliber nice virginia is forty-two thousand miles big we're in virginia northern virginia very close to west virginia uh, that's why you like only squirt guns. Nice. Oh, you only like revolvers. Gotcha. Who cares? That's defeatist, Devin. You should care about everything. Or nothing. Or fight apathy. Or don't. Whatever. Should you take anything off your slide when you sand or polish your 1911s? No. Just make sure you clean them really well. Uh, you don't need to take your sights. You don't need to take any your your firing pin out. Just make sure that you're cleaning it very well. Uh, that's one gun you don't have. You don't have a 1911. Well, I'll trade you that one for your Barrett. Uh, revolvers are good, but not better than a Model 915. Like, wah, nice. I've been in Virginia, but only a few towns, but it was a bad area. Yeah, no, where I live, it's a nice area. You're in Roanoke. Yeah, that's a long way from me. The fact that you actually, like, sat and typed the word PP, Evan... Shows us that uh, I may joke about being a smooth brain, but holy shit, the last time you had a thought, did your brain catch on fire? Bye. Uh, get a 22 rapid fire, idiots. Yeah, get the old uh, US 180. Uh, are subcom Glock 45s any good? Um, if you like a Glock, sure. I don't like a short barrel 45, honestly. What's the top weapon called? That is a Steyr Aug. S-T-E-Y-R-A-U-G. 
How is 300 black unsuppressed? It's fine. It, it sounds kind of AK-ish because it's running close to the same velocity out of a 16-inch barrel, um, but it's heavier than a, than a, a 760 by 39. Yes, somebody is doing something. Yes. Well, we're also watching stuff. I know you have some physical disabilities, but did you ever or currently train in any sort of martial arts? No, my father did. My father did Mundu Do Korean. Um, I wanted to, but yeah, I was so screwed up. My little brother did karate for a long time. He was really good. Uh, it was used in Die Hard. Yep, old boss used to swear if some folks had a brain, they'd take it out and play with it. Kind of like your ball, if you're a boy. Have you ever tried Brownells aluminum hide paint? Uh, you want to coat your gun in, to prevent rust. No, I haven't. Um, I've never used any sort of paint uh, for guns. Uh, I've either gotten them recoated or I just put oil on them. Uh, it's always good, though always cheap. Nice. Uh, is 300 Blackout better in AR or bolt action? Depends on what you're going to use it for, man. If you want to use it for hunting, it's, it's going to be better in a bolt action. If you want it for fun fire, then you're going to want it out of a AR. Um, hey, Gorilla, I'm just going to go ahead and say this to you because you're obviously a little bit slow. If you're a boy, you have a PP. So what do you do on days you're not allowed, not at the shop or at the couch? Um, I'm usually sitting at my computer or I have an office, but while I'm healing my leg, I'm not going there, but I'm going to set up some more business stuff. And I like to just um, sleep a lot. Just kidding, I don't sleep much. But I have to keep my legs elevated. That's why I have actually a, uh, a chair that's disassembled that I just put my foot up. Uh, SBR or ARP? Eh, it's kind of hit. It's 50-50, dude. Um, I would go with the AR ARP and just run a brace, honestly. Can you give me a shout-out? If so, to make the video Sunday, people can watch. Andrew! This is your shout out. Make a cold bore thousand yard shot for me so that we can react to it on Monday. I'll do it live. Uh, hey, what's up? What's up, guy? What's going on, dude? What are you doing today? I love my SIG M18. It shoots great for you. Yeah, SIG M18 is good. I've got the 17. I like the full size version. Hello from Lake Worth, Florida. Hey, how you doing, AG? Uh, hi, AJ's Emergency. I haven't seen you here in a long time, dude. What's going on? Uh, Michael's heading out. Have fun. Hey, Michael. Thanks, dude. Thanks for hang coming in and hanging out. Don't forget to like the video, guys. You gotta like the video, otherwise I cry at night. Are ACOGs worth it? Eh, not really. They're very expensive. They're fixed four power, and the eye relief sucks. But they're gonna last a long time, but they're not worth it to me. Uh, praying for a speedy recoverment. Thank you. Recoverment? Holy shit. Thank you, Gary. I understand what you meant. What's my opinion on Red Jacket Firearm Show that aired years ago with Will Hayden? I never saw it, so I don't really have an... Is that the guy that got arrested for, like, child porn or something? Uh, your bro, what's going on with you? You got my bucket gun up there, so the Steyer Aug probably spelled it wrong. No, you actually spelled it right, dude. Uh, Justin, yeah, it's a cool gun. It's not mine, though. It's actually sold uh, to a buddy of mine. Loops wants a shout-out. Oh, God, we're going to shout-out territory. Loop Scoops is the best guy here right now that is named Loop Scoops. You cannot be a better Loop Scoops than Loop Scoops. Loop Scoops is holding it down for the Loop Scoops game. Er, Sig P226, sorry, dog hit my leg during typing. Uh, I didn't even see the first part of it, son. Hold on. Uh, Sig, P nice. Yeah, I love the Sig 226. I love my Elite. Hello, Johnny. It's cold out here in Wisconsin. Go inside, Bill. I used to live in Minnesota in uh, White Bear Lake, so yeah. Is that an AUG? Yes. Greeting again from Spata. David, how are you doing today, sir? Should I get the suppressed tax stamp for the 300 or run it unsuppressed? Um, if you fire the 220, it's going to be quieter than running like 5.56 and stuff, but if you have the ability to get a tax stamp, you might as well get a 30 cal can and put it on everything. A uh, thousand mile run while eating a pie and shooting at a target. That would be funny. Are subcompact pistols good with pinky extensions? It's the only way I'll shoot them, but uh, you have to get a modern one, otherwise they just don't handle the recoil appropriately. Uh, he got arrested for doing unspeakable things to both of his daughters. The man is a total POS. That's the one. Yeah, no, a lot of those gun guys are just fucking weirdos. Thoughts on the Beretta M950? What's the 950? 
Justin, you can get out of my house. Oh, if you hold it, it gets brighter. Got it. Man, I really wish this company hadn't been a bunch of dicks. Uh, thanks, man. That means so much. You're welcome, Loop Scoops. I love you, Loop Scoops. Uh, who did that dig? What? Who did what dig? Krispy Kreme? I love Krispy Kreme. I remember when Krispy Kreme came back to Minnesota, dude. They were buying like 30 dozens. Uh, no offense, nothing beats 9mm when China invades. 9 carbines are winning. Uh, you're going to die very quickly in a hail of gunfire if you think a 9 mil is going to be effective against a Chinese military. Interesting. What do I think of TSOS 1911 duty for first time 1911? Uh, it's got good parts. Um, it's a good platform to start with. Absolutely. At work currently, so you're stuck going in and outside every so often. That sucks, Bill. Well, hopefully you're having a good night. The guy from Red Jacket Firearms, yeah, no, he was a turd, dude. I remember reading about him because somebody in a previous live, live told me about him. I know there's been a few of them that are just total jack wagons. Damn, bro, that's a nice hog. Thanks, man. FBI's here. Everybody put your hands up. Can't have it. Didn't want to blow out the camera too much. Uh, having kind of a rough day. Not going to kill the vibe, but it'll probably be off pretty fast this time. Oh, I'm sorry, Ken. I hope you're doing okay. I hope your day gets better anyways. Give me a baseball bat and the red jacket guy and I'll make him pay. Oh, I'm pretty sure they got him in prison. What should I hunt with the Maverick 88? Uh, it's a pretty versatile gun, man. You can fire slugs, birdshot, bugshot out of there. You can hunt just about anything. What are my favorite shooting drills? Um, well, when I go and I practice for self-defense, I'll start at 3 yards, 5, and then I'll back up. 3 yards, 5 yards, 7 yards. I'll usually have on the steel range, so I'll set up a few different targets and just transition. Um, I don't have, like, real drills. Uh, it's very unfortunate for the two women he abused and also the employees he had. He had some cool, guy, cool guys working for him, and they made some fun episodes, but looking back at it under signs, he was a real creep. Yeah, that's why I don't like Taryn. Taryn Butler is really giving me that super creepy fucking don't get on the bus with that guy vibes. You just sub. Uh, thank you, Misty. Uh, hands up, don't move. I like to move. I like to move it, move it. Yeah, he's almost as bad as Jared from Subway. The guy was an absolute menace. Yep. Uh, hands down and break it down. Nice. I hunt gremlins with your Maverick 88. It works. Uh, be careful, though. The gremlins are getting harder and harder to find. The AMC ones. Uh, bro, blind everyone. Uh, I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. It's because reload quick and centering is quick and finding ammo is easy. Nice. Maverick MC2, Mossberg MC2C or Glock 48 MOS. Thank you for actually bringing up the Mossberg. Holy shit. Yeah, I will take the MC2C with the optics cut over the 48 any day. Abolish the ATF. Agreed. Make all the ATF agents that are currently working as ATF agents become mailmen. They can keep their benefits and shit, but uh, it'll, it'll be better for everybody. Do I have a Winchester? Yeah, there's a Winchester. Model 1894, chambered in 3030. Can't stump me, baby. Uh, no, that's funny. Nice. Uh, abolish the IRS as well. Oh, uh, yeah. Make them deliver pies. Andrew will be happy. My damn son's 20 gauge costs more than your 12 gauge and he gives me shit about it. He's 10. <laughs> uh. Picked up a 3030. Any advice on starting out reloading? No, because I don't reload. Uh, just be careful depending on how old the 3030 is because some of them don't like like the 172 grains. So you might have to go with something like a 165 or a 160. Big B, what's going on? Uh, what's my top three semi-auto shotguns? Um, from personal use, uh, Mossberg 930 Tactical, Beretta 1301, and then if I could get one for a good price, I'd get a Benelli M4. But there's no way I'm paying retail for a Benelli. No, I don't do it. Cool. Did I see? Didn't see the Western? Yeah, it's because it's out of frame. It was up there, but I decided to put the AUG up there for tonight's video. Uh, what was the Smith and Wesson that you said was around 250 bucks? It's actually closer to 300 bucks, but you might be able to find them. But the Smith and Wesson SD9 V2 or the 2.0. It's the new generation of the gun. I think Brandon Herrera formed a lawsuit against the ATF on account of the fact they formed laws without going through Congress. Yeah, well, Congress wants to form them to uh, do a, a lawsuit. But again, it's not. Uh, I don't know where it's going to go, though. What's the best round for robots? Green tip? Yes, green tip or black tip. 
What was the, uh, the, the, the Joe, can you deliver pies to you? Yes, but it's going to cost you a Barrett for your DoorDash. Automatic transmission fluid. Um, I usually use Decron 5. Um, Decron 4 tastes good, but it's not as uh, lubricity isn't as good as Decron 5. Um, can you shoot a 20 gauge out of a 12 gauge? Yeah, actually you can. You just need to find a way to center it and hold it so that the striker or hammer can hit the shell. But yeah, absolutely you can. Am I live tomorrow? No, not till Monday again. Fine, I'll get a stick. Sticks are good for you. Oh, do, 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 do. What's the retail for the Benelli nowadays? Like 2400 I think it actually went up because of John Wick, but it's somewhere in that range. Mid twos, almost three grand. What kind of suppressor? That is a Silencer Co. Osprey 9 2.0. Best brand of 1911, Nighthawk Customs. Watching the stream always makes me work go by quicker. I'm grateful. I'm, I'm happy you appreciate that. And that's awesome of you to say, Bill. Thank you very much. Hopefully you're not a security guard and you're watching me while a lot of people are sneaking off with your shit, though. I prefer the generic brand 1911 better. Well, technically, Night, Nighthawk Custom is so ubiquitous in the 1911 community. To us, it is a common brand. I mean, it's $4,000 freaking dollars, but it's common to us. What kind of bullets can be shot from your guns? Bullets of the bullet variety can be shot from my bullet ejecting firearms. Actually, a microwave emitter will be much more effective against a robot. That's true. Or a large explosive set off above them. It has to be big enough to cause an EMP, though. 3D print your adapters? No, nah, not me. Can I see that bullpup? No, I can't pick it up on a live stream. You can only have a Glock. Which one? There, there's more than one. A Glock is a Glock. You either get a big one or a small one. There's no such thing as which one. Uh, it's three forty nine on Smith and Wesson website. Yeah, but in our store we were selling them for two ninety nine, and they've been out for a few months, so you can probably find them used. Don't go buying from Smith and Wesson. They're selling at their full MSRP. You always see if the gun store is a layaway and use the two fifty as a down payment. That way you can spend a little bit more. Yeah, uh, go to LibertyArms.biz. I think they're like three hundred bucks. Is that 1911 a Nighthawk? No, that one is a Kimber and that one's an auto ordinance. Uh, of course, making a few payments. Yep. Matt. Ha ha ha. Joe's funny. Just get barrels against Chinese. Just get a Beretta against the Chinese. That's not going to do it either, dude. You're going to die very quickly. Uh, that's exactly what I am, but I'll, I do on Fridays and sign our company's trucks in and out to relatively slow shifts. Gotcha. Uh... That would be funny, though. You're sitting there cracking up because I'm making fun of some motard that leaves a stupid-ass comment and a semi just kind of drifts by you in neutral. Just... And then all of a sudden, everybody's toasters are gone. Got my SD9 for $299. Yep, see, like I said, that's what we sold them for at Liberty. So you can at least get them for $299. Why are uh, Kimbers so much bread? Um, when... They were still, before they got bought out, like in 2014 or 2016 or something like that, they were a very good hand-fit, very, very well-finished gun. They have not had the quality they used to. Um, I have to tune every one, but mine are all reliable, but it takes me like 20 hours of work to get them to make it be reliable. Uh, craziest gun I have. Don't really have a crazy gun. Um, the funnest gun I have is that TS Orange because it's a race gun. And it flies. Got a Tsar Bomba to stop Russia. Uh, I think Russia has the Tsar Bomba. That's why it's called the Tsar Bomba. So we just have to trick them into detonating it into a silo. Chi Chi, what's going on? Are you okay, Chi Chi? You keep saying hi. I love that you're here. Are you okay? What's up, Chi Chi? Uh, Martin says, hello. Oh, you're, you're responding to other people is what I hope you're doing, Chi Chi. You're not having a stroke, are you? I'm just worried about you, Chi Chi. I love you. Uh, it could always happen. I do crack up from the streams. <laughs> I appreciate that you're enjoying it, man. I really do. Uh, I liked your channel, so I subscribed. See you later, but I have to go to bed. It's 0440 in your country. Bye. Thanks for all the answers. Yeah, no problem, old Bjorn. Uh, what do I think about Muslims, though? I think you didn't see my comment. No, I didn't see your comment, Loops. Here's the thing. I don't care if you're Muslim, Shiite, uh, Jew, Christian... Scientologist. As long as you're just a good person. I don't give a frick who you worship. I don't care who you worship. I respect your 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 rights to worship and do what believe whatever you want. Just don't be an asshole. Just be a good person. 
Lightning, 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 hi, hi, hi. Don't spam, 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 or you're going to get banned, banned, banned. And then your hi, hi, hi turns into a bye, bye, bye. And I'm not in sync, so I'm not going to bye, bye, bye. Uh, or a Makarov, just a simple pistol against anyone. Uh, yeah, Makarov will do you good. If you're in close quarters, all the guns you mentioned are great, but like an ARP-9 is not good for long distance. All right, Lightning, you stepped over the line. Goodbye. That's a cool PC. It's hard to believe it's only got a penny a minute. Uh, what if I'm mostly a good person? As long as you're a good person in my presence, I don't give a shit. If you turn into a, a dick, here's the thing. Women, children, off limits. Animals, off limits. Don't be a diaper sniper, and uh, don't be an asshole to old people and disabled and crippled people. And we'll be fine. Have I seen the Emissary 1911? You talking about the all-black one? Yeah, I have. It seems pretty cool. Uh, as you know, I used to have the old Emissary, the, the stainless one. Poor Lightning. Yeah, well, you know, I gave him a warning. Creamy Torium with their first super on a live stream. Thank you so much. Appreciate that one. Uh, never seen you chat before, have I? Hey, Monkey556, what's up, dude? Uh, but thank you for the donation. You're a good person. You're going to help uh, the giveaways be even better. Uh, the, the, the herd and AK can handle an extra spring to lower RPM and less springs for less RPM. Um, they're all modifiable, 100%. Yeah, you can get a spring and a spring and a spring, and it'll be pretty good. What are the black? What's the black and green gun behind you? That is an auto ordnance 1911 GI style. However, it's a little bit tuckeried. Uh, it's got a little bit of the fukery to it, and that it somebody it wasn't me. I bought it this way. Uh, drilled the front of the slide to take a Glock night sight. So that's about as Glock as I'm willing to go. So it has Glock tritium night sights on a GI style 1911. It also has a Wilson Combat extended uh, mag release and a uh, slide lock. That's why I run the G10 grips on it instead of traditional wood grips. Because it's so fuckery. I love it. Whoop whoop. Just scored the last two sling point contact for five bucks. Nice. Uh, bullet button or featureless grip. Uh, I'd go with the featureless grip. That way you don't have to have that stupid way of running them. What's my favorite weapon? 1911s. Crematorium comes back with appreciate these streams you do, man. I always try to tune in. Well, I appreciate that. And don't be afraid to jump in and ask stuff or contribute or have fun, man. I love it. Thank you so much. Uh, why am I cussing? Uh, when I get into it, I cuss a lot. I used to cut. I used to sell used cars and I used to cuss really bad. Uh, let's see, SIG 1911 Blackwater Edition, anyone? I, I haven't seen one of those in a long time. Wait, I'm thinking of the para ordinance, sorry. Uh, if it's legal, F everyone. What are my thoughts on the M9? I know you're not a huge fan of Beretta, but I feel like the M9... It's not that I'm not a huge fan of Beretta, it's just that they're overpriced for what you get. And I know that's weird to say when I have a $2,000 CZ sitting behind me, and with that suppressor and optic on it, makes that 2500 bucks. But, like, an M9A3 at $950 is about $300 too expensive. Because it's so mass-produced, it should be a $600 gun. Raiders, I'm doing well. How are you? Them green grips, though. Yeah, they're made by a company called Stoner. Do all automatic shotguns need gas blowback to work? Yes. For the most part. Uh, how am I? I'm good. How are you? Just need to move. Yeah, that's true. Uh, MP7 or MP5 as a joke. I would go with the MP7 just because that 4.6 round, you do not sleep on that thing. Knew a guy from New Zealand, said he was proud to give up his guns. He died a week later. He didn't get shot. He got hit by a bus, but still. Glock is good at one thing, being the starter weapon in games. Yep, pretty much. Logan, happy birthday to you, brother. Uh, it wasn't your live stream before, but your phone went flat. Oh, I'm sorry, Martins. Well, welcome back. Retired military, foul language is a required skill. Yeah, car salesman, military, we all love to cuss. Plus, I worked in a gun store that uh, was run by a Marine, so the cuss words were flying out. I did not serve, but thank you for your service, James. Uh, sorry, you just joined. What do I think of P365XL? Price, is it justified? Uh, 500 is okay, but when you see them running for 588, 5, 599, it's too much money. Um, what is your opinion on a Ruger SR40? I'm not a huge fan of the 40 caliber, but I like the SR9 series, or the SR series. I almost bought an SR9 as my first gun, but it was a compact, and I wound up switching to the 1911. Um, they're pretty good. Allah Akbar means God is great in Arabic. Yep. Okay, cool. 
Um, I've heard it a lot, and uh, yeah, uh, it's it's unfortunate that it gets um, gets used by people doing bad things, and it gets made fun of. You swear like a seaman. Dude, I totally misread that, Justin, and I know it was your name. That's why I read it twice. I thought you said that you swear you like semen. I'm so sorry. Tell your wife I'm so sorry. Uh, something tells me that company stoner has a sale tomorrow. <laughs> I don't... They. Um, it was on a gun that was traded in, and I liked them, so I took them. Uh, thank you for your support. Yeah, James, here's the deal, man. Support your troops. Fuck the office. Hey, what happened to Macmillan Industries? Are they still around? Yes, they are. Macmillan is still around. In fact, they still do custom builds. They're just uh, very expensive. They start at like 10.5 for their 50 cal. Red of Storm, PX4. Any opinion? Uh, I like them. I've just never had the desire to buy one. That said, you live in New Zealand. Oh, well, I, I my parents were there a couple months ago. They said it's a beautiful island. Uh, I did too, Joe. Lols. What's my pocket pistol choice? 5-inch 1911. I carry it in the pocket when I'm at the work. What's the best rimfire cartridge? I like the face, but yes, 22 long rifle. Nice gun on the top. Yes, it's Styrog. It's a very good one. Memes to follow. My Yeah, it is a shame when people uh, abscond with the, with the word or saying or the Hitler stash. My friend has given me a C7 with a motor that makes over 700 horsepower and a 6-speed transmission. I'll take it. I want to put that into a... Um, Honda Civic and see what happens. Popping out. Have fun, dude. Thanks, Peter. Thanks for hanging out, dude. It was fun. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Lamau. New Zealand is my favorite part of Australia. Oh, Jesus Christ. You're just trying to start a fight. Comparing a Kiwi to an Aussie? Ooh, shit. I'm still on. Yeah, I'm usually on for five hours. Uh, today, I'm only going till midnight, I think. Steyer Scout? Nope. Steyer, uh, Steyer Aug. Scout is something different. New Zealand is Australia's? No. No, Justin, it is not. That's why he said it. He was trying to uh, cause somebody some problem. What's up, T-Man? Why are you doing, T-Man? I like the name, T-Man. I need one more like. We're at 99. Am I a gamer? I do all right. Hi, I got an Air B. Nice avocation. What's going on, dude? Uh, I'm staying for the whole thing. Awesome, Andrew. Appreciate that. Wanting to train with my MMP 2.0, but you're always flying through your 9mm MMP 22 long rifle worth it for training or a waste of money. If it's the same size gun, any 22 is definitely good, especially if it's made by the same manufacturer. Just make sure that uh, you don't uh, mistake it as a replacement for training with your 9, but it's definitely a good, uh, good uh, cheap way to train with like your sight picture and things like that. T-Man, it's your birthday. Good. What's the time? It is 1049 Eastern Pacific Pacific Eastern Pacific East. It, it it's 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 10:49 in Virginia. Uh, 300 or 86 blackout suppressed for home defense. I've never shot 86, and 86 would require everybody to change their platform. But uh, get what you want, dude. If you like it, what's my favorite Beretta? Probably the old 92s. Bro, you escorted uh, a 380, dude. That's awesome. Clones is like, oh, I like you, and a lot of people are that way. Strangers coming to meet me, they're like. Hmm, I'm not sure about you. And then I say something stupid, and they're like, all right, you're one of us. Tactical light or laser? I don't know, homie. Why not get both? If you get both, then you can have both. Laser. Laser. Uh, for how much can you buy 50 cal ammo? Uh, right now, because Lake City has voluntarily stopped selling to the public, uh, 50 BMG ammo is running between 7 and $10 a round. Stacy is staying till the end of the stream. Thank you. I'm not getting off until 4 o'clock in the morning. Ha <laughs> ha. I got you all. Hello, comrade. How are you? Oh, look at you. Dimitri is here. How are you, man? How's the better? Evocation. It's his birthday. Nice. Uh, 380 ACP or hollows. ACP works, bro, bro. It does. Uh, just make sure you carry a, a strong enough round. You have a Fox Body 88 Mustang set up for road race, 289 dual overhead cam, transaxle, 5-speed, 425 horse, go to the road Atlanta for track day once a month. Dude, nice setup, bro. I kind of want a. Um, I used to only want like the like the the eighty eight to ninety two GT, but the more and more I look at the Fox body, I really just want a coupe. Uh, we got there. We got there. Uh, just refresh your page. Andrew turns twenty three on Monday. Ah, uh, you know that when you turn twenty three, you have to give uh, Joe a gun. Uh, T man is nineteen. Nice. You like the nine four nine. 
Good choice, Bill. Uh, the Steyr Scout Rifle versus a Ruger Gun Sight. Uh, don't, I'm not familiar with the Ruger Gun Sight, gun sight but I do like the Steyr Scout. A good buddy of ours has us. Holy cow, it's the same time in Florida as in Virginia. It is in Maine, too, I found out one day. Don't hit camera lens with laser. Uh, I didn't hit the camera. I was just hitting the screen. Uh, is that a PC? You bet you it is. What's my favorite body armor? Um, I don't wear body armor, so whatever yours is is mine. Cheese. I haven't seen cheese in a long fucking time. Og trigger pull. Yeah, that's why they named it that, because you pull it and you're like, ugh. This sucks. We live in the future compared to you. I live in the past compared to the middle of the ocean and a fish. Have I heard about any of the recent issues with the FCU and 365s? No, what are you referring to, Toker? What about a Shelby GT? Just kidding, haha. Uh, I had a track pack Mustang GT. I didn't get the Shelby even though I wanted it. What's my favorite type of iron sights on my carry gun? Good question. Um, so the Night Stalker actually has it. So I'll just, again, I'm picking you up. I'm not touching the gun. So on a carry gun and EDC, I like, I don't know why. I never shoot at night. But if you see, it's got a front high-vis sight, excuse me, with tritium in it. So it's a night sight. Come on, Joe. There you go. So it's a front sight tritium with high-vis, and then the back is blacked out. Oh, I just hit a gun with my phone. Sorry. So I like a blacked out rear sight and a high vis front sight. It just it gives you one point for your eyes to draw to. If you have to look at too many points to line up a shot, you're taking too long. I do love hogs. Me too. No body armor equals death. Look, if you want to practice with your body armor, if you're going to wear body armor 24-7, go for it. But I practice for situations where I'm not going to have time to put armor on. So I'd rather train and be if proficient in my style. If you think that I'm going to die just because I don't have body armor on, I, there's nothing I can do to change your mind about that. But I can tell you for a fact that in the time it's taking you to put your fucking vest on, you're dead. Uh, can you pick up a gun? No, you cannot pick a gun up on live. Uh, you just live, don't adhere to labels. Labels can find you. It's a good, good way of living, dude. I wish I had a water cooling PC. You can, just go build one. What's my take on the PDP? Um, it, the slide to frame ratio is a little awkward, which is another reason why I don't have one. I just don't like the way they look. Uh, you gotta get like the pro, the full 5.25 inch one, then I like them. That gun is sick. Thanks, dude. I used body armor when I worked at a gas station, then I stopped. Yeah, you said that, Andrew. Uh, you have a 365X macro with macro Icarus precision grip. What the hell is wrong with the FCU? Um, I don't know what he's talking about, Shadow. That's the thing, right? Just wear a doctor light. <laughs> I have a question for you. Why don't you pick your gun? Because YouTube does not allow me to manipulate or demonstrate a firearm on a live stream. It would cause a instant ban. No body armor equals death. Only if you get shot, you got to find me first. Pretty much diggity. Chi-Chi, hi, how are you? If you're in trouble, Chi-Chi, put the number four. Uh, favorite gun, 1911s. Aim point with 45 degree offset Magpul flip-ups. I used to run 45s, but when I put the unique AR upper on mine, I couldn't run a 45 on it anymore. You won't catch me putting it on. Oh, so you sleep in it? Like I said, the problem with it is if you need to uh, if you need to adorn yourself with the armor in a shootout, it's too late. Uh, do you know what a twenty two is? Because it's pretty common in New Zealand. Uh, yes, twenty two. If you're talking about caliber, uh, every time I see your lives, I comment hi. But I gotta go by Chi Chi. I love it when you're in here. Thank you so much. You have a good night. Have I ever been in a self defense situation? Nope. Nice guns. Thank you, bro. Uh, uh, nope, one more hour and I'm out of here. Might get to a McDonald's apple pie on the way home. Oh, don't tell Andrew. Do I like the 22 long rifle or the 32 AC, uh, AP, ACP Beretta better? Um, I like the 22 actually. Question, what's my favorite gun? 1911s. Do I have a Glock? Yes, I got a few. <laughs> Jesus. You missed all the letters, Chi Chi. I love it. I love your humor, Chi Chi. Uh, let's see. It's been raining 42 days straight in New Zealand. This is so boring. Not your live stream will like the rain. 
Uh, best gun is long range bolt gun. Body armor don't stop 30 out 6. Body armor does stop 30 out 6. Level 3A stops 30 out 6. What pistol do I recommend for you? Whatever you like holding, man. Old man Jenkins comes in and says hello. Your favorite gun is a Glock with a drum and a red dot. No, thank you. I don't like loading drums. What's 40 to 5 degree iron sights do you recommend? I have SD, SIG 1 to 6 LPVL on your AR and would like some backups. Um, I, well, I use, um, I can't remember what brand they are. Some shitty ones. I got them off of a trade-in. Uh, how many mags you got for the carry gun? Well, I only carry two, but it's a 1911, so I probably have 100. In terms of speed, 44 mag or 9mm, I know 9mm is faster. 44 mag is faster than 9mm. What else do I do for a living? Not much. I'm disabled. I help out at my buddy's store, and I just kind of do this, and then I just play a lot of video games. Same here. A gun like the Bobcat is nicer to have in 22. That's what I think. Here's the ingredients. Oh, somebody's saying something. But da, 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 da. Roast your guns. That's not what I do, dude. What's your favorite CCW and why compared to your other options? Um, I just like carrying a 1911. Currently, I've been carrying the auto ordinance just because it's my most plain one that I have. Um, but I don't really have a favorite CCW. And I'll change them out depending. Like if I pick up a, the SD9 V2 I'll, and I decide to carry it, then I'll just carry that one for a while. But I don't switch a lot of my CCWs. It's usually just a 1911 unless I have to be carrying something else for like a review or something. Yeah, you say New Zealand really good compared to other people. It is. Uh, do I have a 50 cal? Not anymore. Sold it. Definitely agree on the drum mag. Yeah, I don't like loading those. They're a pain in the ass. They take forever. And then it's always your buddies that shoot them and then never reload them. So, you know, my buddies can, they shoot the, the, the 17 rounder. That's it. Good evening, everyone. Question, what's the handgun right above my head? This one is the T-Sauce Night Stalker. Beef or salmon? Ooh, if it's cooked right, salmon. I love salmon. If you have to leave the country right now, what gun do you bring as your all-in-one gun? Well, I'd probably be in trouble if I have to try to leave the country with a gun, but uh, either that one or that one. But they're probably that one because it's got the red dot and the suppressor already on it. Uh, 1911 is the way to go. React to my video if I put it up. I will, Andrew. I keep telling you that. And I'm also stealing your Barrett. Leave it outside. I'll be there in an hour. Mexican food or fast food? Isn't that the same? Best or preferred uh, mounted red dot for handgun? Uh, whatever you like, dude. If you want a big window, go with like an SRO. If you like a small window, go with the Holosun. You carry the Browning at all? No, I don't. I shoot it, but I don't carry it. I'm just kidding. No offense. I like guns. I didn't see your first part, so do I support uh, furries? Sure. If two people dress like rabbits want to fuck, who am I to tell you not to? Do I work in tech with that cybernetic-looking arm tattoo? No, I have certain things that I like. I was into cars for 20 years. I'm into tech, and I'm into guns. I'm not putting guns on my arms, but uh, I'm into tech and stuff. Do I have a Glock with a silencer? Uh, I have a silencer that can go on Glocks. Thank you for your response. Awesome gun. Thank you. Appreciate it. What's my opinion on Canik? Very good for the money. Very good period, but very good for the money. Good triggers. It's basically a Walter P99 clone, and they run really well. Top three TV series. Ooh, good one, diggity. Knight Rider. Um, Cheers. Excuse me, I couldn't think of the name. I kept trying to say Friends for some reason. And then Firefly. Uh, hey, you're back. What's up, Al Gahim? Uh, let's see. I'll drop it from the sky off my Blackhawk. I'm down, bro. Just send it right now, dude. Uh, squirrel or hog? Uh, for eating? Hog. Damn, I didn't even notice the progress on the right arm. It's coming out good. Uh, no, it's been mostly healing, comrade. I have to do all of these. We have to get up under here and do this side of the arm. So we're going to do all of that, uh, more technology, and then I'm going to uh, put Made in Korea in this chip, and then this one we're going to misspell Samsung. It's going to say Snab Snug. Uh, I'm not a big fan of sushi, but probably because the first time I ever had sushi, somebody gave me eel sushi. It was not the one to start with. 
Would I want to design my own gun? Not really, because I would just design a 1911. I think Browning got it right. You got milk? Awesome. Knight Rider and A-Team. Yeah. Whenever I was young and I was old, I was sick all the time when I was a kid, I used to lay in bed and watch A-Team, Knight Rider, uh, Dukes of Hazzards, um, freaking all the old stuff, the original Dennis the Menace. Do I have an AK-47? I gotta, like, start a, like, a whiteboard with the number of times people ask me the same question. Uh, I'm gonna answer no, just to see what people say. No, I don't have an AK. Nerds, what's up, dude? Welcome back. Fellow brown coat, fist bump, can't take the sky from me. I'm down. Just remember, somebody's trying to shoot you, you shoot them back first. Uh, what is the top two best cartoons? Best cartoons? Shit, my brain just went blank. Um... Naruto, I know that's technically anime, and uh, Spongebob. Skin, thank you for coming in for the time you did, dude. I appreciate that. You got to go drink the day off. Man, I hope you have a good night. Hope you get some relaxation into you. Um, hopefully you feel better, dude. That's easy as pimp. Thank you. Is pineapple okay to put on pizza? Pineapple, ham, and olives are absolutely delicious. Absolutely, dude. I love pineapple on pizza. I love spicy pineapple. Pineapple is spicy to me. I love it because I'm allergic to it. Uh, you're new here. Would I mind explaining the water guns behind? You're legitimately interested. There are no water guns behind me. There is a water-cooled PC, though. Added a Glock 45 to the collection today. Custom Cerakote, burnt bronze, splat pattern. So nice. So you got the slightly larger Glock. I approve. Wheelchair bound? No. But I'm always in a cast of some sort, like I am right now. Why wear hat indoors? Because my hair is thinning and I don't feel like being on camera with it with bright LEDs above me. Uh, Ghost in the Shell and Johnny Quest. Johnny Quest was pretty cool. What that hairline do? I still have a hairline, I just don't have hair. Uh, is Stranger Things top tier? It was the first two seasons. Wiley e. Coyote and The Roadrunner. Yeah, those were good shows. I was just randomly scrolling online, and the first thing I heard was, no, I don't have an AK while seeing the guns in the background. Yeah, I, I've been asked so far in this live stream like 35 to 40 times if I have an AK, so I'm just telling everybody I don't. Do I think Canik would ever make a 1911? I don't just because they patent or they, they buy licenses from companies, but if they did, I bet you it'd be really nice. I'd always wear a hat, feel naked without one, yeah. I bet you're in America. You'll lose that bet. I'm actually in Botswana. Show us your guns, not your muscles. I'm talking about your real gun to the background. Uh, I'm not allowed to pick up the guns, and I've already shown them a bunch of times. Just use the eyes in front of your face hole. Uh, this is the final boss of America. Not even close. Demo's got me out, outgunned. Can I show you the gun collection? That's not my gun collection, but no, I don't show people my gun collection. Do I have a double barrel 1911? No, they're too much money. They're like eight, nine grand. Do I know WWE? I don't, I've heard of them, but I don't know anybody in it. A hat is too versatile not to wear everywhere. I take it off when I go to bed. Noah, hi! Do I believe in ghosts? Uh, no, but I believe in um, frequency. And I believe that uh, what you think of as ghosts are actually different universes vibrating at frequencies. And sometimes that frequency skips and they wind up in our world. Well, technically in our plane of existence. Nice looking styre. Thank you. How many 1911s are there? Holy crap. If you're talking about like manufacturers, dozens. Uh, if you're talking about guns produced, mm, tens of millions. I just like Ghost in the Shell because the original movie and series were hand-drawn. Oh, I did not know that. What type of guns do I have? All of them. What's my uh, opinion on Ballistic Ranch? What's Ballistic Ranch? You're talking about, like, uh, Kentucky Ballistics and Demolition Ranch? They're both way over over uh, hyped. Hickok is America's final boss. Yeah, but the problem with Hickok, Dimitri, is that if it's a new gun that he needs to defend America with, he has to get it from Bud's. Have I outgunned you? You have a lot bigger guns than I do, but you don't have more guns than I do. Ever had mod pizza before? I had it, and it was the best pizza I ever had. Can put on as much toppings as I want. It felt nice. Just don't forget to add all the seasonings and basil. I've never had mod pizza. Jiminy versus USO. I know you don't know WWE, but it's a good match. I used to watch WrestleMania Night 1 and 92. Yeah, old one. Uh, what's my next-to-bed gun? Mossberg 30 Tactical. 
Hold on, let me just put my ears in real quick. Yep. So you shower with your hat. So do I. Yeah, that's why it actually is pretty clean right now. It's because, you know. Uh, Hellfire J, that was the worst match at Mania this year. Nice. Do I have any snipers? That's another one I get asked a lot. I have rifles that can be used as snipers, but no, I don't have any dedicated snipers. Uh, how do I make money? Do I make money being a YouTuber? Fuck no. I spend more in ammo than I make on YouTube. Uh, he wasn't always about buds. No, it's just, but it, it's easier for him to be able to just show more guns. And I appreciate what he does because he, he's not getting them from the manufacturer. So I'm cool with what he does. I'm really thinking about getting the Raptor 50. You should. Does a silencer actually silence gun? It suppresses the sound quite a bit, but it doesn't fully silence the gun because there's moving parts. His personal arsenal is massive. I bet he's got like six machine guns. Yeah, he definitely has M16s and stuff. My pizza is like Subway for personal size pizza. I did not know that. Thank you, Diggity. We don't have one here in Virginia. You know that rugby is the most famous sport here in New Zealand? It makes sense. You don't have guns, so you're always beating the shit out of each other. I'm going to say I've out, I have outgunned out. I have outgunned out. Uh, you've outgunned who? Do I have an M1911 or a Colt? I don't have like a dedicated Colt. I have a Gold Cup match, but it's not one that I ever shoot. But I'm getting a 1918 Colt uh, in the next couple of weeks. Love my channels, my shorts, my voice is very recognizable. Thank you, M El Bandica. Ow. Rex 7. Are you talking about the AK frame builders? Uh, I'm not sure about Rex 7. Don't have a lot of guns, but the ones I have will still function when my grandkids get them. It's a good thing to plan on. Um, my grandkids will get my guns when they figure out how to exist from another universe. Yeah, Haycock is not really a 2A guy. He's just into making money. Ooh, that's a hot take. Uh, uh, shit. Slow down, guys. Have I seen those hats with the glasses cut out on each side of the brim? Looks like beer openers. No, I have not. Uh, do I have an FNX 45? No, I sold mine. Bro, that wasn't the worst match. One last thing. What's my favorite gun? 1911 platform is my favorite. What makes me laugh? Um, it's hard to say. Sometimes it can be a stupid joke. Sometimes it can be like a well-thought-out long joke. Do I have a Glock 22? Yeah. Do I have any pets? No. Um... Pyology and Blaze Pizza are similar pizza companies. Might have one of those near you. Not that I know of, but I'd have to look it up. Yes, that's why I like Hickok. He isn't bought out, but can still get many guns out to folks. And he's into many styles of guns, like clocks and modern stuff. And revolvers and old school stuff. Yes. Your man Hickok chopped down a tree with his party mode. Nice. I haven't seen that video. Sick collection. Thank you. If you had to get a 9mm 1911, what would it be? T sauce. If you had to pick a watch, if I had to pick to watch a gun YouTuber, I would pick you. Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate that. Do I have a Glock 22? Yes. Don't ask it again. Can I see it? No. Uh, I like your YouTube play button. Me too. I stole it from a guy. Do I know Stranger Things? Yes, I've seen it. Uh, both guns I'm not familiar with. Uh, have you ever shot a 38 Super uh, 1911? You're kind of interested. No, I haven't, but Rock Island makes one new. I've been thinking about buying one. Uh, we're not on command, my dogs crack me up. When not on command, my dogs crack me up. Oh, that's always fun. Yeah, my buddy's dog, Rue. Although, she's not allowed in my Durango right now. It took me four and a half hours to get all of her fur out of my Durango today. Uh, Loops was doing something. Well, I'm glad you're not doing anything now. Observer's ordering pizza. Shit, now I want pizza. By the way, the person that pushed the video on Orange Jumper, that's not me, but it's still your little nephew is like ten. I'll have to check it out. Imagine Subway, but for pizzas, and the only charge you based on the pizza side, not topping, so you get as much topping as you want. I put honey on. Holy shit, hot honey? That actually sounds interesting. I like dill pickles with dark chocolate. That's how messed up I am. Do I like Breaking Bad? Um, yeah, I actually did. Um, I didn't like El Camino. For some reason, El Camino turned Jesse into, like, Clint Eastwood. What's my favorite video game? Fallout 4 or Forza Motorsport 4? They, I have about the same amount of time in each one. Uh, to, to, to watch Paul Harrell. He's got a lot of super... Yeah, because he's got an original Colt Super in 38 Super. I uh, love the AUG. Sexy as fudge. Nice. You're still doing something. Yeah, you're laughing. You found the laugh emoji. I love it. Uh, what would I rather be real, ghosts or flat earth? I'd rather ghosts be real, because if the earth was really flat, we'd all fly off and die really quick. 
We'll work up on 38 Super and 22 TCM. Yeah, he, he did a lot of cool comparisons. If I let another YouTuber shoot me guns, it would be as long as you don't go, don't throw them down range. Then I don't want to shoot them, Andrew. I'm going to subscribe you. That sounds like a threat. Cody, I'm going to subscribe you. You guys should like the video, by the way. We need some more likes. If you like chocolate, you should try chocolate hummus. I love it with cinnamon rolls. Cinnamon chips. I've never tried them. I may have to. Hot dill pickles with carrots, onions, and jalapenos. Uh, Jesus Christ. I've never... I, I, I don't know if I like hot dill pickles. Arma 3 and Star Citizen are your favorites. Dude, Star Citizen can get so expensive, though. Uh, well, I don't know if you know this game. It's called Fortnite. Nah, it's way too addictive. I don't like online battle royales. Do I have a Scar H or have ever shot one? Nope. Don't own one. Never shot one. I'm feeding my mom to see if she needs anything. Interesting. I think I misread that. Uh, hey, do you remember the... Do I remember the video game guns I reviewed? It was Resident Evil. Yes, my buddy Alex let me borrow his guns, and he had a uh, Kendo Custom Shop Beretta 92 that was made to look like um, Barry Burton or whatever the whoever it was. Uh, not Claire, but the other Redfield, whatever his name was. And then he had a custom 1911 made. Andrew's going to go... You're not feeling great. Is it because I threatened to throw your guns, Andrew? I hope you feel better. Do I got a drum? No, because loading drums suck. Uh, but me and you can play together on Fortnite. Yeah, I don't play online Battle Royale, dude. Sorry. Do I have a Glock with a drum? No, I do not. Don't spam my goddamn comments, son. Loudest gun you've ever heard or felt? Barrett 50 cal, because I didn't have my ear all the way down. I had an in-ear, but I also had over-ears, and when I went down to shoot it, the guy that owned it had the scope all the way down because he let his 10-year-old shoot it, and when I leaned over, it pushed my ear up, so all I had was the squishy in-ear one, and damn, it was loud. If you saw my hanger in Star Citizen, you know I have issues. Yeah, dude, wasn't there a dude that accidentally started a war and lost like a $12,000 ship or something? I only just found out how to like, so I just finished liking. Well, I appreciate that, Martin. Thank you. Can I say happy birthday, Gunner? Hey, Gunner. Happy birthday, son. 30 out 6 for, for performance, 30, 308 for versatility, and 3030 because I'm an old son of a bitch. 3030 for the olds. You like guns for the pores, I like them for the olds. Uh, what's my favorite gun? 1911. That's another check mark for that one. It's okay. I play Apex Legends. I heard about that one. Biggest gun I've ever held. Um, boys, anti-tank rifle. It was not mounted. I'll be uh, back in a bit. Not sure. That's okay, Andrew. Like I said, I'm only on till midnight anyway. So if you got to go, you got to go. But I need a few hours of sleep before the shoot tomorrow. Can I take down a pistol? Nope. Not allowed to on a live stream. Yep. think it was a streamer. Nice. Yeah, it was like he w he was laughing his ass off because he accidentally started like a huge war or something like it was lagging out the servers and he lost like a huge thing. Uh, you got an ARP AR-15. OK, A Minty, you're asking way too much, man. Just ask one question and move on. First time I fired 50 cal, I threw up on myself. Jesus Christ. Why? Uh, do, do, do. All right, all you spammers, the ones that keep asking the same questions, if you wonder why you can't ask a question, it's because you don't shut up. You play RPGs, Skyrim is your favorite. Um, I would play Skyrim if I can mod it with modern weapons. I play Fallout 4, and I love it, and Fallout 3 and New Vegas because I love them, but they're all modded. I love putting modern guns into Fallout 4 and modern stuff. And if somebody doesn't piss you off, you're actually really nice. Uh, everybody has asked somebody that pisses you off. I just don't like the people that apparently are so stupid they can't understand the concept of patience. You need a 454 Casul, nice collection. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I'm waiting for my Raging Hunter 500 Smith & Wesson to come in. You'll be back for 45. All right, Andrew. What's the shoot thing tomorrow? Uh, Liberty Arms every year does a thing at a uh, campground called the Faith and Freedom Shoot. And we were supposed to have more stuff, but unfortunately the dead air representative got COVID this year. So we're all scrambling. That's why my Night Stalker has a suppressor on it. Because I'm bringing that. I'm bringing my Tactical Sport Orange and that AUG to the shoot. And we're going to have like 10 suppressors or 12 suppressors and a bunch of guns, including an M82A1. 
Uh, you'll, you'll join my lives tomorrow. Uh, I won't be on tomorrow. I'm on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. The rounds were really hot. I bet, my dude. Um, yeah, they can be. The shells stay hot for a long time. Can't get New Vegas to run on Windows 11. Even through Steam, it won't run on yours? That's crazy. Jiminy and his unbranded hat. Yeah, the guys that I do my hats through don't do hats, so I'm going to be going to a local place and see if they'll do hats. The neck beard looks nice. Thank you. You're, you're a funny fucker. Do I believe in a Bigfoot? Yep. Try a shadow. Try the workarounds available on the Fallout Nexus. I, I don't get it. I have fall, I have it on... Uh, actually, holy shit. Hold on a second. Now I need to find out. Goddamn computer. Oh. <sighs> No, no. I liked your other uh, comment better, Loops. I liked it uh, that you were feeding her to see if she needed something. That that actually made me giggle like a little schoolgirl. I liked it. Uh, I gotta go by. Sorry, Stacy. You have a good night. Hold on a second. I have. I don't think I've tried to play Fallout New Vegas since I put Windows 11 on here. So let me see. Uh, Apex Legends is actually fun. The best gun has to be the sniper because the one shot. Yeah, I used to be really good. I used to play Delta Force, which was a great one shot gun game. Stop updating shit. Uh, four six five seven twenty two TCM twenty two mag or twenty two Super Hornet. What's my favorite? Twenty two TCM, brother, for sure. I've been set to ultra high quality. I don't know if which screen it's going to load on. All right, it's loading on the right screen. I mean, it's working for me. I don't know what your issue that you're having in. Uh, here's my favorite thing ever, though. TGM. Ha! God mode! Get him! So let's see. Make sure it loads. Uh, oh, yeah. What's sad? Uh, yeah, it seems to be working for me. So I'm sorry you're having problems. Uh, burn your computer. See what happens. Oh, shit. Camera almost fell. Uh, what kind of error you been getting? Yeah, no, it's crazy. Um, it seems you're working for me. Oh, you got your pizza. Good. Enjoy it, brother. Uh, I will literally let you remote into my PC. Just fix my new Vegas. I can't do that. Sorry. Yes, Cody, you can tell me a joke, but don't be offensive. Bounce some cheeks. Mm. Trevor, you bounce your own cheeks. Something tells me you're calorie enhanced and can bounce them on your own anyways. Maybe Windows Defender has to be off. Yeah, I'm not sure, dude. What game is Zach? Uh, is also, if it's on Xbox, I would get it. Uh, man, a lot of a-holes on it this time, huh? Yeah, well, it's Friday night, and, uh, you know, they all got turned down for the last time at the bar. So they decided to go home and get on the internet and fuck with some dude on a live stream, so... I, I, I enjoy it, though, because it, it counts as interaction, so all you new people, hit the like button if you haven't yet, please. I love that USCCA keeps running ads on my, that YouTube keeps running UC, USCCA ads on my channel, because I can't freaking stand those jackholes. Uh, the whack holes. What's up, Don? How you doing tonight, brother? Uh, have a good night, guys. You too, Observer. Just remember, if the pizza burns the roof of your mouth, let it cool. Holy shit. Uh, what do you call... Hold on a second. A running turkey. It's fast food. A running turkey. Fast food. Gotcha. Uh, stuffing your face. Good for you, dude. Nah, I came back from my ex's house. Didn't know what to do. Join the stream. That's cool, Shadow. I like you. You're not being an offensive jack wagon. Uh, Don, I'm doing good. A lot of jack wagons. They're all called jack wagons. I should make a t-shirt. Don't be a jack wagon. Sorry, I was giving the two-year-old a bath. They tend to come on hand when you're busy. Oh, you're talking about the a-holes. I thought you meant like your kid was pooping on you or something. Do do do. PA uh, X57 Cal coming soon. Yeah, that ought to be pretty cool. Uh, also, uh, T-Sauce is coming out with their PX57. So they're coming out with the Striker 5.7 5 as well. 
Uh, Redownloading off of Steam, validating game cache files again. Worst comes to worst, back up your stuff and factory reset the PC. I have no PC right now or I would try to help more. Yeah, no kidding. Do I know John Wick? Yes, I know John Wick. He's a good guy. Um, I, I make sure I don't mess with his dog, though. Hey, it's you again. Finally got a toilet. Love the stream. I hope you meant to type tablet mail because I remember your name. How about at, at hats? Nah. The problem with this generation is they see that and it, to them that's the, uh, the, the hashtag instead of the pound sign. I'm a cool YouTuber. I'm not a YouTuber, and I don't make enough money to make a living. Which instrument should I learn next, the violin or the banjo? Drums. If you're going to annoy people with loud noises, make sure it's really loud. German Shepherd. That's a good thing to come in and say. Hey, I'm going to get on this guy's live stream. What should I type? I don't know. Why don't you type hello? No, I'm going to type German Shepherd. Would I rock a 1911 and 5.7? I'd give one a shot, but the round is too long. It wouldn't cycle very well. Do I have any favorite rappers? Yeah, I like the uh, clear cellophane that they usually put on Ferrero Rocher's. Um, if you're talking about, like, rapper rappers, um, depends. I kind of like fast stuff, and I like being able to understand them, and uh, I don't like snitches, so fuck 6 ix 9 um, Since I'm not being a jackwagon and not being an arse, I will have to leave the chat. Good night, all. Have fun at the shoot, Joe. Thank you, Dale. Thanks for coming in, brother. Can't really factory res reset your gaming PC doubles as your P your pen testing rig for work. Shite. Uh, when do I end the live? Tonight it's going to be around midnight because i got to get up early tomorrow. Normally I run 5 to 6 hours, so normally it's from 7 p.m. Eastern till midnight or 1. Fridays I usually go to 1, but I have to be up early and then I have to drive an hour to the shoot. Uh, you're, in home you're the Home Depot bucket guy. Yeah, I remember you. Oh, yeah, so you really did just get a toilet. Shit. Try to spell something very short, and it looks like a uh, run a whole essay. Eh, run the essay, son. I can usually read pretty quickly. Uh, Loops is enjoying it, I think. Well, why don't I annoy them with really loud hillbilly Russian music? Ah, yes. Where did I come from? Where did I go? Where did I come from, Cotton Eye Joe? Do I know the diary of the Wimpy Kid books? Yes. Tom McDonald. Uh, not a fan of his. Coming around a little bit, but I'm not really a big fan of his. Tech Nine is fast. I like him. Uh, he's done some good team ups. Uh, Gone, G A W N E. Uh, Luke Gone. He's pretty good. He's fast. Um, Mac Lethal. He's decent. He's very white though. Like he sounds super white, and he's a little bit hard to get a hold of. Oh, you're getting a German Shepherd. Good for you, Mister Curly. That's a good choice. Banjo, been playing for 32 years, bought mine to Afghanistan, the, the terms, and the, they liked it. Nice. Do I know a country senior named Toby Keith? Didn't he just die? Uh, Terma is Terps. So at 12 or 1? We're going at 12 tonight. Uh, what's my favorite ammo to run for your CCW? You're currently using HST hollow points. Normally I run federal uh, critical duty or critical defense, but uh, they were out of it, and I'm going to shoot up the ones I have. So I had my buddy pick me up some uh, Hydra Shock from Federal, and holy shit, they are some extreme rounds. You have a good stream. You like watching. Thank you, Arnold. Uh, so, yeah, this is what I'm carrying right now. This is what I'm going to be carrying tomorrow. So if, if you want to get sh shot with a round that has a stick in it, I really want to learn banjo. Just got a master. You just got to learn dueling banjo. Promise me you'll learn dueling banjo. Loops is like, okay. Don't sperm because hi, because they're just noisy live streamers. You mean spam? Sperm is a little bit different. But look at that thing, dude. That thing's got, it looks like a jet engine. I bet you that's what it looked like if you could slow down time enough to watch it flying at you. And yes, I'm a grown ass man who just said, imagine slowing down time. Shut up. We all have fantasies. But yeah, this stuff is some crazy-ass ammo. I'll probably fire a mag of it, because I have a 1911, so it's not like I need all 20 rounds. Uh, will copper be an issue in the future? What would be a substitute? Soft steel of some sort? Well, here's the thing, uh, James. That's a good question. But every time we think we're running out of precious metals and uh, things like that, all we do is dig another foot down and we keep finding shit. Like, we used to think we were going to run out of oil. Now we realize that we will never run out of oil. So it's pretty crazy. 
Uh, Terps is an interpreter. Gotcha. What's my favorite color? My favorite colors are blue and black, so I wear those a lot. Although I'm wearing sweatpants right now, and I feel really weird because every time I stand up, they want to fall down. Uh, how much? Uh, how much a round was that? So. Uh, if you buy it off the shelf, it's 38 bucks for 20 rounds, so uh, night, um, a lot. A dollar ninety a round. Almost two dollars a round. What handgun was the first one you used at the range? A 1911 double stack in 9mm and 22 TCM. It was a Rock Island. We have a Neapolitan Master of Usage searches up. They are very big. Uh, Neapolitan Mastiff. Nice. Did I miss everything? No, you're doing good. What's my favorite gun? What's my favorite gun? What's my favorite gun? Don't spam. Uh, my favorite gun is a High Point CM9. Uh, you love you have Hydra shocks for your nine millimeter, 147 grain. Yeah, like I said, I've never really played with the Hydra shocks. I've carried the HSTs and Federal Punch, but I've never carried the Hydra shocks. But yeah, for a 230 grain bullet, and then to have that core in there, holy crap! Uh, well, uh, nope. Hey, what's up, Mr. Mom? How you doing, brother? Uh, no lips, you didn't. Yes. Do I have a BMG? Nope. Uh, Andrew won't give me his, and I don't want to spend the money on one. Uh, a couple of years ago, they had dropped down to like six grand, and now they're back up to like 11, so nope. What do I think about the FN57 as an EDC? Here's the deal. If you shoot somebody... Unless they are like crazy whacked out of their head on adrenaline, drugs, mental disorder. If you shoot like a robber, somebody that's just trying to take your money, shit like that, a 5.7 is going to do the job. Now you have a higher chance of over penetration with 5.7, so you have to be careful where you're shooting. But it's going to do the job. So if, you, if it's all you got, carry that thing. Everybody remembers there's one at the gunshot, but do you remember your second? Their first gunshot? Yeah. The second gun I owned was a Glock 27 and 40 cal because it was custom Cerakote and my buddy sold it to me and I hated it. I shot it once and sold it the next day. Uh, you have a gun. Thank you. That sounds like a threat. Uh, Mr. Mom, it's been a minute. How is it going, comrade? I don't know why I read yours with the accent. It's really funny. What's my favorite firearm to use? A uh, High Point JXP-10. Uh, you bought a thousand rounds of Federal HST and it got as low as 50 cents a round. Yeah, when you buy in bulk, it does. And like I said, I didn't pay that. This is just what it sells for right now. Uh, have I tried Winchester Ranger T-Series? It's an updated Black Talon. No, I haven't, but now I have to find it. Hold on a second. Winchester Ranger T-Series. I'm guessing based on the T part of the T-Series that it opens up and pedals out. Holy shit. It looks like a snowflake. Dude, I'd fire that. That's cool. Holy crap. Maybe I'll have to find some of that. Thank you. Do I know what a 308 is? Yes, sir, I do. It's a long action rifle. Is it 22 legal for an 11 year old? If you're with an adult, sure. Do I have a girlfriend or a wife? Nope. I got two hands and a bunch of guns. You hate your Glock 21. I hate it too, MC. Take it out and burn it. The 5.7 is really expensive nowadays, though. 9mm bulk price is much cheaper. I can tell you I can get 50 rounds of 5.7 for the same cost as this box of uh, 45. Trade it in, man. Trade it in. What would be the best gun for a beginner? A um, Desert Eagle 50 cal. I'm just giving wrong answers now. Honestly, whatever fits your hand good, A2 Apex, you've got to go and put your hands on as many guns as you can. Because once you buy a gun, it becomes used and you lose your money anyways. But you need to figure out what's going to fit well in your hand, what you're going to be comfortable shooting. Then you have to get some practice shooting. So if you have a friend that has some guns, you know, if you have a buddy that has some guns, ask him to take you to the range so that you can practice with a few different rounds, calibers, sizes. Find what you like. Because if you don't like the gun, you're never going to shoot it. You're never going to practice with it. And you're just going to be a goddamn victim. So get what fits well in your hand. Uh, learn some new stuff in this chat. Love it. Thank you, Shadow. I'm just getting tired of everybody asking me what my favorite gun is. So anybody ask me what my favorite gun is, I'm switching it up every time. Comrade, I have a good question for you. Have you ever seen someone pass their Glock down to that kid or grandkid? 
No, because nobody has ever lived long enough to give away a Glock. Fuck that. They always wind up in a box or in an auction. I've never had anybody come into any of the stores I work at and go, my granddad died and he left me a Glock. I want to put it in my name. No, they all come in and go, holy shit, I have a Glock. Can I please trade it for a good gun? You know, like a Taurus G3C or something. I'm enjoying the stream. Thank you, Cody. I appreciate it. Is Bushmaster AR-15 A2 carbine still made? Bushmaster still exists. They're owned by Stag, but I don't know what they're making. Buy your own ammo. No. I let other people buy my ammo. Smith & Wesson 500 is great for beginners. Yes, and you have to get the snub nose because you don't want too big of a gun. So make sure you get the 2-inch 500 Smith & Wesson. There's something wrong with your phone. You just read a whole essay again when I try to say something. Oop. What about 38 Special Smith & Wesson? Sure. Uh, again, if you're comfortable shooting it, great. Um, I mean, you can also get a 357 and just shoot 38 out of it. That's a Smith & Wesson uh, 65-3. I am extremely funny tonight. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I'm just, uh, you know, after a week straight of everybody coming in and doing the same fucking questions, I guess today I'm just like, oh, fuck. Uh, the RIP bullets are pretty nice. It breaks apart upon impact. Yeah, but you can get prosecuted pretty heavily for using it. They really don't like that stuff. Any of the breakable animal ammo, frangible ammo style stuff, uh, they are definitely not for it. Uh, what's my favorite AR-10 caliber? Straight up 308. I really don't spend much time with AR-10, so I'm just going to go with, like, the bog standard 308. Uh, have I ever seen a 50 cal sniper? Yes, at Middletown, we had a McMillan TAC-50 with a um, Leland or Legan barrel. Uh, it was an, it, it was a direct copy of the one that the Canadian sniper hit an enemy combatant at two miles with. Uh, what's your opinion for a gun for someone's age? I think you should start learning very young, at least to respect a firearm and learn to use one properly. I don't think you should be carrying unless you live like on a farm and you have snakes and shit like that until you're in your teens. And then if you're old enough to go and fight in a war, you should be able to carry a gun. Uh, favorite bullpup other than the Steyr? Don't really have one. Um, honestly, the Hellion's the newest, so I would run one of those before I run anything else. Uh, thoughts for a first-time gun owner, Glock 45. I mean, Glock is going to work. If you're just looking for a gun, if you just want a gun for protection, home defense, whatever, if you just want something, Glock is the way to go. It's going to run. It's going to be reliable. It's going to save your life. But once you start getting into guns as a hobby and actually liking them, Karn, what's up? You will find that Glocks are the most boring piles of plastic crap ever made. Do you see a Glock on my wall? No. You know why? They're boring. There's no place for them on my wall. What kind of holster do I prefer day to day? Usually a leather one. The one I use for my 1911s is an Urban Carry. It's leather, but it uses retention around the trigger guard. That's what I use. Very nice. Bought your son's first rifle at three. Well, you shouldn't have bought your son's rifle. What if he wants it later? Yeah, no, my buddy's kid, uh, she just turned one and a half, and she already has a rifle and a revolver. It's crazy to see her load it. She's amazing. BB gun, good starter? Absolutely. Especially if you get the replica stuff, because it gives you a good basis of knowledge, because the battery of arms for a good BB gun is the same as a real gun. Who the hell buys one gun? A lot of people do, trust me. Started your kids around 10, daughter 8, and her stuff together quicker than my boys. Yeah, girls are a better shot than boys, 100%. Uh, no love for the Tavor. Tavors are fine, but they're overpriced for a good one. Finally, a good stream. Shit, I guess I'm going to have to change that. Today on Picking Our Nose, I'm going to pick my nose. How deep do we go, chat? The bigger the donation, the farther the nose goes in the schnoz. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, do you not like polymer handguns? No, I'm fine with polymer handguns. I just don't like ones that have no style. I love Canik. Canik's great. I like the way their guns look. They feel. Uh, Smith & Wesson is fine. I just think Glocks are boring. You get one Glock and it's either big, small, short. There's no such thing as different Glocks. They're all Glocks. It's a good and a bad thing. It's like a Mac. A Mac is a Mac. doesn't matter what it is. Best first concealed carry firearm is probably anything chambered in 12 by 7 by 108 Very concealable and light. Do I like Kimber? Yep, that's a Kimber. Howdy, good folks. 
hey, Dirge, what's going on? You know how to shoot a BB gun before. There you go. Then you can probably shoot a 22, no problem. Uh, you have an eight, 1965 Ithaca Model 37 Featherlight, never jammed 12 gauge. Yeah, Ithaca makes some decent stuff. PPQ M1 versus Glock. PPQ, thank you. Two knuckles at least. What, for alcohol? Jackson, subscribe. Thank you. Uh, thank you. I've been looking for something with retention but comfortable. Kydex digs into me after a while. Yeah, no problem, dude. 1791 makes some too, but they're usually the bigger pancake style. I like the Urban Carry because it's small. You like Glock, though. Hey, we all have mental deficiencies. Thoughts on Ermox X Flyer? It looks interesting. I haven't put my hands on one yet, though. Uh, go to the Macula Ambugdugala. What? Who? Uh, 4K27 or 4K32. Who? Um, what's my favorite brand? Kiapa. Do I like the Colt 9 911? Sure. Are any of those folding pistols any good? They look like Chinese Timu crap. Not really. What's my EDC? Uh, a high point 10 millimeter. Uh, what's the highest caliber gun you have? Um, I have one that's a G sharp. Can I have a free gun? First timer here. Yes, but you have to find my house, stand outside, sing me Christmas carols in the middle of June. My boy was ripping the AK last summer. He was four at the time. I held it. Lol. Well, as long as you're holding it and you're te teaching him safety, that's, that's awesome. I'd like to go to someone who appreciates it. Thanks, Chopper. I'll take it. I like the stire. Yeah, it's a good stare. A uh, retired Maine ver Marine vet told me never going to get my concealed weapons permit because... Why, Danny? Thoughts on facts and fluted barrels? They're okay, although I had one. My buddy has one in his carry, and for some reason the slide is jamming on it. Do I re re recommend using a firearm on Duke Will? Yes, because if you get the mix right, you're just stable. Yeah, you have a good night, my friend. What's the address? I'll be right over. No, you have to find my house. Uh, so are high points actually decent? No. What's your favorite gun? Uh, my favorite gun is the Calypso with the giant barrel mag. Uh, hey Jim, got an old triple barrel shotgun. Let me go get it. I got a new one, the Charles Daly. He 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 he, comrade. You like the live stream? Thanks, Loop Scoops. Uh, not too shabby. You got 91 views, five likes, and one subscriber in one day. That's the way you do it, Martin. You start here and you just build it up. Stay consistent. Keep doing shit. Uh, high point. Ha ha. Do I like knives? Uh, no, they're sharp, pokey, and I've been stabbed multiple times, and that's not a joke. Uh, I'm still recovering from that one. That was this knife. I was trying to pry off a grip panel, and yeah, I went right into my hand. I have a tattoo covering one where I walked into a knife that was stationary, and then I have a scar on my hand from where my buddy stabbed me with a spider co. Then why is your EDC, unless that was a joke, you're kind of slow? It is kind of a joke because I've been asked that 65 times today. I carry a 1911. Can I smack your M&P slide and barrel on your M&P 10 mil 10, 2.0 frame? That's a good question. I don't know, but you can run 40 out of your 10 mil. Thoughts on Lakeline. Uh, since they have voluntarily decided to stop selling to the American public, they can suck a dick. Where do I hide my Glock switches? Um, in my I don't own a Glock switch box. I would never own a Glock switch because I don't think a Glock deserves a switch. Uh, I can do that, but live in Philippines. Love your gun, sir. Well, you can come on a vacation visa. Uh, the government knows you have guns if you ever buy anything gun-related with a card instead of cash. Here's one for you, Danny. The government gave you your identity. The government knows who you are. And no, the government, unless they have a federal warrant, will never know what guns you own. The State Department knows you bought a gun, but the federal government doesn't give a shit. They got a lot of other stuff they're trying to rip us off for. They don't care what you own. Unless you're fucking El Chapo, nobody gives a shit how many guns you own. Uh, Dirge, got your 1911 yesterday and you're loving it. Awesome, dude. Uh, when are you going to do another live stream? Monday. Do I have anything to say about Kimber Pistols? You just got the Ultra 2. Uh, they need some tuning. They're getting better. They, their quality went to shite for a while, but they've come back a long way, but they're still not 100%. Thoughts on bayonets? Uh, never really had a chance to use one, so they're kind of cool. 1911 switches. You don't understand guns, right? They definitely know if you got guns. Hey, conspiracy theory, and he's an idiot. Bye. Uh, do you know anything about German triple barrel shotguns? Because yours has German all over it. It's from 1940. I honestly do not. Triple barrels are cool, though. Uh, do you have a Mac 11? Nope, but you can legally own them. What's the stream about? 
Uh, we are talking about the state of mac and cheese and whether or not you should put ketchup on it. That's been the entire live stream. So if you want to weigh in on it, get in on it, son. I actually like ketchup on my mac and cheese, but only if it's craft. If it's the white cheddar, then I actually have to put Chick-fil-A sauce on it. Those are my opinions. Uh, you share the same birthday as El Chapo. As long as you don't share the same day of death, we're good. Red flag laws should be all outlawed. They're stupid, and they just help people fuck people up. Can I expand on Lake Line hate? The U.S. government sent a cease and desist to Lake Line, uh, um, uh, Lake Line Ammo, uh, saying that they were selling 5.56, which is a mili military-grade ammo, to the public, and that if they didn't stop selling ammo to the, the commercial public, that they would lose their military contracts. So they did. I like you, dude. Yes, that's true. Nobody cares. They got bigger fish to, ver to fry. That is true. Don't! Yep. Ketchup and hot dogs. Nice. Not bad. Thank you. They want ID to buy pellets for a Whisper 7, 177 Cal. Stop the ketchup. Dude, I love ketchup. Ketchup on mac and cheese. Dude, it's great. It's like spaghetti for pores. Uh, I know what I can probably... Do I know where you could possibly acquire an FNFAL? Yes, from an FFL. Casco Backpacker or One Piece. I have no idea what you just typed. Where did you get your suppressor? Uh, I worked for two different separate gun stores, but Middletown Firearms is the one I was working at when I got it. Barbecue sauce is better on mac and cheese. Uh, bacon with barbecue sauce, yes. Uh, am I police, military, or anything? No. Uh, my health precluded me from joining the Army. I wanted to. My father was life, career, uh, military. Habanero ketchup. See, we're getting some good ideas. When I start your YouTube channel, I might make videos of guns and survival channels. That would be a good one, Loops. You used to like ketchup with meatloaf and your grandma's baked mac and cheese. I don't know why all of a sudden I like country on that one, Corn Pop. It sounds good, though. Uh, Night Brother, been a long week and still on call through the weekend. Love the stream as always. Have fun. See you Monday. Thank you, Diggity. Um, I appreciate it. And hope to see you on Monday. Awesome, dude. For God's sake, mac and cheese from a box is a travesty. You need a safe space now. Hey, just remember, you can curl up with your box and you can feel better. Pork and beans is good with ketchup, but not hot dogs. <laughs> ketchup, onion, and bacon. Nice. You like fry sauce if you're Idahoan, you know what that is. I, I'm not Idahoan, but it sounds good. Uh, cowboy mac and cheese. I can do hot dogs, but no ketchup, and me too with the military thing. My eyes ain't the best. Damn, you called it with the bacon. I don't know why I'm going country all of a sudden. Just everything went country. We're getting near the end of the stream, and apparently I'm getting loopy-doopy. A good baked mac and cheese with ketchup. Ooh, ooh, shrimp. Mac and cheese with shrimp and lobster. Everything's better with bacon. What about... I was going to go really dark, but I decided not to. What do I think the best brand is for bolt action rifles? Uh, best is hard to really say because I don't have enough experience, but great starter ones would be like the Savage Axis XP or a Remington 700 or a Ruger Ranch. What about bayonets on modern day guns? I don't know where I would use that. I don't live in areas where I would need one. LOL, Glock not within a mile, thank God. Thank you. You look like a bacon eater. You mean like a really good, normal fucking human being? What do you eat? Vegans? I'm a vegan. I'm a vegan. Uh, hot sauce or ketchup on eggs? Hot sauce. Dude, I love hot sauce on eggs. Have I ever been knocked out in a fight? Uh, no. I've had my ass whooped in a fight. Anybody that lies and say they never lost a fight to lie and sack of crap. But I've been whooped up good in a fight. What gun is my favorite gun? Uh, my favorite gun would be the Chiapa Rhino. Chambered in 9mm with the double action only. Uh, have I ever fired an AA-12? No. I wish. They all went uh, illegal. Have a good night, man. Thank you, Vlog Pro. Uh, make sure that you hit the like button on your way out. So really, no one gives a sheet what you buy unless it's in a restricted state. Yeah, MC, nobody really cares. Look, here's what happens. You go in and you do your paperwork. The gun store stores the paperwork. The state troopers in your state get notified that you bought a gun. They do your background check. But unless you commit a crime that is actually willing, that's going to get them up in an uproar, nobody's going to show up at your house looking for your shit. Nobody's going to show up at your house doing anything. I once bought 11 guns in one day. Nobody said a word to me. I mean, somebody will now because I just said it on a goddamn live stream, but... Uh, no, I have never shot someone. Uh, stop lying with this bolt action, Mosin the Gunt. Yes, nice. Omnivore. 
Uh, I've never ate an Omni once. Uh, they're too big and made out of metal. Uh, did the he eats fa bacon uh, that soy flavor the bacon stuff? Oh yeah, I like the tofurkey. Uh, dirge, say less. Nice. Do I like sloth? Got a couple right here, Sonny. We've got Milo and Shiloh. I have to bring their brother Bert home though. There is no way, bro. Just did that. What do I use for home defense? Uh, my smoldering good looks. Uh, I'm not commenting a lot like the other people because I don't can be annoying when people just constantly comment. It's fine, Martin. You've been good. Uh, but back to you, James. I use a Mossberg 930 Tactical and a 1911. I also have an AR-15, but if I'm going to the AR-15, we got a bigger problem. Uh, the, 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 any AR-style shotguns that are legal in Washington State? That I don't know. you got to consult Washington, dude. Is that a real AUG? Yes. How expensive is that AUG? It's actually one of the least expensive guns on the wall. It's only like 1600 bucks. Did I see the solar eclipse? No, I was in bed. Sorry. Favorite car? Right now, it's my Dodge Durango because I spent four and a half hours cleaning it today. You are the bacon. Then eat me, Charlie. But, uh, yeah, no. Do I oil up before a gun purchase? Yes, I do. I go in all oiled up, and then they can't catch me when I leave. It's really good to do. Uh, home defense everything, I'd say. Told you that was going to forget the other sloth. Yep. Nice aug. Thank you. Do you have any Nerf guns? Nope, but I got airsoft. Uh, 12, because was the first, now got more. Thoughts on your do do do, -do? Uh, You can have whatever thoughts you want, son. When your parents visited New Zealand, do they try something called uh, Aki Cause? Because they're very sweet and salty. I'm sure they did, but um, since I didn't go on the trip, I, I don't like listening to other people. Uh, what's your dream car? Don't really have a dream car. I miss my Mustang GT trackback, though. It was really fun and fast. Uh, do I own a P90? No, negatory. Uh, isn't it kind of ironic how both Washington have, both Washingtons have strict gun laws? Yeah, and George didn't. Fuck, he still up. He was standing on a boat while getting painted. Do I own 320s? Yes, I got a few. The AUG looks steady looking. Are they very accurate? They can be. They're not sniper rifles by any stretch of the means, but they can be very good. Uh, was it first? You got everything else. Nice. Uh, naked grease guy. That's right. Not going to catch me. See you next year. Anyone here hunting Florida? Uh, I'll hunt in Florida. I will get bacon like you. Thank you, Charlie. What's in that airsoft collection? Uh, just some standard stuff. Just mil you know, uh, Glock clones, replicas, shit like that. I'm going to watch my uh, my dog, but we'll take my phone with me to store, hear you, and watch you. I'm only going to be on for another 20 minutes, my good sir, but uh, thank you. Uh, have a great time tomorrow at the range. I intend to, Don. Thank you. Have I heard of the new Dragon series? Nope. I'm R and R. Remember, lol fingers fat. Oh, gotcha, Dirge. Uh, three, three, third. Uh, blah, 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 blah. You hate the president? Yeah, a lot of us do. Craziest, funniest movie mon moment when you were working at the gun shop? Um, not really funniest, because uh, that's usually personal interactions with me and my coworkers. But craziest. Uh, would be when a guy walked in with an HKP7 squeeze cocker and I traded him for a $600 Kimber. Nice Glocks. Thank you. I made them myself. I have crayons. This man been live for eight hours. No, I've only been live for four. You get a small vandalism misdemeanor charge under 400 more than five years ago. Nothing crazy violent. I'm applying for your CC dub. Pretty good county in Northern California. Uh, you're in California, so that's, that, that might hurt your chances, but, I mean, if it was a misdemeanor, you should be fine. Uh, what, in my experience, is the shittiest gun made? Uh, the shittiest gun? Uh, it's kind of hard to say, but probably something in, like, the Cobra Denali semi-auto in 380. How's it going tracking down the Mustang? Have I found it? Nope, haven't found it. I, it's never even been up for sale again in the last two years. It might be wrecked now. It was in Indiana. You sound like that old guy from Family Guy. Herbert? Oh, I can't get that high with my voice. Mac, what's going on, dude? Uh, do I have an AR-10? Yep. You play aren't Rainbow Six Siege? Nope. What's my favorite AR? Uh, the black ones that shoot the machine gun rounds. Uh, you hunt Florida for pigs, gator, and pythons for side cash for deer, Colorado, or Texas. Nice, dude. Turn the stream off now. No, you can, though. Uh, someone was telling me, do I believe in God? Jackson, you got the comment removed just because, uh, we really don't talk religion here much. 
Um, yeah, don't hide him for that one. Jackson was asking a real question there, dude. Um, but yes, I believe in a higher power. I don't believe in naming one, though. It's just not what we talk about here. If you want to believe in something, awesome. Your dad has a swat, swat waffle. Swat waffle. Cool. Are wild boar in Florida edible? Most of the places they are. Hello, Riley. Are those real guns? Nope, they're all fake. How do you feel about compensators on handguns? Radium afterburner looks great. Um, I don't need one, but uh, they look pretty fun. Luftwaffe drilling. Got given one. Might get rid of it. You should. What do I think is the best CCW? Whatever you can comfortably shoot. The better you shoot it, the better it is. Good night, Christina. Uh, you live in San Diego. You're getting your CCW. Good. Hello, Riley. Stop saying hello. You're going away. Bye. Bye. Bye, Riley. Uh, what's my longest shot with the 1911 model? Um, I don't really go for long shots. I mean, I can pretty easily hit 50 yards. No problem. 75 yards. I, I really just don't go back much farther than 40. Uh, your height, Mike. This is your second channel. Nice. Uh, your eyes are so far apart. So are your brain cells. Uh, your X macro is comped. Cool. I will watch to the end anyways. Yeah, it's only a few more minutes. Uh, same here. Uh, dirge, higher power, not religious, more spiritual. I know what I know, and I'm sure you, you brought, no, you know, your hands down. Yep, pretty much. Uh, you got a good clip of that pause. Thank you. What's my opinion on EDC black powder for felons? If you can skirt the law by carrying it, do it. I don't give a shit. As long as you're a non-violent felon, if it's just drugs or money or cars or some shit. Uh, another ammo sexual. I have never stuck a, 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 a bullet in my butt. Uh, protect what's yours and what we do as men. Sure. Do I have a sniper? Nope. Do I like gaming? Yeah, a little bit. I play a lot of games. Yes, wild pig in Florida is edible. Hunting is needed. Population is too high. That and iguana. Uh... The 1911s with the compensator in the movie Hitman. Yeah, those are IWI hardballers is what they're based on, and they are pretty nice. Uh, are they making laws where you need insurance for guns? No, but if you live in bad areas, it wouldn't be a bad idea to get it. You're mad at Harun because he said turn the stream off. Uh, people do that all the time. What's my favorite gun? My favorite gun, it's a really cool one. It's uh, called the Nunez. Pizza or burgers? Uh, burgers. Riley, why are you calling the cops? Did somebody forget to bring you a good sense of humor? Uh, in the apocalypse situation, what gun are you choosing? Probably something like a Ruger 1022. Have a good night, Joe. Stream was good. You too, James. Thanks for coming in, dude. Uh, burger, because you can eat it while you drive. You can eat pizza while you drive, too. Just not the greasy, greasy stuff. Got another freezer. Need to fill with meat. Prices are getting crazy. Nice. You hate drugs. Good, fan. Which firearm is the black one between the John Wick silencer looking one and the AUG? That is a Browning high power. Do I have a Colt 1911? I've got a gold cup match, but I'm also getting a 1918 next week sometime. Misty of Tabor is back. What is going on, Misty? How you doing today? You being a good person today? Or should I just time you out? Should I get a Glock 20 or a Glock 40? It's a Glock. Question, should I stop that? Should I get a Glock? Because they're all the same. Uh, get the 40 though. Get the six inch. It's more fun. When's my next live stream? Monday, 7 p.m. Eastern. Favorite burger place? Uh, don't really have one. I make my own. That's a nice AK you have. Thank you. It's it's fully semi-automatic. Uh, what's the name of that suppressed 2011? That's the T-Sauce Night Stalker double stack. Charlie, hi. Yes. Uh, T-Sauce versus Rock Island, which is better in your opinion? Uh, Rock Islands are smoother out of the box, but T-Sauce has the better forged frames. Blocks are good. It's your choice. Do I have a 708? Nope. Take it easy. You too, sir. Dirge. I was going to say Tharge, like from Beverly Hills Cop. What item in the kitchen would be best for defense? Your wife? Best gun show to watch live. Thank you. Uh, do you have a 40 Magnum? Nope. Uh, can BB guns be used for hunting small game? Uh, not unless it's got a lot of power behind it. There are air guns that can be used, but I would not use a BB gun for small game. Um... Those guns are so nice, and the ones in the back, too. Yeah! Uh, do I have a 30-30? Yes. 
Thoughts on Remington 223s? They're fine. Have a great night. Thanks for the chat. You too, Anagorism. Uh, do I have a 65 Creedmoor? Uh, no, I don't have a 65 Creedmoor. I sold it to a buddy of mine. Damn, don't got a wife. Better go get one. Uh, if you don't have a wife, get a, uh, waifu. Brazil. Not trying to hate, but is everybody supposed to be sleeping? It's almost 12 a.m. Nah, sleep is overrated. I'll pass out when I pass out. That's a nice 30-30. Thank you, Jake. It's a Winchester 1894. Do I need a background check to get one? Uh, to get a waifu? No, you just need to be able to, uh, uh, shower them with gifts like boba. No, Loops, I didn't. Uh, retype it for me, buddy. Is it true when you put a brace on a pistol, it turns into a gun, turns a gun, and you can shoot bigger bullets out of it? Yeah, it makes it much more deadly because the bullets go faster, too. It's crazy. Have I ever shot a 44 Magnum? Yes. I actually uh, sold my 44 Raging Hunter to a buddy of mine. Daniel Defense or Noveski? Uh, I'm going to say Noveski. They're not that much more, and I think they're actually better quality. When's the next live stream? Monday, 7 p.m. Eastern. Thoughts on 222 Remington? No real experience with it. I've had people ask looking for them, but no experience myself. The boy, uh-oh, he saw himself in a mirror and he threw up. You're a good gun tuber. I, I'm not a good reader because I just tuber, so I guess I'm not that good. And yet, it's only nine here, no sleep needed. How many guns do you have? No clue, Jake. I don't count. Uh, can I be in your live? You are right now, Valerie. Uh, da, da, da. Nope, they are real. Any chance you're pansexual? Some frying pans get my mojo going. Uh, no, but I'm autosexual. I like to fuck gas caps. Your thoughts on binary triggers? I have one. They're overrated. You shoot one a few times, you let your buddy shoot it, and then everybody wants to shoot it, and then they just waste your ammo. You're a funny. I agree with that, Cody. I subscribe. Thank you. Can you pull out a Glock? The boy, you pull out whatever you want. Do you have a BRN 15 upper? No, I don't. Have I shot 7.62 by 9? Uh, if you mean 39, yes, I have. Uh, the, the, uh oh, people are talking to each other in other languages. You're scaring me, kids. We're getting ready to go, so if you got any last things to say, uh, say them now. Man, that sounded dangerous. If you got anything you need to say, say it now, because you won't have an opportunity after this is over, because I'm going to end the live stream in an aggressive manner. Can I pull out a Glock? Nope, Glock suck. Should I trade my AR-15 for a job boat? Sure. Ah, uh, I'm Raffle Comrade. You're a smartass with that gas cap. I know, I'm so good. Are those real guns in the background? Are they just airsoft guns? That's a question. No, they are all real, Owen. Do I have a Desert Eagle? No, I sold it. Really nice couple wanted it, and all my buddies kept shooting all my ammo, so. What's my favorite pistol? Uh, High Point YC9. That's a nice PC. Not really. It's a fake. Uh, if you do appreciate it. I appreciate you, son. Keep being awesome. Have a good week weekend. Thank you, Fix It. Uh, nice guns in the back. Thank you. Well, to pull out something and I will sub. Motherfucker, I don't pull out nothing. No pullout game here, son. You stay in all the way. Uh, lol, good night. Thank you, dude. Uh, BBC HQ, what's going on? If you were given a choice to delete one gun from this universe, what would it be? Glock. Have I shot the new pythons? One. Uh, shot a six inch. It was nice. Uh, skibbity toilet, can I get it? Later. Thankful. Uh, Turtle Barrett, Mayo, Microwave Pie. Have fun tomorrow. Thanks, Justin. Uh, I may do a little bit of live stream from them. Are the weapons real or replicas? Yeah, I saw what you said before. They're real. Nice choice. Thank you. Why do people think your guns are fake? Uh, it's because people don't believe that other people have guns, I guess. I don't know. People ask me that all the time, and I'm not sure why. It's mostly because a lot of people don't know that I have a full channel where I review guns. So, I mean, seeing... Let's let's put it this way. If they were airsoft, that would be like $700 in guns. But because they're real, you're talking 24, 32, 52, 67, 77... 93, 10, 3. So there's like 13 grand up there if you bought them brand new.
or if you bought them right now, if they were for sale and you bought them right now, it'd be about 13 grand in guns. So many people would think that they're fake just because they're expensive. One last question, Tipman or Smith & Wesson? I like the Tipmans. Good question, uh, Braiding. I actually like the Tipmans more than the uh, Smith & Wesson. Good, good question. Do I have any slingshots? Nope. Uh, what do you think happens when you die? I think you redo your life like Groundhog Day. No lie. Not kidding. I really do. What do you recommend for first-time buyers? Um, a Desert Eagle 50 Cal. Or they are saying you are LARPing. Yep, pretty much. What's my favorite gun? Um, a 40 caliber uh, high point. Uh, do I have an M119? No, I don't. Uh, you just changed your profile picture. Oh, that's cool, Cody. Can you shout out my brothers? Hey, to all my brothers, what's going on? Oh, Isaac and Noah. Hey, Isaac and Noah, how are you guys doing? Uh, Lamar asked me to uh, shout you out. Um, first off, I really like the tats. Second, what's the rifle called? That is a Steyr Aug. It's a bullpup. Uh, 556. Five, so even though it looks like it's a short barrel rifle, that's a 16 inch barrel. Uh, you a baller, daddy. Thank you. Do I have nods? Nope. Only when my nerves are acting up. What gun would you recommend to Aussies? Um, splat ball. Uh, Glock, because then it'll get it out of my country. Best first time gun is a sawed off 4 inch Russian 12 gauge, 10 gauge shotgun. Very mild recoil and super practical. Blunderbuss is bitches. Uh, okay. Uh, can you put vertical grip if barrel is 16 inch? Yes. Just shows you're following a, uh, aren't gun people. No, no, Logan. What it is, is the shorts people aren't gun people. So there's a bunch of you guys, like the main core of you guys that come in and hang out all the time. You guys know guns, you're gun people. You're the ones here. But YouTube recommends my channel to people that are just scrolling through their shorts. They might be looking at other firearms people. So then they stumble into this one and they think it that they're fake, but they don't know. Nicht Kurs Glock. Screw Glock. Best 2011 in my opinion. Uh, the old ones, the STI Eagles and STI Edge. What do I think about Canik? They're pretty good. Uh, <laughs> you go fishing. Pew, pew. Later, y'all enjoy. Steve was a baller tonight with triple donations thank you brother appreciate that one uh you didn't see my comment i didn't loops i'm so sorry what is it please type it again please type it again uh farts or diarrhea uh coming out of your mouth right now it sounds like diarrhea uh freaking shorts yep uh you god bless yes logan uh can you put a foregrip on what you can put a foregrip you're in america free men don't ask for permission uh, and those who don't ask for permission to end up in jail. Just look at uh, January 6th. What do I think about Canik? They're good guns. Uh, great triggers. Very nice for the price. Um, yeah, very good guns. Do I prefer iron sights or optics? Um, whatever's on the gun, I usually will run. So if it's got an optics cut like that one, I'll run an optic on it just because it's cut for an optic. But like the TS Orange is not designed to be an optics gun unless you use the side mount. So that one runs irons. Do you hunt? And if you do, what do you use and what caliber it shoots? I don't hunt. I have a lot of physical disabilities and I don't know how to shut the hell up. Plains is in Ohio. Nice guns. I am Jacob. Nice. Wish I could show you my new Scorpion 3 Plus build suppressed. Uh, you can always send it in an email, thejiminyshow at gmail.com. Speaking of jail, RIP FPS Russia. We miss you, comrade. Are you still on the internet? Do I have a light machine gun? No, Jake, I do not. How many guns do you have? No idea. No, don't count anymore. Have you ever shot an M16? Not a auto or select fire. What state are you in? I am in the state of Virginia. Not the West Virginia, because then I'd be on country roads. Take me home. What gun safe do you recommend for multiple handguns to fit in? Uh, get a big safe and just get shelf replacements. Um, I like Winchester shelves. There are safes. They're on sale. Usually they're at Tractor Supply Company. Like right now, they got 32 gun safes for like 700 bucks. You want a SFX Pro for Christmas? Do you think Santa will put under your tree this December? Yes, unless you live in California, and then he'll probably be arrested for trespassing. Um, my name. That gun above your head is cool. Thank you, Loop Scoop. I appreciate that. Thank you for saying that. Anyways, I'm going to look for the price of the 2011. This one is 
Do you have any mods on any of your pistols? Yeah, I've got a few. Um, all my 1911s usually get polished uh, recoil springs. Um, I usually replace the rear main springs, things like that. Is it a Night Stalker? Yes, that is the TSOS Night Stalker double stack. What rec gun do you recommend to shoot a Glock? Uh, that one. Take a Kimber 1911 and shoot one. Staccato, C2, overpriced. Don't like them. If they drop the price by about fifteen hundred bucks, then I'd be interested. But they're not worth twenty five hundred dollars. Uh, Glock twenty six or Glock twenty nine, if forced to choose between the two, I would rather take the cyanide pill. How do you rec do you recommend a two two three for hunt uh, for hunting whitetail? Unfortunately, here in the state of Virginia, you can't hunt with two two three. You have to have two two four. So no. I'm disappointed that twenty eleven isn't forty five or ten mil. I just wanted that one because I had the 9 mil can. Uh, you weird, bro. That's where I was trying to say. Oh, I'm sorry that I didn't see it, Loops. I apologize. Thank you. Aluminum or steel slide? There aren't many aluminum slided guns that aren't 22 caliber. Have I got a buck? Yeah, here you go. What's your thoughts on the Sentry Arm Vishka? They get a lot more hate than they really should, but they're still not the best. Uh, going to Gunsmith for some mods. Yes, especially if you don't work on your own guns. Um, I, I have training, so I can do what I want. Do I have an M9? No, I sold my last one. I had the 90-2 and sold it to a good buddy of mine. No, it's okay. I'm glad you saw it. Thank you, Loops, for being so cool and hanging out as long as you guys did. Anyways, guys, we are done. Uh, it's late. I have to get up early. I have to go to a, 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 a big shoot at a uh, gathering. So I'm going to end the stream. Thank you guys for coming in. All you new guys, thank you so much. If you're a new member, thank you so much. Uh, if you're a subscriber, um, on Monday I'll be putting up a video that you can uh, comment and like on. And I'll be giving away one of these blacksmith safes. I already gave out one with blacksmith, but blacksmith sent me an extra one. So I'm going to be giving out another one of these. It holds two full-size pistols, and I'll be giving it away to one of you lucky subscribers. You just have to make sure that your shit is public. If I can't see your subscriptions, then you won't be qualified. So um, starting Monday, then you'll be there. Mr. Mom, thanks for hanging out. I know I cuss a little bit. Uh, if, you, if you guys don't like that, I apologize. I'm trying to tone it down a bit. I do apologize. As long as I'm not running crazy on somebody, I'll try to knock those down. So soon, yeah, sorry, SA. I've got to get up in the morning. Do I like the FAL? Yes. Uh, thanks again for a fun night. No problem. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Smell you later. Thank you. All right. Good night. Yep. All you guys just sub. Thank you, Green Fishy. Uh, Jason says good luck. Thank you. Uh, goodbye, comrade. You're funny, man. Get some sleep. Love you. Thank you so much. That's rock on. That's I love you. Uh, can you say my name? Yes, I can, Cody Fat Getter. Uh, you want me to sub? Sure, Sheila. Do what you got to do. If you want to sub, sub. Send it to you. Maybe. Very possible. You have to, when I put up the video, you'll like it, and then you might be in. The, what state do I live in? Mostly denial, but physically Virginia. Uh, good night. Good night. Old cops cuss a lot. Yeah, I just know sometimes I get running a little bit too much. Good night, brother. See you on Monday. Absolutely, guys. You need sleep. Oh, yeah, I do. My eyes are starting to get sore. Sending love from Morocco. Thank you, Maya. What kind of chair do I have? A broken ass GTR racer. I gotta replace it. it the it's broken. Uh, good night. Good night. Good night, Braden. Good night, dude. All right, guys. I am Audi. Audi five thousand. Uh, your sub. Good night. Thanks, Sheila. I appreciate it. You guys have a good night. I'm gonna go. See you tomorrow. I might be uh, sending up some videos from the the range. So you have the same chair. Awesome. Thanks, Loops. Sa. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.